tonight's episode of Critical Role, where a bunch of us uh, nerdy-ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, we are down one Sam, unfortunately, tonight, so Scanlan will be Jaeger piloted by uh, Keyleth uh, <laughs> and Percy over there. Um, but, and, and Pike is still in New York, but in trade, we do have Rothfuss joining us this week via Skype. Continue, continue the journey of Carrick along with these, uh, these crazy kids. Um, so thank you for joining us, Patrick. Look at his beautiful office and all his beautiful yeah. owlbears. <laughs> so many owlbears. So many owlbears. Two, three, four, five. It's beautiful. Um, cool, so before we get into the game tonight, let's go ahead and do our announcements. Uh, first and foremost, uh, we are starting with our first official sponsorship of the year. Yay! With the return of Loot Crate. Yay! Loot Crate. Thank you so much for being amazing supporters of the show, and uh, we're excited to get started. Uh, Liam, do you want to talk about this oh one? Oh my gosh, Sam is not here, and I got asked to do something 10 minutes ago. Uh, this is going to be so good. In uh, Sam and Loot Crate's honor, I have written a limerick. I think you'll all approve, and then I'll tell you a little bit about Loot Crate, but first, uh, some Irish poetry. Uh, Sam's style is not what you'd call quaint. Let's be honest, my man is no saint. But Loot Crate is happy. His pitch plans are snappy, singing songs about fisting and taint. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so Loot Crate, the January theme is not taint or fisting, it's origins. Uh, the brands are Superman, yeah, Marvel, TMNT, Nintendo. I know everyone here is familiar. Yeah. Uh, the cutoff, you have to order now. The cutoff is 9 p.m. tonight. 9 p.m. Whoa, tonight. That's so soon. So you gotta go get got. Uh, and you wanna go to lootcrate.com slash critical role, not crit roll, which critical I've heard a while. Lootcrate.com slash critical role. Uh, and the promo code is critical role, one word for 10 percent off your first month. Whoa! Rocket. Also taint. <laughs> no, so that's, thank you, Loot Crate. We're thank you, Loot Crate. Back. Yes, yes, we are. Yeah. And we can't we can't talk about the taint theme that doesn't happen until April. Yeah. But <clears throat> so excited about it though. <laughs> Just so excited. There are some exclusives. <laughs> <laughs> there are some inclusives. Um, so anyway. <laughs> I also wanted to give a shout out to Blue Mics, uh, Blue Microphone. Uh, they have uh, been fantastic. They sent us a bunch of new equipment here to start uh, upgrading the audio quality of our fantastic show Oops. here. And us, personally, as voice actors, uh, I myself have used Blues for quite a long time for uh, home auditions, and uh, I'm hoping that the one that now sits before me will give you a little bit of a better boost for my usual audio. Um, so thank you guys so much, uh, Blue Mics, for helping support us here. If you're interested at all in checking out their awesome audio equipment, you can go to them at bluemic.com. That's B-L-U-E-M-I-C.com. Thank you guys. Yeah, I cannot say stop. enough good it's stuff. So sexy. Yeah. Laura, you wanted to talk about stuff? Oh my gosh. Talk about stuff. Okay, okay, okay. I'll stop rolling for a second because we first. have oh. these new things in the store and they're socks. Oh. Oh. Um, so I'm so excited. I know, I know. I put them in front of everybody. Um, they don't smell yet because nobody's worn them. They should be in the store right now. They say, how do you want to do this? And they've got the logo on it. And if they do well, then maybe we'll think about releasing some socks, machina, in all the different characters. So oh, we'll I know, it's That's just exciting really cool. as well. I didn't know that. Um, and also, uh, the dice are still in the works. Those should be coming up soon, hopefully by this month, maybe next month, but they will be back in the store. We have pins, we have bracelets. Limited stock of those are back in the store too, so. That's so exciting. And all the other things that I've been announcing every week because, you know, we're just on top of it, no big deal. Can we keep these? Yeah, no, these are for us. These are for yes. us. Yeah. Yeah. We get one for yeah. These will stink in a week. Yes. <laughs> Please bring them back Can next week and show us. Everybody, how much I miss having you next to me. Oh, I'm sad you're not over here. I'm oh, not. we're not in character yet, right? I miss no. you too. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh. stop it. Uh, next thing I want to announce is uh, there's a convention coming up in February called Anime Milwaukee, or Milwaukee, February 17th to the 19th, yeah. in which uh, me, Marisha, Travis, and Laura will be in attendance as guests. That's right. Whoa. So uh, come join us for awesome critical role panel. We'll have signings throughout the weekend and other panels about voiceover and other elements of chaos. So if you're in that area, please come and say hi. Yes, please. Bring things for us to sign. Yeah, uh, bring a bathing suit. I hear there's a pool party on Saturdays uh, <laughs> in the negative two degree weather. Oh God, is it really that cold? <laughs> I don't know, it's Milwaukee. So oh. it's probably yeah, it's by the lake too. We get oh. a lake effect. Ooh, cool. Air. Dress warm, just in case. Yeah. Um, 
Anything else anyone wishes to discuss or mention? Badger, anything you want to mention? You guys are you guys are coming to my state? You're going to be in Wisconsin when's that? Yeah, baby. That is February 17th through the 19th. But we're not going to see you. <laughs> <laughs> you, you. You act like you have a choice. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, come see us. Uh, we will. I'll see. I'll check my calendar to see. That'll be a, a short trip if you're just down in Milwaukee. Yeah, Heck yeah that'd be oh awesome. Oh my gosh, Patrick Dinner. So awesome. look forward. That'd be awesome. Ten thousand likes. Look for a bearded fellow with sunglasses and a hoodie. Um, <laughs> at the convention. Well, cool. Thank you guys so much. Uh, now that our announcements are done, let's go ahead and dive in to tonight's episode <gasps> of Critical Role. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah, that was a great countdown. Um, so, to bring us into the story and get you guys up to speed, uh, the adventuring group of Vox Machina had been battling the Chroma Conclave, a collection of ancient chromatic dragons that had terrorized the Taldore countryside, ruined a number of the villages and cities. Uh, their leader, Fordak the Cinder King, lording over the capital city of Iman uh, for a number of weeks at this point. Uh, in order to prepare themselves for this battle, they've traversed the plains and all across the world to acquire vestiges of divergence, these powerful artifacts. Uh, and upon acquiring them and gathering allies, they made an assault with the help of these allies upon the city of Amman, defeated Thordak the Cinder King, and after making an alliance with one of these Conclave members, Raishan, the diseased deceiver, to aid them in this battle, they ended up battling Raishan as well within Thordak's lair beneath the city. Raishan nearly annihilated uh, the entirety of the group Vox Machina uh, kept at bay only by them summoning one of their allies, Jaman Saord, uh, the powerful brass dragon uh, and secret leader of the city of Ankarel. Uh, enough of a threat to push her away, uh, Raishan took the corpse of Thordak, uh, apparently via teleportation, as well as two of the eggs that remain in the lair, and vanished. Um, upon wrestling your way outside of the lair itself, you came upon a number of allies who had fought their way uh, to the center of the city, as well as Patrick's character, Carrick, who had brought a number of his ragtab adventurers from the city of Western to aid. Uh, Carrick joined you in your return to Whitestone and has now agreed to aid you in your search for the current whereabouts of Raishan. Through the use of some uh, rather rapid scry magic and the dragon's spent capability to defend against it at the time, you found the location of Raishan, apparently a distant island to the far south uh, in the Lucidian Ocean, uh, one that once was the lair of Thordak before he was sealed, and before that apparently belonged to uh, a necromancer named Opash. Uh, you have then spent the evening in Whitestone, or I guess now the day, since you slept through the day, in Whitestone, preparing to rest for a coming conflict, giving chase to Raishan in hopes of stopping whatever her plans are before they come to fruition. So, that is when we dive back in. So, all of you guys have had a full night's rest. Um, you're back up to your full hit points. You regain half of your spent hit dice. Um, spells are back. 
Uh, I know we had a few characters level. We had Scanlan level, Percy leveled, and Pike leveled. Um, so we're just going to choose an eighth level for Pike, but it won't stick if she wants to not have that be it, right? Yeah. Okay. Sure. I mean, it's, it, well, no, well, it's fine. It's a cleric. It's a cleric give access to all the cleric spells. So like, oh, okay. So she, she doesn't can, have to she can, choose she can one, like a ranger. No, no, no. Yeah, that, that, that's kind of the benefits of like the cleric and the wizard is they have a larger breadth of spells, druids as well. Oh, to that's choose from. great. Um, well, never mind. Yeah, we're gonna pick one. Power, power, power word kill green dragon. <laughs> yeah, power word kill green green dragon or for eighth level spell. Oh. Sting power word kill. <laughs> wow. Green dragon. <laughs> specific. Green dragon specific. <laughs> Can she do that? No, no. no. Okay, I was just saying, is that allowed? <laughs> what? For her? You don't know. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. So, uh, if you guys want to get your any attunement changes you want to situate for the coming uh, party company move. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. I I uh, I would like my boots back. And I've been uh, sort of dreading this moment. Mm. Can I have my boots back? They look so good on me. Have you noticed? It's, uh, it's all I've noticed for the last 24 hours. Right? When I we mean, were they fighting. are beautiful. I was decided we probably would have killed her yesterday, but I was so distracted by how good the boots you looked in the boots. I know, yeah. I know, I know. Yeah. I mean, like, really good. Uh, strategically, I think I can actually do more, and I think I'm more likely to get uh, a little more bang for my buck. Oh, out of really? Them. Yeah. Strategically, you can do more than me. <laughs> Never mind. I'll use the sword. No, 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 no. Uh, I'll give them to you. I'll give them to you. Yeah, that was as painful as I imagined it would be. <laughs> um, it could have been worse. Yes, it could. Uh, Percy, would you like this uh, sword back? Um, you know. Or anybody? What it's sword? Like yes. Yeah, but it's a dragon killing sword. I know, Is but. That what I had originally. I, yes, I just, yeah. I'm better when I'm maneuverable, and I feel like I'm going to get one. One swing in and miss and it go to waste. Oh, and geez. Who needs it? Can I will admit, it? if I get within striking distance, I'm yeah. probably can I, can I in, see in it? trouble. Yeah, yeah, sure pass, you it can. Over, pass it over, pass <laughs> it over. No! Oh, Here's the handle. Oh. <laughs> All right, well. Proper, proper handling techniques. Mm. Maybe. That's how you what? do it. Really? Yeah. <gasps> yeah. I'll have it. Should I do? Good. Good, yeah. Should I do stealth cloak? You guys also have taken some time to inspect Wait. the other items that you received yeah, from the treasure. Oh, oh. What are those Get boots? me out of this bitch situation! <laughs> <laughs> give me those, give me those, give me those. Maybe they're those your own boots. Boots. Tequila. Oh, are they odd okay. boots. Maybe they're. And, uh, What's that say? This, whoever. <gasps> this is the haste. hammer. Oh! Ooh. There's a hammer? Oh, you I just like turned it into a. What? Or hammer. Oh, well. I was asleep. Oh. No. Hold on, hold on, I'll pass it over gotcha. to you. I'm not uh -huh. even going to read it, Keely. Okay. Chapter one. Ah. Okay. Ooh. Wait, the dwarven thrower. This is the war hammer. Okay. You gain a plus three attack bonus, bonus to attack and damage rolls. It has a throne property, normal range of 20 feet and a long range of 60 feet. Grog. When you hit with a ranged attack using this weapon, it deals an extra 1d8 damage, or if the target is giant, which a dragon is, 2d8 damage. Actually, an actual giant. Yeah. Oh, is a giant. Never mind. Immediately after the attack, the weapon flies back to your hand. Another one of those secrets she was talking about. Yeah, it's, it's Thor hammerish. Uh, it does it. require attunement by a dwarf. <clears throat> oh. oh, does it say that? What if I've got a dwarvish? Beard. If you and have, if you have the belt of dwarven kind attuned, you will, you can attune to that <gasps> hammer as well. <laughs> but only, only under that condition. <laughs> if you attune, if you unattune one, if you unattune the belt, you have to unattune the hammer. Oh, I and you to have to give Matt twenty dollars. <laughs> I'm so happy about that. Yes, that as well. I forgot that on the card. I'm going to open up like a weapon expo. This is amazing. I may drag something from you. I don't need my No, no, the similarity is notable. I noticed you haven't actually given me the boots back, and I just wanted to remind you. Oh my god, let me find the fucking piece of paper. Jeez. It's very important. I'm also going. Oh, you go. These boots might be maybe good for our wonderful. For cleric, these are boots of elven kind. While you wear these boots, your steps make no sound, regardless <gasps> of the surface you are moving across. You also have advantage on dexterity stealth checks that rely on moving silently. 
Oh, oh my Planky. gosh, but I don't know what Planky. else. I don't know what it's else Pike has attuned on. Oh, well, well, <laughs> that, that one I don't think requires a tune. Pass him over. Pike will win. Yeah, you, you don't have to tune to it. They don't need a tune. No. Whoa! I'll write him down on her sheet. But, yeah, but, but she will not have her boots levitation or any other things. Or she won't have her sprinter's boots. The sprinter's boots will be replaced by those. And suspenders. Well, you know. What are the chances that she's going to need to bolt? Probably more than sneak around. Probably. What if? It's a choice to make. Yeah. Okay. Here's a question: Can she have the boots on, and then right before the battle, put on the sprinter's boots? Twenty minutes. Sprinter's boots do require attunement. And like, it's not like you can attune them right. and then take them off. I have to double check the card from her. I don't know if they do. Um, sprinter's boots are pretty. Clutch for Pike. Yeah, they're pretty clutch, especially after the last time it I made mean, us we're, move around. We're going but, to brawl. But we're going stealthy probably in going before we yeah. get It's up to you. The process of a giant armored uh, gnome to like change out her boots is is, okay. is gonna be it's it's not like a quick yeah. It's not pressing an X button in your inventory. It's like changing from one pair of ski boots into another pair of ski boots. <laughs> Essentially, yeah. <laughs> So be mindful right. of that. Um, minor thing, I'm going to attune yes. the uh, Deathwalker's Ward to Necrotic. To Necrotic. Yeah. Okay. Well then, how is your stealth, Percy? I'm. I have wonderful. I have spider boots. Oh, you have spider boots. Have spider what boots. about you, Grog? Huh? What was your question? Yeah. Sorry, I'm drooling all mind? over this fucking hammer. Are, are you still? Are you still wearing the same yeah. boots Since that I you gave made back his for boots? yourself? Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. Fancy. I'm wearing the boots right. of Pharaoh Leaping. Is, he's got a leaping boots. Is that a Thor hammer? Is that what that is? Oh, yeah, it's leaping. pretty fucking close. <laughs> bang, bang. Apparently, I throw it, it comes right back to my head. If I had like a frenzied rage and three attacks, would it go like, whoop-ah, 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 like a giant yo yo? Technically, yes. <laughs> I'm taking this one. I, I get it. Oh, I my understand. God. How, uh, how far can you throw that thing? 60 man? feet. 60 feet. Well, it's 20 feet, and then 60 feet is the second range increment. So if it's longer uh, than 20 feet, your attacks are at disadvantage. Uh, but you can still attack with them. But if I do Rex attack, it, it would be a normal roll, and then yeah. everyone gets advantage against you. I love you right now. If these two tables weren't not way, dude, love, love the dice. Mad love. On love camera. the dice that rolled that treasure hoard. So. All right. Oh, it's um. all over the bottom of the table after the show. Yeah. Mayonnaise. Yeah. Mayonnaise. Oh. Is anybody else no. wanting to uh, tune? I would, I would like to tune to this. To the dwarven thrower. Yes. Okay. And not the blood axe. Not the blood axe. Okay. Oh. So the blood wow. axe goes away. Wow. The dwarven really thrower is out. Excited about it. Uh, Cabal's Dragon Slayer. Animus. So, just so you're aware, the dice roll on that is is a D8 oh, to do whoa. damage, as opposed to a D12. Oh, that doesn't I, sound as cool. I must think. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna do my circlet, my it antlers, as always, ring of protection, spire complex. Okay. Um, just to chime in, out of character. Um, I know we picked up the dancing sword, which could act as an autonomous fighting thing, um, but I don't know who has that or who has slots available for uh, the tune. That is, Grog has that, actually. Ooh, isn't it, isn't Grog it has it, every weapon ever. Is an attunement thing? <laughs> uh, you have to attune to it, yeah. Northrop Gummin. You're a Fallout character. Base Licky I'm Raytheon. Um, I make all the weapons. <laughs> but yes, Grog does have the sword. Do you have an extra s spot, Care? Bro. To attune? Um, I'm going to show my age here. Um, you know, I have I have only occasionally done fifth edition back in the day you, when I got used to playing. We never attuned our weapons. Yeah, you only have two um, things attuned, so you're good. So yeah, you do. You can. Um, yeah, so I'm 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 relatively easy in terms of like what magic items I have. I could have it and and set it loose at the beginning of combat if nobody else can. Yeah. What? Yeah. Okay. So okay. So so Grog, Grog pulls the the sword out from the bag of holding, and uh, as he kind of reaches and sends it towards you. You feel the sudden, like, almost like a like a, a sudden burst of headache in the back of your mind, and you kind of stop for a second, Grog, and you look at the blade, and there across the metallic sheen of this gorgeous scimitar, you see this image begin to almost seep through and look at you. It's this female-like face, very faint, a reflection. Female setting! Um, but the teeth are fanged, and you see what looks to be almost like a swirl of snakes around the outside. At that moment, you feel that burst of headache in the back of your head grow extremely strong, and you drop the blade out of your hand, and you guys watch as Grog falls to his knees, just clutching the sides of his head. The sword, as it hits the ground, it clacks, king, king, king. The blade almost immediately rusts and turns into a dark, dull metal. The gems crack and turn to dust, and what now lies there is an inert weapon. What, what the fuck? What did you do? Grog? Uh, well, 
Ow! Is it? <laughs> oh no, did it turn you really, really, really stupid? It really hurt, and it's still hurting. <laughs> Rock, how many fingers am I holding up? Square. <laughs> well, he's oh, fine. he's dumber. Oh, no. oh, oh, oh. magic sword bit me. That really hurts. <laughs> <Magic sword. laughs> what happened? What happened? What? Do, is it just because it's only meant for you? Carrick, do you still want it? <laughs> <laughs> I do I have any idea what like like was this was this thing rejecting me or pissed that that, that Grog was like abandoning it? You get the sense just because you've seen a few things like this that this was actually an inherent curse within the blade, and it just took a moment oh. to dig itself into Grog. Oh no. Wow. Uh, but the, cur- the 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 source of the curse is expended, and Grog, you are permanently at minus two to all your saving throws. Oh. Correcting my mistake from the card last oh, session. Oh shit! This is the deck of many things. This this was this this was me completely either misreading or mishearing it last that time. Kind of as self-talk. the internet let me know that that was the card drawn. I want to make sure that I we stick to what was drawn. That. I do have a problem with the headache. Could we maybe like bargain to get the headache removed? Because I'm really I happy. Have, I have Tylenol, but it requires attunement. <laughs> I need BC powder. <laughs> I think Grog is a way to get rid of headaches. Can I also say, like, no one's gonna That's ever try to get away with anything here because you know we're being watched like fucking, you know, you, you people are watching like hawks. Who's what? I know. Everything is going to be seen. So, oh, shit. Oh, gods. Camera. Ooh, so gods. wait, there's so, yeah. minus Benevolent. two to all of his saving throws? Yes. Permanently? Well, until yeah. until a god takes it away. No, I'm a not god. visiting those stupid gods. No, go talk to the Raven Queen or somebody. It's a, it's a curse. Seren Ray. You're cur- you <gasps> Maybe she can greet a restoration. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I yeah. Realize what it is. Stupid sword. Jeez, me and swords. Pike. <laughs> I'm really not doing well. Yeah. Pike, can you take a look at your buddy? Well, I don't know if I know that anything's wrong with him. I always get the crazy ones. Grog, well, do you have a headache? <laughs> Normal. Grog is clutching One the side of his head. Like, you just, Pike just came up to you and think, asked you a question. Think, what did she say? Do you have a headache? I, I do. Do you have anything to help with it? Well, I can maybe do like a cure wounds. <laughs> <laughs> or. Um, but I'm not, I'm not wounded, it's just a headache. Do you have cure headache? I don't <laughs> think so, but I can pray to Saren Ray if it would help. Oh shit, I don't know. It's out of my league. I mean, maybe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, can I? Is Dread there anything like, I have? <laughs> what are you talking about? What do you want to try? Um, Pike is just universally cute. <laughs> She's like a kigurumi. If you wear it, you're just automatically you're cute. Just mm-hmm. cute. You're just insta cute. You're just insta cute. Um, is there. Yeah, the human would, would I know what to do? Would she know what to do? I think greater restoration. To try to help it all. Uh, if it's a. Curse. I mean, there are a few things that can usually take care of a regular curse, but she doesn't understand the nature of this curse. Okay. Um, I can try to do like a. Uh, I don't know what level greater restoration. It's a fifth level. It's really. It's, it's only a headache. I'll be fine. Are you sure? Uh, yeah, we all just healed. I'm fine. to go. Okay. I mean, she's yeah. used Let me know if you need anything, though. All right. Yeah, I will. Thank you, Pike. Well, say, coming into this fight, down two on all saves. Is We're gonna kick sure? some ass. Oh, down two. <laughs> that's. If you have a, sp- do we have anything that uh, sitting around that's I mean, not a tomb I mean, though? I we can, we can gift you some. Pike, Pike got that uh, that cloak that the that fucking Hotis glued to my flesh off. That's true. Uh, that's what I think what she did. Grog, if you want. She also, can, you can have my knows. my ring of protection, which is a ring of protection plus two, and it gives you plus two to AC and to all your saving throws. I was gonna wear it, but I could wear the cloak of displacement instead. I'm not a real big jewelry fan. Do I have to attune to it? Yes. Yeah. No, I don't want it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. <sighs> Just Thank you, though, yeah, Kaylee. Yeah, that was very she, sweet. She, she, You're yeah, welcome. Absolutely. It's a little bit yeah, of a girly together, ring, so I understand. She would know. She's. Should she we have anything that's not attuned that we can that we can okay. lend? She knew something was wrong, and she tried. Well, you're full like on attunements, though, right? Yeah. You're yeah. full up. Okay, okay, okay. Then Pike's but. gonna try to do greater restoration on Grog. Okay. In theory, I have a. <clears> so uh, as you guys are having finishing this conversation, Grog and Keyleth, yeah. uh, Pike walks up and uh, lifts out or holds her gauntlet out, her giant, awesome monster ogre gauntlet. Uh, as it begins to suddenly emit this bright, white, vibrant glow, 
as she touches the front of your forehead, uh. kind of beckoning you to bend down to try and get rid of the headache. You watch as the healing energy surges through your body from head to toe, and as it passes oh, through you, uh, the light fades. The spell is spent. It was a fifth, fifth level spell she used, and the headache remains. Oh. Did it do anything for my gas? Uh, there is no divine magic that can do anything about that either, Rob. <laughs> Bitch, you need to worship the goddess of Vino. <laughs> it was worth a try, though, because that would have been helpful. I cannot find my my card for my uh, what? Uh, ring of lightning resistance. It seems to have vanished. It's, di- it's different. Oh. Some different. I don't know where it would have gone. Um, do we have anything else and that we can trinket, lend for, for I didn't say the last time, but Trinket's out of the necklace. Okay. Here, do you have any, any magic yeah. healing he on you at the moment? Actually, you know, Garrick is, is kind of standing around just, you know, it's like he's buffing a little bit of the rust out of his, like, off the rack chain mail. Um, <laughs> you know, I, uh, and he's, he's trying not to look like um, that kid who showed up at the rich kid's party. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, uh, out of character, I will say, if anyone has anything, <laughs> Just kind of and, uh, like that they're not using in terms of yeah no we protection. do I'm like I'm reasonably geared up I'll be able to go in and hit no no are you are you anybody just that has anything in the bank are, are, are you wearing make use of it are are you wearing armor uh his chainmail. Okay, so the, the bracers of defense wouldn't work. No. You want to lend yeah, would the cloak work yeah. with armor, right? Yeah. It wouldn't replace his armor or no. cloak. Yeah, no, the cloak will work. Oh, oh, there. oh, are you well, okay no, with that, Bax? Um, Kara, we have this cloak of displacement that's pretty, pretty awesome. Yeah, it's if made you from the flesh of like a flying manta ray sure. type thing, and it makes you really hard to hit. And I, now this is a loner. It's actually made from the flesh of a displacer beast. I know that. Oh, okay. I know. But you described <laughs> it like a manta ray. Uh, I also have a very uh, precious ring, which I would love to have back from you once we've killed this dragon. Uh, but you will not be seen if you wear it. Really? Yeah. Um, I would. I would put that to good use in the coming fight. Okay. I take the cloak and I throw it over him. Are you gonna tweet it to him? Yeah. Or text it to him? Whatever. And I slap the ring down into his palm. Do you have a picture of the ring? A picture of the ring? Do you have a Like it's a, a ring of invisibility. It's just a ring, do you have a thing? No? Just a legendary oh, a ring. Thing. Yes, I have well, a thing. Let me text a just photo. a legendary ring. Just a legendary ring oh, like you do. Send it to him? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. it won't let me text photos. It's being, my phone's being stupid. <laughs> Just note, with the Ring of Invisibility, yeah. um, you remain invisible until the ring is removed, until you attack or cast a spell, right. or until you use a bonus action to become visible again. If so. anyone has anything better to give him, we can No, that's that. really that's good. Pretty, yeah. Hardcore. That's a badass Hey, ring. Siri. <laughs> All right. Cool. Remind me to ask Patrick Rothfuss for my Ring of Invisibility back once the dragon is dead. <laughs> We're good. All right, there you go. <laughs> Thank you, Siri. <laughs> Assisting the indie game since Indeed. 2000 and something. <laughs> All right, so, and what else do you guys want to prepare, if anything? As you wake up, come to consciousness. Um, we, should have a, we should have a hero's feast. Yes, we should. Yes. Is there anybody that can do a hero's feast? Pike, Outside how of us? are you looking on feasts? Pike? Huh? Pike. anyone else? I mean, if Pike wants to prepare a hero's feast, Pike could cast it. We know Pike can. Can Gilm. No, Gilmore. That was no. a one-time Gilmore can't thing. do it. No, Gilmore can't do it. Alone. Gilmore. Gilmore had a few items that basically turned into a hero's feast, right. but he lost his shop. So. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 Pike can. Pike can do another. What level is that? Hero's, hero's feast. feast is, I believe, six oh, level. I think. Is it right? Here? Uh, yes. Yeah. It's yeah, a six, six level. level spell. Six level. Okay. Why are we having a feast? Are we going to fight something? Yeah. No. It's breakfast. It's the most important meal of the day. Yeah. You're right. I feel terrible. You marked it off. No, like Why should it not be the best it. breakfast I that know. we can okay, have? Okay, so we all have More. a hero's feast. All right, so, uh, Mark. Salary uh, man's your, your, your diamond that you recently found <laughs> yes. in the hoard uh, marked off. As Pike prepares a long wooden table summoned through divine magic that contains a fantastic meal of all the classic uh, Western comfort foods instilled with the power and guidance of Saren Ray. As you spend the additional hour to eat and drink and gain the effect of this of the spell, um, you become immune to poison, immune to fear, and you all get an additional 
Uh, 2d10 to your maximum hit points if you want to roll that, Laura. Damn! Oh. For Pike? Yes. And for Scanlan. Well, this is for everybody. This is, everybody gets this amount. Oh! That's not bad, that's not bad. What's that? That's a 15 Ooh. added for everybody. So everybody gets 15 additional oh, hit points. Thanks, 15. Ah! And I'm assuming Trinket is eating, yes. and Alora is eating. Yes. It can feed up to 12 people. So, Care's yes. Eating. That would be Care as well, and Alora and Kim. And we get it's a save against, and we get an advantage on what saves? Uh, fear and poison. Well, you're immune to poison. You're immune, immune, immune to fear and immune to poison. Oh. We, we, we don't get an advantage? I felt, I felt advantage like Advantage on wisdom. Wisdom saving throws. Thank you. Oh, good to remember. Yes. All righty. Oh, I, and I attuned, um, by the way, um, my bracers of archery are attuned again. Since okay, I you're attuned to bracer archery? Yeah. Gotcha. Cool. Alrighty, so. Should I do a scrying eye, see if I can still find Raishan? Yeah, but mm. what should you scry on? Can you scry on like Thordak's body or something? Because she would have it right next to him. Can I? Her. We have the ball. Uh, it's either a, a creature or location. Or location. Can I? Well, if right now, we, we're pretty sure that they don't know that we know where they are. Do we Do we want to risk that, losing the, losing the, the surprise? We don't. Do. Can if I scry on her cave, would that tip her off in the the, the cave of Oh um, Opash? Opash. One way to find out. Opash's Only laboratory. Only one way to found, find out. Opash's. I'm I'm of the opinion that we we it's 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 personally I think it's safer to know what we know now and go in because if if things. If I mean, I can always teleport us there and scry there. Right. And that way, it's. That way, at least we're yeah minutes. Yeah. As far as you know, when you create a uh, sensor at a location, creatures that can see invisibility can see the actual uh, the oh, scrying okay. location, the orb itself that you create, the magical orb of which your your vision peers through. Oh, that um, shit! But that's 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 the only thing you would have to consider. That's a massive thing yeah. to consider. <laughs> um, <laughs> Unless she's in like perma bubble bath world, I think we should just go. I think we should go too. <laughs> oh jeez! Uh, what do you think? So nervous. I know. I'm not. <clears throat> I'm feeling strangely positive. Negative two players. Would you put that piece of wood down, please? He's eating wood again. <laughs> we need to get him another salt lake. <laughs> I do miss my salt lake rock. (laughs) Can I keep an eye out as we walk around for another salt lake rock? (laughs) Make a perception check. (laughs) Don't make me do that. (laughs) Oh! God, the sound those things make. (laughs) Thirteen. You find a few separate pieces of what look like uh, quartz like rock that just kind of line the sides of the road and the exterior garden of the castle. Um, And upon trying each one, Uh, not as salty as you'd hope. They're generally just bits of white stone or rock. That's cock rock. Let let him lick it if he wants it. It's just going to make him happy. (laughs) Is it close to salty? Could I confuse it with salt? Uh, I mean, you get like a hint of salt, but Is it's, it's gone after the first lick. Shiny than the others. Uh, after licking it a few times, it gets a little shinier. Yeah. I uh, am a great sorcerer. I will keep this new stuff. Okay. So go ahead and mark three three uh, quartz rocks. Like palm sized. Uh, yeah, roughly, some are a little bigger than the other. The center one is a little bit like a like a basketball. Bag size. of holding, you got new occupants. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was the first thing I did when I got a salt. Putting rocks in the bag of holding, <laughs> just all of them, just filling it with rocks. rocks True. Like I for Christmas. Poop. First thing I Don't judge this collection. I had to um, frogs, yeah. dragon poop. This is the world's greatest Walmart. This fucking yeah. bag, I'm telling you. Ox, oxen. This is Greg. Troll the greener. Can we have to put a greener in there? This is collection of pet rocks. I think our bag needs a greeter. <laughs> All right. Um, as you guys Welcome are preparing, um, Kima and Alora catch up to you guys. They're, they've gathered their materials and they're prepped for battle. Kima's fully armored and kind of, you know. Hot. Does she look badass in like she, her full sorceress armor? Better. Oh, Alora? Yeah. Take picture. Take picture. Okay. What's she look like? <laughs> yeah. So Alora is still. She's an upper, you know, middle class. Girl. Well, she, she's still uh, she's wearing one of her her many uh, ceremonial robes uh, that she does for you know presentary. Uh, Taldore council work, um, but you see she has a hood up over her head. Her uh, 
Her hair braids are both kind of tied together behind her neck so they don't get in the way. Uh, you notice that there is some really nice jewelry that's adorning the side of her neck. Uh, the staff she carries with her usually is relatively simple, but you see now that there are a number of runes kind of carved in a spiral along the, the sides of it. Um, you can see a number of rings that she previously wasn't wearing that are on, and her face is hardened, and you see that she, where normally she has this kind of air of keeping the room, you know, almost a, a teacher or parental type presence in the area, there is kind of an intensity and darkness to her face that you haven't really seen before. Not since at least the attack on the city happened. Work. Work. <laughs> <laughs> and Kima. Oh my god. (laughs) And Allura. Uh, All right, guys. So, Uh, they've arrived. um, Sorry, not sorry. Allura steps into the room, uh, her staff kind of clinking across the the stone floor of the castle. All right, have we put all of our affairs in order? Mm. Yes. Well, I hate when you put it that way. the, The feast, too, right? Uh, they come in towards the uh, the beginning of the, of the casting of the feast, and they eat as well. Yes, it's a buffet. It's a hero's buffet. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's not God. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, all right. How we... best should we arrive? Uh, if you have the ability to trees, uh, bring us through the tree, or I can teleport us there. Um, Is it the same? Which, which, what's, um, which... What, what power? How much energy do you use when you teleport? <laughs> uh, as far as the, the advancement of, of spell strength, uh, a teleport spell in its own right is uh, the seventh sphere of magical incantation. Hmm. Then let me go with the, the our transport via plants, which is more of like the <laughs> six, you know, level. Sounds like a, a wondrous idea. Yeah, you know. Worst case scenario, we can camp for the night if we are victorious and spent. Oh, I love camping. Uh, yeah, it should be. A, it looks like a very pretty island. Uh, let's make sure that one of the gate stones is left here in case one of us has to make a mad dash. Give it to Cassandra. Give it obviously. Keep it as in, in Cassandra's care. If if somebody comes back, you know everything has gone horribly wrong. Kima uh, Kima kind of runs over and takes the stone from your hand and goes, "All right, I'll give it to her. Be right back." She kind of jogs off. You hear the ching 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 of the armor as she disappears. Maybe we should give her the boots. Um, it's not a bad call. <laughs> if she wants it. <laughs> this is true. She wants to uh, push it up. So. Yeah, yeah. You know then, what? When Kima comes back, I'm going to give her the elven boots. Okay. So, so Kima she returns. Can be, she can be quiet. So she's not so clean. She takes them and is like, mm, not really my style. If you don't want them, I'll wear them. I mean, I like them a lot. I'm just saying, you're loud. Uh, I'll take them. <laughs> <laughs> And you all wait patiently for the next six minutes as she <laughs> unbuckles and pulls off the, yeah. uh, the rest of her lower armor and gets the boots on. That don't match at all. No, and you can see it, it gives her a twinge of disappointment. Wouldn't have pegged her for a um, straight laces. Yeah, it's like different tiered armors and Warcraft. Yeah, and yeah, it's, it's oh, so so she's wearing green. So what's the worst? It's, it's her uh, Doc Martens over here. Yeah. The, <laughs> the yeah. expansion just came out, so it was like all epics and like one green, it's better than the rest. Like, yeah. It's the worst. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Professor Martin. <laughs> all right. Um, <laughs> with you all gathered there, yeah. uh, Allura, Hood still up, kind of nods. Keyleth, lead the way. To the sentry, then? To the sentry. Very well. <sighs> Let us hope that we return here tomorrow victorious. She swirls around, her cloak kind of spinning around her base as she follows suit after you, Keyleth, and the rest of you make your way, uh, marching down the front of Castle Whitestone to the center of the town, where there you see um, the faint elements of green bloom now growing across the tree from where once it was bare. Um, the season bringing in the sense of spring and summer that had been kept at bay for a while. Um, and for you as well, Percival, this is the first time in a long time you've seen the sun tree showing that I, I, growing I, I, I quietly of life. sneak up and give it a good kiss. Oh, <laughs> I see it, and I'm like, you know, I know him. I can put in a good word. Really, I we, we talk all the time. He never mentions you. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm gonna let that go. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you. 
I could be a discussion. I'm not going to do that right now. <laughs> we'll talk later. <laughs> Are we ready? Um, all right, so what are you focusing on for the receiving end of this? I'm assuming I found a tree that was kind of close to her cavern that's big enough. Uh, with the second scrying that you did with the Laura, yeah. you, which was just specifically the island of, uh, of the Skun, you mm -hmm. did see a number of trees uh, not far from the kind of uh, rocky protrusion, this, the small mountain that seemed to be the, uh, the place where this, this laboratory is in. Okay. Um, so yes, you, you can choose one of those trees you saw be large enough to do it. Okay. So, Scanlan has him stops us before we start. For the record, this is a terrible idea, and we have no plan. <laughs> Just putting it out there. <laughs> I'm with you. This is a terrible plan, and we're going to die. You seem different. I'm fine. <laughs> I have a cold. Okay. I don't feel well. I, <laughs> I'm taking something for it. I'm sing fine. me a song. I, I, sing me a song right now. I'm I, not singing. I try to stealthily <laughs> sniff Scanlan. Does he smell like? Well, first roll a stealth check. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Don't ever say the word. <laughs> okay, fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, the not stealthy at all. Keyleth slowly approaches you. You see her. You make eye contact, and yet she still slowly crawls up and begins taking a big whiff on your shoulder. Ah, oh, so nervous. There once was a barbarian named Grog who had the IQ of a log. I keep going, but now you're excited, and I just, you've made me lose my oh, desire to play. Does he that smell like the incense that I smelt from him before? No. He smells of uh, frustration, disappointment, and worry. Yeah. You smell like a sad man. All right, let's go. Uh, <laughs> All right. So, do you go ahead and cast the spell? Uh huh. All right. I, I say to the sentry, I say, me, "Caught my eye." And I, didn't I like your new haircut. I have a new one too. Okay, let's go. I cast pass it on a trace on all of us before we go through the tree. Okay. Ooh, that's good call. So, as the shadows coalesce <laughs> around your bodies, your legs, your knees, your feet, uh, you watch as the front of the sun tree uh, suddenly splits open to reveal the pathway through across to what looks to be um, a partially ruined jungle. You all step through the tree quickly before the portal slams shut behind you. And as you guys emerge, uh, looking about, you can see what looks to be a lot of uh, heavy dirt and earth that uh, there's spatterings of sand throughout. And surrounding you immediately, you can see there are different trees throughout this kind of, uh, what at some points are a lush green jungle on the outside. And as the further in you go, you watch as the trees have all withered black. Um, a little ways over the tree line, you can see maybe a quarter mile off what looks to be the top of the mountain that a brief instant of your first vision and your scry spell lend you towards. Does it look like the the blight of the trees is getting more concentrated the closer to the top of the mountain? It looks like to be, it's a radial it's like effect a radio? from yeah, the yeah, actual yeah. mountain, yes. Does it look like fire damage or something else? Uh, you want to go and take a look? Yeah. Make an investigation check. Yeah, stand back. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven minus two. <laughs> um. Nine. You can't recall the the color, really, mm. that they've become, but it's not alive. Someone peed on these trees, all of them in a big circle, Is you know, like that. Grog, is this what happens when you pee on trees? Is that not normal? We should talk with Pike okay. when we get home. <laughs> Make just, sure you're okay. Is she here? Oh, do you need me to cast another greater restoration? Mm -hmm. for your... No, his bladder infection's fine. Okay. Yeah. It can keep. It can keep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, takes a, it takes a wish spell to get rid of that, unfortunately. It's <laughs> been in every brothel in Taldor. <laughs> 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 Um, not the grog bog. <laughs> um, he and Scanlan um, both. Can I? Oh wait, did he find anything out? Did you find anything no, out? No, he didn't find anything. Can I do a nature check? Sure, go for it. These trees aren't alive. That, that's, that could be a little attack. Fancy that. Oh, well, that's that's good. That's Twenty-one. Fun. Okay, uh, as you guys going to walk kind of through. It's not a very very dense jungle. Um, we want to keep quiet as we do it. Okay, mm -hmm. so make stealth checks as well. 
Um, we have pass without a yes, trace? Yes, you do. So plus 10 to all your stealth. Natural 20! If only it mattered right now. Pew, 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 pew. Mm. All righty. A natural 20 for Allura. Ooh. Um, and uh, actually. Can... Oh, Camlin. Well. No, so that's, she gets I, I rolled a disadvantage for Kima, and it was like 16 and a 4, but then she had the boots on, so the first one sticks. Yeah. 24 for Pi! Nice. Ooh. So stealthily, you guys quietly. What'd you roll? I rolled thirty. I rolled thirty-three, and and oh, Scanlan rolled. Uh, Scanlan oh, rolled thirty-one. So, Grog, thirteen, okay. plus ten. Yep. Okay. <laughs> with, with the plus ten. Yep. Yeah. Whoa. How do we do that? Okay. Well, as you guys, uh, Kara, what'd you get? Uh, Fourteen for me. Okay. <laughs> plus ten. Uh, where would that plus ten come from? Uh, from Pass Without a Trace. It's a, a spell that uh, that she had cast on all of you. So. Then, then I am at twenty-four. There, there, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Thirty-eight. Nice. Oh. Thirty-seven. Five. Take a big oh, oh. So as Very you guys rough. kind of fan out in this, oh, this, oh hello. Hi. Now boarding Star Tours. <laughs> uh, Microsoft Outlook. As you begin to weave your way through these trees as quietly as you possibly can, Keyleth, you kind of step by and run your fingers along some of these uh, withered gray and black fronds and, and branches. And um, all of these trees look like they had the life force pulled from them. Uh, almost like a very, very rapid starvation or thirst took them. But what's interesting is a lot of these trees are near petrified and have been this way for a very long time. That was going to be my question. This is not a recent occurrence. So like the petrified forest in Arizona? And stuff? Kind of, yeah. yeah. But, it's, but a sadder version, if that's possible. Okay. And they're all like, mm. um, no, That's sad, that is sad. Oh, bad tree. What, what, do I, what do I know about, <laughs> about Opash and what and the crimes and, and, and what sort of Tinkering. You don't know that much. I mean, the, the fact that you that you knew the name and a little bit of the history uh, was even impressive by uh, the standards of everyone <laughs> here. Um, okay, what little you do know is that he he was sent away specifically because of his his inquiries and how far you can reach with necromantic magics and lost history from the Age of Arcanum. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, the, Age of Ar the, the Age of Arcanum was the, the epoch before the divergence, before the uh, the calamity hit, oh. and not a lot of history exists about it. A lot of it was destroyed either during the battle or people destroyed it thereafter to prevent us from you know, reusing what led to that sort of conflict. Um, but Opash apparently had gathered, or at least was in the process of trying to recover some of that information. So these trees have been dead for like hundreds of years. Hundreds of years, yes. All right. So the scarring does not seem recent. No. And there's no new scarring? Uh, there does not appear to be any new scarring that you can tell. Good. It's not what you've seen so far. That's very good. That's a good sign. Do I see any sign of um, tracks or anything? Dragon uh, tracks. Go ahead and make an investigation. Dragging check. of giant Carcasses, or just you know, footprints. Yellow dra dragon crossing signs. Advantage because it's a dragon. If it's dragon related. It is dragon related. Natural twenty. <gasps> Alrighty. <gasps> there are no dragon tracks. Mother. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> she, she licks a tree. And says, no dragon has. No been. dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I bet there's other tracks though that I totally missed because I was looking for dragons. Yes. Hmm. I'm gonna. Can I look for anything other than dragons? <laughs> there won't be an advantage. Just go for Just it. Just really want to use that. I really want that twenty, but I don't get it. And this one is not as good. Is this an investigation? Uh, Perception. I'll, yeah, this would be an investigation for you. Kind of like sitting down and getting close and looking throughout the uh, Eleven. dirt. Eleven. Uh, you do find tracks, but they're scattered and they're of small feet. Um, looks like some indigenous creatures or wildlife that exists on this landscape. Okay, but uh, they're all little. They're all little, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, cats. As you guys push through, uh, Allura kind of looks up through the, the boughs of the dead trees. And, uh, while you were preparing, uh, I did some research on this island, and it seems that the, there were a, an indigenous people that lived here before Opash came. Um, thousands that made seaward trade routes to the north and the west. And um, when he made this his home, the indigenous people were never heard from again. Oh my god. 
Um, it is believed by many who ever sees that this land is cursed and is to be avoided for that reason. This forest, uh, one of the superstitious points of that reasoning, um, there are a few that come through trying, hoping to scavenge or find things from his lost whereabouts or his uh, you know, his own hoard or treasures he may have garnished in his time. But a uh, few of those return as well. Well, if Raishan came here, then who knows what horrors actually do exist on this island. It's possible that she found some of his notes and built upon them. There could be anything. And did you read if the island was trapped or any type of arcane presence on it? Well, I, I mean, if this was the layer of a necromancer, um, an entity that is both selfish and driven towards the personal power and advancement of their own narcissism, I can imagine that they are very well protected with their secrets. Now, the fact that this abode was taken by Thordak um, before he made rain uh, upon the southern side of the continent, um, who knows what happened to Apash. Thordak made this ab his abode. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, oh. uh, uh, up until uh, he began to wander onto the continent of Taldore. Interesting. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is it? Is it? <laughs> no. Is it? Is I'm. I'm just playing some conjecture in my head. Is, if you have a powerful necromancer, then there's any possibility that he could have found a semblance of unlife of Oparsh wandering around and bent him towards his will, that we don't know how that gem got into his chest in the first place. We don't know how any of this happened, and that's, that's oh. just too much we don't know yet. We have to find the cave. Oh. The gem we created, me, Kima, Drake, um, as far as we know, if any of her stories be believed, Raishan was responsible for the rituals that embedded it within Thordak's chest on the Plane of Fire during her time with the Fire of Shari. Um, once again, as much as we can believe. As much as we know. There's just a lot we don't know. Well, let us be careful. <laughs> Press on. Tread <laughs> carefully. Uh. <clears throat> just keep an eye out. We're keeping eyes out for anything that looks yeah, do you maybe different we'll than normal jungleness. You okay. and I head out like 20 feet ahead of everybody and check sure. the traps as we go. All right. Carefully. Investigation checks from both of you guys, if you don't mind. Investigation or? Yes. Yeah. We're, we're looking for traps specifically, investigation. Yep. Uh, 26. 18. 18. 18. Okay. Um, pushing forward, you guys. I'm looking for not just, I wasn't just looking for traps, I'm looking for anything that looks out of place in the forest, because I don't know what kind of traps I'm necessarily would be set by something like this. Okay. You know what I mean? Sure. Um. In a, in a very lower Bailey. How much can I get out no, of this no, roll? No, 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 that's what I was I know, I know, I know, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> um, so as you guys push forward, um, you, uh, Vax, notice that the further in you go towards this mountain, uh, the trees, still dead, gray, are even further withered, and many of them have just turned to ash and dust. And the closer you get, the actual tree line grows thinner and lower, as it seems like the closer it gets to the mountain, they would be rift of most of their structure. Is, um, you do, uh, Vex, catch as your brother is moving forward, he is stepping towards a section of the uh, earth and sand that is slightly different textured, ever so slightly from the rest, and he's but a few feet from stepping into that space. Vex! Do, do, do. Stop. <laughs> there's, there's some weirdness on the ground. <laughs> I feel like that's something. I feel like it's something. <clears throat> So there's, you think something's up on the ground there? Yeah. I mean, what do I do at this point? Do what do you I, want to do? You look, you look down and you kind of do I detect? Don't you see, see it? It right. looks almost like I'm going to take a closer look. Is okay. what I'm going to do. It, it it looks like the difference between sand and slightly damp sand. The coloration is yeah. just uh, ever so faintly looking. darker. Now that you're looking, yeah. you can tell. Now right? that I have context, context yeah. is key. Yes, <laughs> always. Yes. Um, can I push him in? I'm good. Is it quicksand? Um, do I find a trap if I'm looking closer now with her added? I mean, it looks. It looks different from the rest. It, it, it isn't like there's no mechanism there. There's no, 
You don't see a, a pulley or a. Maybe it's magic. How far? Uh, how much of it looks? Is it avoidable? Uh, it's, it's a, yeah, it's avoidable. It's like a, okay. like, a, like a ten, fifteen foot uh, kind of oval area. Hey everyone. Yeah. Let's just not step on this dark patch. How about that? What? Because I think it's like magic or something, Grog. Like good magic. Like bad magic. What kind of bad magic? The like kind that would you. kill us all. Or like maybe the kind. Let's yeah, that gives you a really bad headache. Right, so we're really looking one of those. for more of that. Don't you don't want a headache. As we go. Similar sort of uh, thing. Continue. Okay. Uh, now that you've identified that, you've come across a few more patches, mm. and they seem to grow more dense as the trees grow more withered and gone, uh, until you get to a point where you can now see the base of this mountain. Can um, I do like an, can I, from a distance, kind of maybe do like a nature check? Are these almost like, Siphons like wells, where he was sucking the life force. Uh, make things. a nature check, or maybe like quicksand. This could be all the quicksand you were quicksand? promised as like, children. I know, right? Oh my gosh! Yeah. All these quicksand. These kids do not appreciate so, it. So it was such a big part of my Why did childhood. I never find quicksand? Twenty-two. Twenty-two. <laughs> um, okay, then. These are, are less siphons. They're more what looks to be. Uh, it's a phenomenon known as hollow earth, um, hollow earth. which is when. Uh, subterranean caverns um, go into collapse. Sinkholes. Sinkholes. Um, it, yeah. it can create a sinkhole-like phenomenon, but uh, like Hollow Earth, Earth generally is based on some sort of magical release, an explosion of magical energy um, beneath the Earth that causes, even though there is oh, no like there is no space, it erodes the Earth from its magic presence, whether it just like completely disintegrates or destroys portions of the Earth, uh, it leaves this very, very unstable portion of ground. So it's like oh, a magical, like a magical quasar that kind sure. of like blasts out? You're not entirely certain what it'll do, but it's right. not good. I take so, one of my new salt lick rocks and I'll throw it in one of the little sandy pools. Okay. Oh. As you take the rock and throw it into the sandy pool, it and just kind of lands with a little bit of dirt being kicked up around it and sits there for a rest. Oh, magic, huh? Real scary. And then? Would the, would, would just, would the rock tell you if it was having a headache right now? Yeah. How would it tell you that? I, I have a psychic connection with my rock. You also weigh a little. The rock uh, then goes and just falls how, how, underneath how? and you can see a spot of the ground perfectly shaped like where the rock was that is now just. Oh. Told you it was dangerous. Oh. I actually did that, it's magic. Good job, Grog. Yep. Um, Don't step there. <laughs> we, you we figured are, it out, Grog. Good job. Weird point Leave it to me. Contention for my imagination. Are the trees wilting, or do they seem like there was a bit of a blast? Are they? Are they? They are not sh leaning shrinking. a specific direction. Okay, so there's no uh, pattern to it. It's yeah, and it doesn't like there were leaves or anything blown off of them. It just looked like they gradually just died rapidly in yeah, place. It seems like the closer it's, we get, the deader it gets. Are we, can we see the mountain that we're getting towards? Yes, you can, and you guys maneuver around these spaces to get to the base of it, and it's it's a moderate-sized mountain. It's not nothing impressive on the outside. It's maybe maybe 600 feet tall at its apex. It's more of like a large rocky mound. Um, Two Matterhorns. Uh, make perception check. Natural twenty. Oh shit! Oh. I mean, there's nothing Just, in here. Why don't I keep trying to sit? Thirty tonight. is what I rolled, but that's not as good as a natural twenty. Uh, no, it's not. Yeah. Well, what's but your benefit? Thirty is still good. What's your bonus to the to perception? Perception. Oh uh, yeah, is twelve, so thirty-two. Okay, so close. Um, <laughs> you guys being at the front of the party, anyway. Oh, your perception bonus is higher than mine. When did that happen? How did you just notice mm, that? Fucking knows. That's all. That was my perception. <laughs> um, That's all we got. As you guys <laughs> scoot well. forward, being ahead of the rest of, of the party, um, you glance across yeah. the surface of this, and most of the rock uh, follows the familiar pattern of. You know, tectonic shift that's broken and cracked in places, but it's been over hundreds and thousands of years just settled into its natural state. There is one section of rock just maybe 200 feet from where you are landing at the base where it looks like the texture, the, the natural kind of lines of the rock is in a different direction. And uh, upon you heading in that direction, you can see now what it appears to be is a large rock. <laughs> Uh, very, very large, maybe 20, 30 feet wide, that is jammed into oh. uh, an entranceway. I perceive a rock. Yeah. Uh, I got a rock. Kind of. Uh, there are a number of strange holes 
uh, kind of peppered over the surface. Like big holes? Uh, about the size of a, 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 larger than a gold piece, each hole. Mm. Oh, does it look like it could be like things could come out of it? Possibly. Does it look like a trap. I'm checking for traps. Look at you have to you have to check it. All right. You know what the Gilmore would do. I want to check it. What is that? How many flash gold? Uh, Twenty-five for investigation. Investigation. Okay. Well, do I need to roll since he's so good? Might as well. What if it's a one? Ooh. <laughs> no, twenty-four. Damn. Okay. Got your water map. Hope you're lucky. Oh, thank you, sir. Um. So, uh, are the rest of you guys following up behind them. Let's just wait, 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 um, there will be things to hit shortly. Between the two of you glancing, you notice that each one of these uh, holes is actually a it's a, it's a pierced uh, intrusion upon the rock. Something very uh, quickly jammed itself into the rock to create this hole. Um, and they're clustered in places. Um, and you, with your experience, these claws are respective to the size of a very, very, very large dragon. Um, and it looks like different, some of them are more weathered than others. This boulder has been placed and pulled back and placed many, many times throughout the years. Um, wow. It's probably too heavy for us to move, but Grog, do you want to try? We sh I don't know if we should move it. Well, how do we get in if we don't open the entrance? We could if nothing else rather than moving the whole boulder, is there a way we could just get enough of a crack to get in? I can stone shape it a little bit thinner. Oh, yeah. dig. I like yeah. that. Yeah, just just so that if the dragon tries to run, they have to move a giant boulder. It would be yeah. really convenient. Oh, good call. That's right. true. Yeah. All right. Does it look like there's, am I there? I'm not there yet. You guys no, are no, hanging I mean, back. Right behind, behind us, but. Okay, Keep. I'll, I go up. Okay. Is there like a, a crack that looks like it can kind of just whittle it away. That's kind of already I mean, the, started with the boulder. The, the boulder is larger than the entrance way that it's jammed into, um, and you're not entirely certain what the inside of this cavern mouth is. If it's like a, just a direct, you know, intersection point, or if it's a gradual influx, you can just try and push through at one of those points if you'd like. Can you just put a hole in the middle, like right in the center of the boulder on the ground? Or would it be easier to? I don't know how shaping works. I only have a limited amount of space that I can carve out, so Got I don't it. know how the, the boulder might be too thick, but if I do it at the seam line, yeah, you, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I should be able to do it. So do I, I kind of want to do it at the seam. And what? Do we want to take the first entrance that we find? I mean, is it really one way in, one way out? Or if it's just like a trap? It's a very elaborate Does trap. Does someone want to check for traps? We already I checked and checked. Yeah, already checked. They did not appear to be trapped, just a very, rock. very heavy <laughs> rock. I mean, like, run a perimeter, like, do any recount on anything else, right? We'd have to run around an entire mountain. Does it look like there could be any other entrances? Well, I, know. I mean, I can you'd have to go around the entire mountain. Right, How long would it take about. if I flew around? Yeah. Oh, maybe at full speed. Hour and a half, two hours. Fuck that, that first, open the door. All right, cool, cool, yeah. cool, let's just shape a boulder. <laughs> Do I want to scry on the inside, or are we just going in? Do I want to scry and see if she's there? Yeah, because because this this accounts for you, like, flying, stopping, checking, flying, stopping, checking. You can't just check for traps while going by at 50 right. feet around. I'm scrying on the inside. Gonna scry on the inside. I guess so. Oh. Are we just going in? Yeah, we're doing it. I think we just go in. I mean, what 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 are we going to see that's going to make us change our mind? I mean, we have not well, guessed. If she's not, if there. She's not there. We haven't guessed what bullshit. Can you detect? Can, can you detect them. dragons? <gasps> oh, I'm going to try to detect dragons. Yeah. What the fuck? That's better. I sit down and go. Mm. It's almost like you. Can <laughs> see you have a headache too? Oh my god. Such a headache. We're all going to die. So I'm patient zero. <laughs> if I'm up by the boulder too, I will do. I don't have a huge range, but I will do divine sense. Okay. Uh, Ooh. I can I can detect all manner of stuff up to sixty feet. Yeah, yes, you can. Range. Alrighty. Nice. So using your divine sense, uh, let's see here. Okay, so, so you spend your time just focusing, making sure there's nothing either in or in the, the immediate vicinity of the rock or boulder 
That could be of a uh, celestial fiend or undead nature. Uh, while well, you spend a spell, spell slot to do your mm-hmm. primeval awareness. Yes. Um, so, yes, you do sense um, what appear to be three sources of dragon uh, life force Eggs. within the space, r- roughly in the direction of this mountain and below. That means they're alive. They're here, they're here. Oh God. Oh, She's still here, yeah. and I think the eggs are okay because I can still feel like oh, those Jesus, dragons are still alive. In there. I think so. Oh, God damn it! Not for long. Oh God. Okay. All right. Okay. I just did it within a mile. So, is that okay? Was that within a mile? Um, I believe it's. Or did I need to spend longer? Uh, for that one, it is for one minute per level of the spell. And it's within one mile, or six oh. miles if you're in your favorite terrain. Oh, so I am, because it's like woods, right? Wooded? It's wooded, oh. not wooded anymore. So it's one mile. But yeah, it's it, you, so you know at least they're within a mile. Okay, that's, well, they're, they're that's big. That's that's huge. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So this is happening. Does anyone <laughs> need to do anything else before we go? I have to go here? take a poo. <laughs> I have to pee too. I have to pee so bad. <laughs> What do you? What's that in roll character? For that? Mm. Uh, it's both. <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> okay. A little bit of both. Um. A little bit of both. Four. Okay. Sorry. Ah. No, sorry. All right. I feel bad about that. So it's the plan, guys. Like, are we gonna go in? Let's go in. Let's go Does in. anyone need to, to to do like a thing? Is there any pike? Like, I mean, I guess. Like, I'm, I mean, I don't know. We're gonna have to like go through. get in. Yeah. yeah. And it only lasts for a minute, so I feel like we're okay. gonna be in the caves longer than. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're still stealthing. Wait, actually, can I, what? can I pull, can I pull Vexus out real quick? Yeah, yeah. Can I, can I talk to you just real fast before we? Me? Yeah, like a little further away, like in private. What? No, no, I'm not seeing someone. No, I know. Listen, I'm already seeing someone. No, I know. Listen, um, <laughs> I hate to like beat a dead uh, bush, horse, cow. I hate to beat a dead cow, cow. cow. but like. I, <laughs> I really did like that little magic thing I found in, what in like magic thing when we were looting and stuff. Yeah. And like I've been really worried about you. And I know how you like to bargain, right? So I thought maybe I could trade you back for what I found. And I have this little parapet of wound closure. And you'd be dying so much, right? And if you wear this and you die, you immediately stabilize on your next turn. And I figured that'd be like a good trade. Do I have to attune to that, Grog? No. <laughs> You're lying. It's a big word. I don't really know what you're saying. <laughs> I really loved it. I mean, it made a, it made like a magic sword when I touched it. Grog, and then it gave you a headache. Yeah, but I can deal with a headache. Look, I won't. I, I, I just, I found it, you know? Grog. Ah! Grog! What? <laughs> This is awful. Come on. No, look, it's so bad look, for you. You won't die. You, you won't die. <laughs> <laughs> it's only because I'm looking out for you. Oh my god! Oh my god. You I'm see how hard this is when people want their boots back, when people my want their decks are, back. Well, I mean, Don't compare te- the it, boots it, to that deck. Are you kidding me? It is technically mine. Oh. I, you know, I found it. You did find it. It's technically somebody else's. You found it already. A cat stolen stuff. What do you care what he says? Grog, no. you have to promise me you. you won't pull anything from it. All you can do is hold on to it. Yeah. That's all you can do. Yeah. You can't look at anything. You have to keep it in its little pouch. Okay. I'm not there. I'm not there. Yeah, I don't look at anything. There. I keep it in its little pouch. I don't pull anything. Oh, I promise. Ah. So you know, in Guardians of the Galaxy, when he gives him that little ball at the end. Yep. Can I do that? Can I give him a pouch? Here's your here's your cards back, but don't look at them, Grog. They're really dangerous. All right. You want to trade? Yeah, give me the necklace. Okay, there. I take the cards. Okay. Um, so what are you what are you giving him? A little, a little pouch. A little pouch. That's the shape of the deck of cards. How do you make the pouch the shape of the cards? It's, it's maybe not that good of a pouch, but it's grog. What are you giving me? What make pouch? a sleight of hand check with disadvantage. Okay. Oh man. 
Yeah, everybody saw through it immediately, just so you know. Well, obviously, yeah. but it's growing. This is really bad. He's going to be able to tell. Nine. Go ahead and roll perception check, Rod. Me? Well, you. Well, Mortal Kombat! Six. <laughs> yes! Oh! The trade is complete. She hands you your deck of cards. She takes her parapet of wound closer. Oh my god, I'm in so much trouble! <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I, I like to think that there's a live kitten in this pouch. <laughs> uh, uh, if well, you pull the right card, yeah. You saved the party, but your marriage is in jeopardy. I know. <laughs> at what cost? He's so mad at, at me. What cost? He's so mad. It's really good that he's sitting over at the other table right now. I'm going to get the wrath of this. I know. Are you we like, have him. I can feel the heat emanating right now. So feeling, feeling satisfied oh, no. that you're imploring a Vex <laughs> and the trade you've made, your sh shiny. Package of happy cards are back in your possession, you but necessary. you promised, at the moment at least, to not look at them. To not look at them. All right. While she's right there in front of you, yeah. Wink, wink. <laughs> Thank you, Bex. You're welcome, really Daddy. Like the Seriously, yeah. though, they're really, really dangerous. No, I know they're really special. I won't look at them or anything. All right. It means a lot. I don't find a lot of great things. I did find a couple of rocks earlier. If you want, like, oh, they're yours. Okay. <laughs> Right. Are you sure? You're yeah. not going to try and steal that shit too? God, no, I won't, so I promise. Okay, cool. Right. Let's go kill a dragon, and I <laughs> jauntily and cheerily walk back to the group. Ah. He, he looks okay. happy, what was that about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just, um, I just gave him back his cards is all. <laughs> so happy to be reunited. I'm so proud of you. Oh, God. All right, so what are the rest of you doing in the meantime? A little bit of sweat on your forehead, Vex. <laughs> it's such a humid yeah. jungle. We zoom in on the single yeah. drop. <laughs> uh, I guess we're <laughs> you're leading us in, aren't you? <clears throat> I'm waiting yeah. to sculpt a, a hole yeah. in the door. Okay. So, using sweat. stone shape, you can uh, a section of stone no more than five feet any dimension, and form it any shape that suits your purpose. So. Um, you can make a small passage as long as it's no more than five feet thick. The wall and the stone are both thicker than five feet. You can you can begin to make um, a slight passageway, and you can see. I mean, you can you, you can create enough of a crack with your spell as it completes. Um, which mark off your your fourth level yeah. spell. But as you create it, you do manage to pierce, and and you can look into the darkness of the tunnel behind. But through the through full use of the spell, you create this kind of tunnel uh, intrusion into the side of this this mountain, and you only get that much Son of opening of before. Bitch. Now this is an excellent start. All right, and in like Splunker Keyleth mode. I'm looking through the hole. Okay, with make my a perception dark check. Vision. What do I see? Fan art, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, son of a bitch! Is it? That's a one. Oh. What do you see, Keely? You just got James Franco. It's so <laughs> fucking dark, you guys. Wait. Oh, can I? How about I try? Oh, oh, oh! No, no, no! no, no. Twenty-eight days or whatever. What if we light shit, no. an arrow? And can I do an oracle arrow through the hole? I, I kind of shimmy. Mm -hmm. Out and say, Vex, go in the hole. Okay. Okay. All right, so you pull back the arrow, you fire it through. Um, the arrow. Go ahead and make an attack roll. <gasps> I'm getting dead. Let's natural 20. You fire the Oracle arrow at just oh. the right angle where it doesn't hit any of the walls, it just shh, arcs off straight. Before it eventually begins to curve, and what you do is you, as you pass uh, along with this arrow with your dark vision, you can see uh, down the tunnel there is no light source. Um, it is there is a layer of untouched dust all across the ground, um, and like an interesting texture. The further in you go, um, and then eventually, about a hundred feet or so in, the tunnel begins to curve to the left and descend. Uh, before the arrow lands and sticks into the rock, they're kind of splintering a little bit, and your vision now sits there with the arrow. There doesn't appear to be any movement. Okay. 
It is nothing. silent and pitch black. Okay, and nothing had walked. It didn't look like there were any tracks. It was just heavy dust. From what you can see from the arrow rushing past it, yeah. Okay. And that, that gap is just this much? It's about that big. And does it go in like that, like a long tunnel of that, or is it like, mm. could I reach my arm through? You can reach your arm through, but essentially it's like the edge of the wall of, of this, this tunnel, yeah. and the rock were kind of jammed together, and she punched through just enough to, to push past where the rock and the wall had hit, and it created this slight opening, but there's still That's a bunch of stone there in the way. way. Yeah. Shit. It's okay, there's options. A oh. shimmy out. Okay. It's just a tunnel. That's right. good. Yeah, it's a long tunnel. It's our tunnel. That means we could make a little bit of noise getting in here, maybe. Potentially. Rajon, I think, has rather good hearing, but if we make a lot of noise, it might echo down. Right. Do we have, we have no way of keeping silent, do we? We don't, we don't have any way of. No. Um, do we want to try? We have. can try, like what you said. I can always, worst case scenario, burn another fourth level. To finish this off, mm. you can always do that. Well, so we spent more challenge. opening a door before. Yes, we have. I don't just spend anything. I just pick the shit Here, out. Here, you're our last resort I, at this point. Oh, but you do have siege gauntlets, though. Oh, wow. I do. Yeah. Be loud, yeah. though. I actually, have those. Like no one's taken them from me. <laughs> Why do you say that right now? How is that relevant to the conversation? I just mean right like now? they're mine, you know. Yeah, of course yeah. they are. I know what I they don't do. See what that adds to this. They they work for me. They speak to me on. You know. I've always said as much. Yeah, yeah. I also do. Yeah. Do you have a relationship with all of your inanimate objects? I try to work on it at night. Sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow, I actually do blame myself for this. This mm. is interesting. Yeah. Why would okay. you say that, Percy? I don't know. Should, <laughs> Let's should, should we that? Man, I feel like there's a lot of secrets suddenly being revealed. What do you think, should we revealed? burn another fourth, or should we have Grog punch the little hole a little bit? Well, let me see. I crawl back in the hole. Okay. All right. All right. You know how like Erosion. Yeah, like a blade of grass can break a block of concrete. What? I'm doing some monk shit, all right? <laughs> Look at his face. Look at his face. You know how a blade of grass can, can break a stone face? There is no spoon. There is no spoon. Okay, but no, all right, go with me. Okay, you know how like plants can break stone when they grow through? Um, <laughs> if I do a druid craft cantrip and try and like grow some plants mm -hmm. through this hole, will it kind of maybe help crack open a bigger hole? Can you fast forward a thousand years? No creeper. No creeper. No. Okay. No. I, I was <laughs> proud of that. Okay, I shimmy back out and I say, no. Apparently that takes like a thousand years. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, hmm. you want to go punch some shit? I mean, like, well, well, hold on, hold on for for one second. Yeah, I, I know you can move this stone. Can you, you know, if, if it allows you to to only move certain parts of it, could you, like, you know, use the stone that you can shape to effectively, like, carve out a chunk that could be pulled out, like, make a very thin, narrow, like, like m just move as much as like a finger's width mm. around and then we could pull that out instead of just pushing it all away like clay. I mean, it could be, but so one spell's already been spent. So it would just be another spell. It would just be another spell, but it would work. It would be another spell, but that would be, That's that, true. that would be just two to get in as opposed to like endlessly throwing spell after spell at this. Well, Grog um, has siege gauntlets, so he could potentially okay. do some damage to the rock. But, we'll, but it would, we'll but it would make noise. Yeah. One, one second, Percy. Yes. I have a nutball idea that maybe you can turn into a better one. Um, and I pull Dorks! out. I pull out the oil of etherealness that I've been carrying for ages. The what of whatness? This it's goop. You rub it on yourself and you become ethereal for an I was hour. Right there with you. But Sorry. I can't do it. Why? I'm too. It's not enough to cover it's me. Too but stressed. Scanlan could do it, way. or Pike could do it, and could walk through the rock. And then do what? Look around, see if there's anything to. I don't know, that's why I prefaced it with saying it was a shitty idea, and I spoke to the brain to see if he could come um, up with something better. We looked for a switch, right? It's a giant rock. It's a boulder. With with handholds on it. It's very, a fortress of solitude. It's very archaic. Can I look for a switch? I think... Make an investigation check. If I saw oh this. Oh my god, such a waste of time. If it works. 19, oh, wait, minus. 
Yeah, 17. 17. Uh, looking around as they're having this conversation, there's no switches, but you do see finger holes, like big mm. dragon-sized finger holes, like something grabbed it and jammed this boulder in there. Something, and, something and I actually want to kind of take a look around, too, because if this is a naturally formed rock, a naturally formed opening, this is not like a cork in a bottle. There has to be some parts that don't fit really smoothly. Have we found the best place to make our incursion, or maybe up on the top? Oh. Is, it, is there an opening? Is there any... This can't fit snugly into this unless it's been shaped for that. We place. have... We, we, uh, oh! We can we we can now get a, enough of a hold to 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 make a lever and move move the boulder out a little bit, get us all in, and then drop the and then drop it back into place. In theory, we have this hole now that's big enough for let's say a magical weapon that can't be destroyed, and we can just apply as much pressure, put a bunch of other people pushing on the other side, and see if we can open it up enough to get in and well, then let it close behind us. How would Bigby be in this situation? Uh, Bigby would be a, an upper level spell. I don't want to burn that right now. A grog. Oh Do you want to try and use some of your basic mechanics of physics? Some leveraging? I don't know what that is, but I will uh, assault this stone with the quickness. Do it. Just get it. Don't in. assault it. Don't insult. Uh, don't 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 insult or assault it. <laughs> <laughs> if you could just There's no joy in either of them. <laughs> I know. I know. This one isn't for you though. Let's let's oh, try right. okay, who's who's got who's got a magical weapon that's if very If you long? can just Kima. Kima. If you can take Kima's sword, pry open a crack, let us slip in. You ask in Kima for the Holy Avenger. I'm not taking that. Well, don't you have the dragon sword? Yeah, yeah no. You no, ask Kima for her sword. See how that goes. Kima? Oh, yes. Geez. We're thinking about building a giant lever. Could you oh put your sword in that hole and help us pull very, very hard to see if we can move this boulder? Will it damage the sword? In theory, no. In theory. It's a magical sword. Can you break a magical sword with pressure? <laughs> you ding it, you pay. That's oh fair. Oh, what if it gets oh. Um, you just I'm going to ding it. So I'm going to try and build this lever. All of us are going to put pressure in the other direction. We're going to try and have as many of us moving this thing just a couple feet, not far. Yeah. Just far enough to make an opening to get as just many of us in as really possible. <laughs> All right. So who's who's doing the leverage? Pike. All right. Probably him, definitely him Pike. And Pike. Okay. Well, the the size of the sword is going to at most it's going to be one person assisting the main person, Pike Pike which would be Pike that. assisting. Grog. 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 All right. And Grog. All right. So as the rest of you guys go on the other side, uh, Grog, I want you to go ahead and roll a strength check. Pike and Grog, Pike and Grog, and, uh, Pike and Grog. with advantage because of Pike's aid on this. Oh, like that stature. That's better. Uh, Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Okay. As you guys get on the other side, before you even start getting into position, Grog already begins to pull back on the sword, and you watch as Kima keeps glancing over her shoulder, like mm, waiting for it to just snap. Um, but the large rock, the boulder, kind of <laughs> begins to shift ever so slightly. You watch as dust and other small pebbles begin to <laughs> clatter down the outside of the rock. Um, you all get on the side and get ready to go. All together as a group. Um, everyone else makes strength checks. We can checks. use the rod of immobility strength to, to, to what? brace it if we Brilliant. Yeah, that's oh, good call. that's a great Ooh. job. We have two of them now. Let's, oh, that's let's, such a good idea. We will use, and we have we have holes drilled in the stone by by dragon hey, feet. Mm -hmm. You can just wedge it in there. Wedge it in there and yeah, put it in. that's a good call, you guys. So wait, we're all doing a strength check. Twelve. Just straight strength. Straight strength. So add your strength modifier. Straight strength. Seventeen. Thirteen. Sixteen. All right. Oh, do you want pikes and Scanlan to do what to help no, prop it up? Uh, uh, Scanlan rolled a a um four. Okay. Oh. In character. Okay. So, uh, you managed to get about a foot and a half. Drink almost, it, golden 19. <sighs> okay. <laughs> so Drink it, also pushing as well. I mean, there isn't a whole lot of surface area here to really aid. It's more than it's just like, it's mostly on you, Grog. Um, and you managed to get about a foot and a half wide before um, you pull out the, the rod, the movable rods and uh, Carrick. And anybody else who wants to help, you manage to jam them lock into it. two of the finger holes. And as soon as they lock in, you can 
release the weapon in the. It's just enough to hold it in place, though it oh is God. slowly moving it. Go fast, 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 fast. Each rod can only hold 8,000 pounds. What? Mind you, it's not, it's not holding entirely aloft. Okay, it seems to be holding in. okay for now. But. Uh, yeah, in. I immediately throw Wispa through the crack and bamp through Okay. I scooch. You, go, you guys all pull through. Kim immediately rushes and grabs the sword. You guys charge into the darkness. Can Trinky get in, or do I need to bamf him in the necklace and bamf him? You probably have to do that. Okay, yeah, you can do that. Um, but you guys all do get inside the tunnel. The uh, the boulder does appear to be stationary. Should we leave it open, or should we take the rods? Ooh, we might them. need to get out in a. Going to squish you. Hand. Hand. We might, and it's what a, what a wonderfully convenient way to close, and it also means that the dragon will not be able to open the door. Okay. If it's yeah. wedged. If it's wedged shut. <laughs> She so. could turn into a person, and she can also teleport. Let's not Okay, well, that. let's just fucking keep yeah, walking. Yeah, okay, let's keep going. Yeah, It'll yeah, be yeah. fine. Yeah. All right, just let's remember to pick those up on the way up. Yes. yes. If there's anybody left to pick them up. <laughs> you guys now stand in the 15 foot wide, about 12 foot tall tunnel entrance to this mountainside. Um, as you saw before, the floor itself is a layer of dust. Uh, there's a heavy smell of. Uh, Ancient rot and stagnant water in wet earth. Um, the rock walls of the pathway are kind of just rough, but uh, appear to have been intentionally carved for purpose more than any sort of presentational element of it. Um, there's no wind, there's no movement of air. Everything in here has been, at least in this portion of it, still and untouched for quite some time. Um, as you guys push forward through this tunnel to where it begins to make its slow descent. Um, you guys, all right. Checking, checking, checking. Twenty-four. Okay. For investigation. Oh, this is investigation. Oh, investigation, no, never mind. I thought you were stealthing. Oh, was that a stealth roll or an investigation roll? That was investigation, yeah. right? Well, that was investigation. Okay, yeah. Twenty-four? Yeah. Duck shit, 11. Okay. Um, <laughs> and we'll have to make, we'll say make new stealth checks since you guys have come out of stealth and you're not okay. going back in. Okay. Um, but as you guys are moving down the curvature of the tunnel, uh, Vax, you notice that there are, amongst the, uh, the dust and pebbles of the floor, small pieces and chunks of other material. Um, most of them very small, maybe, you know, Anywhere from like a pebble size to like the size of this die are a little larger, and they're different than the rock. They're a, they're a lighter material, and almost porous upon close look as you kind of take one and look at it. Scanlan and Keyleth, come up here, please. Do you know? Do you know what that is? What is it? Uh, you you've seen this before, actually, in some training place once before, though it was a large field of it at the time. There are a number of scattered shards of bone, just kind of scattered and cracked and broken across the floor. Not a very thick mat, but like just here and there, peppered throughout uh, the walkway. Um, These are dead things. This is bone. Yeah. You also do notice, upon looking at a few of them in the ground now, having that context, a lot of them look blackened. A lot of them look like they've been charred, burnt. Um, hey, Keyleth. Yeah. When you did the scrying thing. Yeah. How how long did it take to get down in the tunnels? Was it a lot of tunnels before you got to the laboratory? Like in in terms of my vision? Yeah. You don't know. It literally, it's like you're at this point and then you're there. So heads. you have yeah. no idea. It's hard it's less to than say. A mile down, so, I know. It kind of rushes past you really fast, okay. and it's a little disorienting. I don't know. Okay. No traps. No traps at the moment. Received. No. Yeah. Okay. Should we all stealth? Do you think that these are just yeah. here so that people step on them and it makes noise? It's a theory. Aren't we already stealthed? I thought we had to reroll stealth. We did. Oh, I yeah. did. Oh. oh, I did. You didn't. I got it. Can I do it? <sighs> this is some CSI you guys, shit. You guys are going stealth, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. so roll your stealth checks, please. Yeah, 30 plus 10. 30. 30. Yeah, still plus 10. Oh, that's so good. Okay. 35. 34, and then Scanlan. 30 total. Okay. 28. 25 for Pike. Great. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> nope, sorry. Okay, Bear. Oh. 18 for Scanlan. 30. Stealth roll. Did you do stealth, Carrick? 29 for me. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Perfect. All right, so as you guys continue uh-huh. progressing down this, this curving tunnel, it goes into a very, very mild descent. 
Can um, I do, I want to do a quick check. Uh, this is some like bones type shit. Um, can I see if these bones were charred recently, or once again, if these bones have been there for like a long time? I know this is like some weird carbon dating shit. But Make a nature check on this, actually. Check? Make a nature check. Make a yeah, nature this is your understanding, at least, of how, how fire against bone. Ooh, that's, which is ooh, that's good. 28. 28, okay, yeah. So, so understanding, uh, especially like the time the pyra and noticing the difference in just experience of mm. natural animals and, and creatures that have been you know cooked to be eaten and the effect of uh, the fire on the bones that are left behind, um, these. This bone charring is not as ancient as, per, like, say the the trees that have withered, but they aren't, you know, Super they're they're shiny. it's they're years old at the very least, if not longer. Oh. So years old, if not longer. Yeah, they, yeah. there's a layer of dust on these bones as well that shows that at least they have been untouched for a short time. Okay, but wait, was Thordak here over a year ago? Yeah. Could have been, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, all you right. Don't know. He was here for a, 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 a long well. time before. He was here before he got the thing, okay. right? Yeah. He, yeah. The, he, he made this his lair after avoiding death from Jamon Saord and Ankarel, and then recuperated here, from what you know, and then kind of made this his domain for a while, and then pressed northward into Taldore, which is and where. That's when Alora and her team encountered Correct. Well, that, okay. that, that's when Thordak battled Raishan and began the beginning of the formulation of the Conclave. That's when uh, Thordak destroyed by Rodin and by proxy their mother. Um, that's when all that went down. So, While we're quiet here in the dark, I pull Pike over to the side. Pike? Yes? I. I have a bad. F uh, will you take care of my sister? You have that one thing that you do. Um, I don't know what it's called, but if 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 she falls down, she gets back up again. Do you know what oh, I'm talking about? Is that the death ward? <laughs> it's a thing. I, I talk to Sarah and Ray, and, and then she protects yeah. them for a little mm -hmm. bit of time. Would you do that to my sister now? Feels a little selfish, but sure. <laughs> you didn't think of it. <laughs> I, I thought of it. <laughs> I mean, sure. if 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 you want me to do it. I do. I do. <laughs> sure. <why not? laughs> I woke up to me. Okay. Yeah. Can uh, I guess Pike will cast Death Ward on Vex? Okay. Yeah. But that's okay. So it's a fourth level spell off Pike. Yep, got it. And for the next eight hours, Vex is death warded. When you're brought down to zero, you ping up to one. Okay. Is the math on that? <laughs> okay. Sure. It's kind of like buying Starbucks with the company Amex. I know it feels a little like <laughs> it feels a little weird. I'm not gonna lie, it's but like it's just strategy, man. Uh -huh. Game strategy. <laughs> Good flatline. Well, it's done, and my sister is a little safer than she was before, and y'all go fuck yourselves. <laughs> so easy when you have the pin code. <laughs> In case. In case. Oh my god. This one. This one. Wait, wait. Pike's just gonna cast it. It's fine. Yeah, it's totally fine. <laughs> Out of character, Matt. Same. Pooped out Same. this new yeah. feature oh, to I'm dying, and sure. she's on her last fucking string, man. No, no regrets. Move well, forward. To, to be fair, like I'm, it's, I'm <laughs> still toying with it because it's one of the things that I'm kind of adjusting as we go. Well, you right. said it, and the spell is cast. <laughs> That's not true at all. You freaked uh, everyone out, Matt. <laughs> oh, I can keep it if you want. No, 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 no don't worry about it. You're no, literally you wearing the creeper shirt. You have Stop to be careful what you say. Ah, oh, God! Every no, time. Uh, you do what you yeah, want. Yeah, it's it's it, it's a rule that I'm 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 working with. I I may have jumped the gun in, in releasing it at the time as I'm working on the campaign guide. But one of one of the rule, resurrection rules, I was deciding the DC. I think five per death is a bit intense, so I might adjust it more to be a a, a two. Just because I was thinking in the long term of campaign, like your character might die a lot more between levels one and twenty. Oh sure. And then it gets a little insane. So uh, I'm I'm working on it. Okay. Um. And I love my sister, okay? Bless Mind you, she's still closer to death. We don't yes. want to die. Yeah. Mind you, she's still closer this is to the death. the one where it does play she's death. Prone. She's prone. Just to ask a little bit, as we're going down here, I don't know how everyone else is geared up, but I'm kind of vanilla human here and not that equipped to see in the dark. Yeah, in fact, uh, currently, yeah. Percival and Carrick are blind. Oh. Like pitch black Wait, blind. Wait, light your, light your little dagger up. <laughs> 
All right, you're, and, you and actually, I, you probably just hear Tarek say, I, "I am sorry, but at this point, I can't see." <laughs> I, I pull out the. Well, I, I'm always holding two, and yeah. one of them is I pull out the flame tongue dagger and I this wave a fly gnat, away. This fucking gnat. And then I hold it so that Carrot can see, no. and okay. I say, "No way." Well, we may, we might die, so try it one more time with me. Irish wristwatch. <laughs> <laughs> Just once more before we die. I dreamed about this last night. <laughs> <laughs> Tough one. It's a hard. It's a really hard one. Irish. <laughs> yes! yes! Irish wristwatch. Yes! 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 Well done. Okay. On the ground I feel so much closer to you now. <laughs> Let's fucking do this. Okay, the dagger, which emits flame on it, yeah. is the equivalent of a candle. Yes. Um, so oh. it helps. He can see about fifteen feet beyond you, and that's it. Well, actually, what, what I'll say as soon as I say, "Are we okay with with light, or are we trying to keep it as dark as possible?" Because too late now. A little bit of light. There's a candle. There is now a candle light, uh, or a flame licking the edge of the blade that is being held aloft. So light is being shed now in the tunnel. There's not a lot. Yeah, we can put that out, and they could just like grab oh, onto each one of my arms. Yeah, I could. I, I go and find Percy. Okay. And I link arms. Oh, jeez. Hey, Kay, you want to cuddle? I uh, actually yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Max, put that light out. All right. So, so Carrick, there's a there's a moment of quiet and stillness in the darkness as you feel the ground beneath you shift ever so slightly. <laughs> Heavy footfalls approaching you as suddenly a large, muscled, somewhat sweaty arm just curls around the outside of your shoulders and pulls you close to Grog's torso. Mm, lucky it is, it is one of the most comforting things I have ever experienced. <laughs> it's like astonished. That's the land. I love it. I love it. <laughs> We're All right. about to die. No, no, no. <laughs> Okay, I kind of guide Percy as okay. we go through. So you guys making your way down this uh, this slow grade um, Still in beneath. The yes. Looking. Okay. Um, well, I, being stealthy you, as you fuck. Make, yes, you make incremental checks as we go. Okay. okay. Um, eventually, as the grade continues downward, you begin to see the hallway open up ever so slightly, and what was once just kind of somewhat rough rock walls begin having slight shapes or details to them. Um, it's still hard to see. Dark vision uh, is, you know, you still need a little light to make out like fine details or things at a distance, but it does help you at least make out the, 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 the basic shapes and, and things ahead of you. You look and see what appear to be small shelves or alcoves that are now beginning to show up every 20 or so feet as you progress down. Shelves or alcoves? Like little, little bits of rock that jut out okay. um, that look like they're either bolted in or crafted on top of it, um, and you see small little cubbies almost, little alcoves that are kind of put into the rock as well. Hold your little dagger up to it, I want to see what it is. You sure? Yeah. Okay, uh, make a perception check. Pretty good. Uh, that is 29. Okay, uh, you kind of glance in the first one to your immediate right, which is a small shelf outward, and you see what appear to be a number of uh, dust-covered a cluster of candles that have long burned and melted into dripping wax that pours down the side of this alcove. Um, that's it on that particular shelf. Careful. Maybe keep it out and just keep an eye out. It's hard to see down here. We can look at these after. No, I just, I mean for traps. Okay, so you're searching for, searching for traps now? Uh, Constantly. Okay. Constantly, yeah. um, go ahead and make another investigation check with mean, disadvantage. Okay. Because it's dark. See, if you pulled your dagger out, it wouldn't be so bad. Oh, good suggestion. Still a disadvantage? If his dagger's out? Uh, I, I'm going to double check here. <coughs> it's kind of a frustratingly broken ability in some cases if it's just as universal thing here. I'm going to pull out the flying carpet. Mm hmm. <laughs> I'm going to walk over to... So you can see in dim light within 60 feet of you as if it were a bright light, and in darkness as if it were a dim light. So you have about 15 feet that you can kind of see mm -hmm. out in front of you uh, in straight darkness. If you have your dagger out, you can mm -hmm. see pretty decently for 60 feet. Mm -hmm. 
is how it works. But if it's gone, I can see 15 feet You can see kind of shitty in 15 feet. Like as if you had a shovel. All right, all right. I'm going to give the, ooh. So regular checks if the dagger's out. Correct. You're saying, all right. For at least 60 feet for you. Uh, And this is investigation 18. Okay. No, nothing seems to catch your attention. Um, as you continue pushing forward, you see more and more of these shelves. Are you looking at each yeah. one as you go? Yeah, right now I am. Okay, as you glance past, another perception check. Hey, Grog. So I have this flying carpet. 22. 22, mm-hmm. okay. You can see on the left shelf, it appears to be uh, a uh, humanoid skull that's up on top. Next to two more candles, uh, one of them more melted than the other, but the wax kind of drips past. Um, there's a shelf across the way, uh, on the opposite side, that appears to have a couple of small books uh, that are put up at the side, and uh, looks like a small wooden box. Is the box trapped? Full investigation check. <laughs> uh, that is a 22. The box does not appear trapped, from what you can tell. Nah, fuck it. Ah. Put it in the bag of holding. I don't. Okay. You continue walking? Mm-hmm. Looking for traps. Okay. Come back. Um, the, uh, as you continue kind of keeping your eye out in front of you, the next shelf come across looks to have some sort of a mummified raccoon type creature that is kind of <laughs> propped up. Um, yeah. Not not taxidermied by any means. Right. It just looks like it it's dried out. It dried yeah. out in a sort of standing position, or at least is leaning against the wall on the platform. Oh, like some weird Pompeii shit. Kind of. Like he died that way. Like I literally have a friend who has that on his. Grog, would you be able to use a flying carpet oh, in battle to get up to a dragon? I've no idea. It could be useful. Carrick, do you have something you want to say? Yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, blind as a bat as I am, I'm gonna use divine sense to see if I can sense any undead, smart, uh, corrupt fiend. The There's raccoon. kind of a long list, but I do know corrupt was it's mentioned in there. Also, Vax, what were the titles the of those specifics. books? He, your piece, listening to your vague description of things. <sighs> Assume that we're using our earpieces. Thank you for retconning. Yeah, we'll okay. It. Yeah. Thank you for retconning. I, 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 no, but I would have read them if I could have. Yeah, and I would have asked I'm not if I heard you. The Grog just, would have read them. He okay. just would have made up words. Yeah. You do sense yeah. <laughs> that there is some can, sort of an undead <laughs> presence <laughs> in your vicinity, Care, though you do not quite know what its nature is or its direction. There is something undead. Near you. Oh, Jesus. She didn't bring Thordak back, did she? Sure, she did. We're gonna have okay. to fight an undead do dragon. Do I get a? Do I get a sense of like? Um, is is it just yes? It is present. I don't get any sense of direction or intensity. Uh, I'm assuming this isn't my first rodeo. Like everybody bumps into skeletons early in their career. Correct. I would. Um, I would say it does not appear to be any extreme. Uh, yeah, it does not appear to be of like an extremely powerful undead presence. You can't tell of size or direction by any means, but it's not like all of a sudden there's a lich ahead of you or some massive, you know, arrival of Orcus. Um, it's not okay. like you a just giant sense something around you that is an undead energy. Like a around giant. us, like how close around us? Can you sense that? I mean, no? this could be crypt okay. shit on the sides. Uh, I'm going to focus a little more on the ground. Okay, you guys all continue moving forward. Uh, I, what, I, what I, I did ask about the books. Oh, what are the yeah, he asked the me for the piece what the books said. Could I read them when I saw them? Are they uh, well, common, consider? elvish, and abyssal? Uh, you do not know the uh, title of the books. Uh, uh, Tighter Buns in 30 Days was the only title I saw. <laughs> sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Looking for traps. All right. Uh, roll another investigation check. Uh, good. Uh, 25. 25, okay. Um, you continue to push forward. Um, there is uh, no, no trap set. Um, you do look ahead and see what appears to be uh, the pathway is now showing stonework at times, almost like there are slabs. Elements of a tunnel that was once better constructed than what exists, but is either eroded away or elements of sl- 
wall collapse have kind of covered what was once a very, very ancient form of architecture. Uh, as a precaution, I'm going to, as much as I can, stay to the stuff that looks natural or fucked up and not uh, uh, civilized. Okay. Oh, well, hold on, for, I'm sorry. Um, I just I just found my specific description. It does say I sense type and location. It does say that. I'm going to miss that. Uh, so long as it's okay. not behind total cover. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Then uh, you sense there is something. You know it's from one of the wall areas, but you cannot see, and your one single bit of light source is ahead of you in the tunnel. But you okay. do sense uh, there at one point as you're walking, it is to the left of you. Uh. Okay, I, I, I say there there is an unclean thing here. Well, fuck, I'm sorry. It's just not a priority <laughs> to me, right? <laughs> <laughs> Do I? I mean, I'll put my arm down off his shoulder. I grant him at least <laughs> it's, that. It's 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 not you, Greg. There's some there's some undead thing here, and and I say it's off to the left, to my my left. Oh, left end of the tunnel. But I don't know what's around here. Can we see anything on the walls? That looks like uh, a door or anything. Are you, are you stopping? Because you got you two are moving ahead of everyone else. Oh. So yes. you guys are probably a good 15, 20 feet ahead. Do you want to move back with them? No, 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 if Grog, Grog can, can check I it out. Can I look to the left just off him saying that because of the belt of dwarven kind, I have dark vision? You do. Uh, glance off to the left, you can see upon that that uh, shelf unit there, there are the two candles and the singular skull set on the shelf. <gasps> I skull. fucking touched that skull. I start to slowly make my way over to the skull. Okay. God damn it. Uh, Carrick, you feel Grog slowly <laughs> step in the direction that you pointed out to him. Is this the direction? Yes. Is it, are we getting warmer? <laughs> uh, it, yes, it is. It, it's over. It's over there. Okay. I'm um, not bringing my hammer out, but my hammer is ready. Okay. What does the skull look like? Uh, it looks like a human skull. Anything shiny about Speaking it or jewel? No, it looks kind of dust covered. Um, you can see what looks to be the the bone itself appears to have a hint of blackened soot or some sort of a a darker color to it, like it's been Literally slightly singed. Candles look like candles. Candles look like mostly melted candles. Kurt, I hate to rain on your um, parade, but I only see two candles and like a human skull up here. Partial undead thing. Do I know? Again, obviously nothing is trying to like eat our faces off here, but can can you turn an undead thing into just like a watcher or a trap or a uh, spy or a trigger? Make an intelligence or maybe make a religion check. Make a religion check here. Oh, it could be watching through the skull. skull right? Care bear. You care bear, you brilliant cat. Um. You know, that's about a 12. Okay. Not, not my best. Best that you can understand is, you know, undead magic um, can raise dead, it can control dead. Um, you have heard stories of undead or the, uh, the use of them being more situational as opposed to just roaming zombies, but that's as much as you can remember, cough off the top of your head. It's been a while since you've been adventuring, so a the specific stories are a little too foggy. Security cam, security cam. Yeah, it could be, it could be a security cam. Is there anything past? Actually, I, I say, if there's, give me the give me the skull, and I'm just reaching out blindly in his direction. All right, I grab the skull and head it to care. Okay. And then oh, no. I'll use Divine Sense again. Oh. Is it this? Uh, it is the uh, the the skull is the source of the undead energy. It is not currently um, moving, reacting, or having any sort of smash it. Um, any sort of uh, reaction to being held by you. I, I say, anybody mind if I wreck this thing? No, I do not mind at all. Thank God, there's about? someone else in this world with my sort of thinking. <laughs> what are you Rick, doing back Rick, there? What? <laughs> if it's a spy, um, yeah. yeah oh, hold on. I grab my earring and I say, Care found a human skull that has some undead vibes vibrating out of it. Okay. Yeah. 
But it's not doing anything. Do you mind if we um, destroy it? He's already holding it? Yeah. Well, I mean, we're both alive. going to happen, we're probably fucked already, so I don't know. Actually, where's where's uh, Kima? Actually, yeah, that's a good point. What is your guys' marching order, by the way? Like, who? I know the. the twins, are the twins are in the front. Twins oh, are in the front. Oh, good. Um, then All I right. think it's you and Rock you and Care, and then me and, me and me uh, and. I think the twins are Grog and Care. Grog and Care. Keyleth and Percy. Keyleth and Percy. Um, Ash and uh, Ash and Scanlan. Ash and Scanlan. After that. Pike and Scanlan. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Ash and we have. Uh, do you have trinket in your in your uh, out of the necklace, right? Out of the necklace. And then probably uh, Kima and Allura back with trinket in the back. So they're kind of holding up the rear and keeping an eye behind I think as they go. Destroying it okay. Might trigger it. I mean, okay. I'm kind of for leaving things alone as we go through here, Percival. Uh, I mean, we can leave it alone. Are you with Grog? What if we just turn? I could do Sacred Flame on it and it would do radiant damage to it. <laughs> what if we turn and just face the skull so it's looking into the corner? Sure. I mean, I think so it's not looking at us. Dicking with it in the first place might have already uh, ruined us, but yeah, let's just, just set turn it, it down. Turn hey, it Cam, around. They're, they're like worried we're gonna like kill ourselves. Can you just put it back, but face it towards the wall like it's in timeout? Sure. Um, I'll if I got a spare sack, I'll stuff it in the sack and point it towards the wall. Nice. Okay. So you pull out the extra, kind of a, a heavy burlap. Sack, um, you throw the that skull in there, tie it taut, and set it back up on the shelf, facing away from where Do you're not standing. Underestimate the power of burlap. Mm. We I should have not. come down in the tunnel yeah. wearing like pantyhose on our head, so Rashad yeah. would have known. Next oh my time, gosh. just thought it was a college Damn prank. Damn That's a brilliant yeah. idea. Yeah, we should totally invest in those little pantyhose <laughs> eggs. Delta <laughs> Lambda again, sneaking in, huh? Oh. <laughs> Every time. All right, so. about that to say that correctly either. Yeah. <laughs> Continuing Somewhere onward, um, watching, going. into the next length of the tunnel, about another fifty feet or so, um, you can. There is uh, the room opens up, and you can see that stonework eventually takes the entire floor, and the chamber opens up into what looks to be almost like a an, a hexagonal shaped chamber that ends at a large iron door. Um, it fills the entirety of the chamber, and it seals off. Any progression from that point? Uh, make a perception check. Right. You could. What? It was vexagonal. 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 Should I make a perception check too, since I'm up near it? Sure. Twenty-two. Oh god, that, that was a one. But it's not. It was a fifteen. Okay. How? No, never mind. So fifteen total. Yeah. Okay. Twenty-two. Um, as you glance, you can see in the center of this chamber, um, there looks to be. Uh, so here. Okay, yeah. There stands a pillar of dark green marble uh, about 10 feet, 15 feet away from where the iron door is. Um, and what looks to be a roughly forged bowl of iron that is imperfect um, and is bolted to the top of this pillar. At the, on the top or out the side of the top? Uh, on, like resting on top of it. And it's about maybe. Say five, six feet okay. uh, up, and there is a platform that leads up to it. So maybe if you were standing onto the little kind of dais around it, it'd be about chest height to you. And how tall is this chamber? The, the the chamber's whole height would be about twenty five feet. Twenty five feet. Oh, it's okay. um, it's you also it's you also see off to the right what appears to be another uh, shelf that contains a very very large. Leather-bound tome, and it looks to be a cold iron uh, brazier that is uh, unburnt, but has a bunch of dry tinder in it. Oh, oh God! Oh, come here, come here. What? There's a tradition of, uh, of using a fire to. There's mm -hmm. some. There's some shit. There's some ingredients in that, ready to go. There's ingredients. Yeah, there's something in that brazier over there that she hasn't burned yet. Can I get a little? Light in here, just for a second. I'm holding. Okay, we are back. Oh, well, I can have, do light. A tiny bit of candle light. Let's you can, go with you can see about bit of light 10, 15 feet around. Um, Max. Okay, so I can't see the mechanism on the door. Uh, and you do not even know there's a door there. Okay, that's fair. No, uh, I, for the best, it would just get. I mean, would it be helpful if everyone could see? 
Take a look around. You no one else is in this room, yeah? We're just coming into it. We're just waiting. As you approach. Can the, the half elves with dark vision kind of do like a little. You can make perception checks. Me too. Uh, yeah. I'll do that, and I'm also going to do divine sense. Don't fuck me, Gil. Gate. This isn't. Oh, thanks, Gil. That's not bad. Perception? <laughs> yes. Right? 26. 16. Okay. 22. There does not appear to be anybody else in this chamber with you, and from your divine sense, yeah. you do not sense any undead within the 60 feet of you right now. There's no dead dragons walking around. Can I look for invisible dragons? No, okay. <laughs> you see within 60 seven feet? Wait, what? Dragons. So light? Yeah. Should we light it up? Well, wait, wait. Um, Nothing within 60 feet of us. Do, wait, uh, one well, second. He doesn't sense any undead within 60 feet of him. That's right. the rest, the, the range of this. Right, how far from the gate to the far side of the room? Is the first question. Uh, well, the, the the door, you mean? I'm at a gate, and you and that leads that blocks us from going in. Is that correct? No, you're entering this chamber, and then yeah. the opposite side of the room, oh, there is the a large iron side. door that prevents you from progressing beyond right. that doorway. Right. In between you and that door, there is that kind of raised platform, the pillar, and the iron bowl, and then to the right and against the wall, there Got is it. the brazier and the uh, uh, the plaf- the shelf with the singular tome. Does it look like? The, how when we entered the chamber, that it looks like a door would come down or something in, when it opened right. up Is into there the chamber. A, a gap, <laughs> Read the like a crack that something could slide down out of right like above Like this will turn into a good death uh, chamber. Glancing up, based on your perception rolls, you don't see anything that would <laughs> okay. uh, dictate any sort of exit or entrance way from the ceiling. And in addition to everything okay. we see, do we yeah, see levers, do we see panels, do we see anything on the walls in this room? Uh, no, they're, they're standard stone, uh, old stone masonry. You can see you know, chunks that have broken off and just fallen uh, over the years. There's a couple of small cave-in areas where it looks like you know, rocks have just stumbled in as, as the general shifting of the island uh, has caused elements to fall loose and tumble in. Um, Keyleth is going to go ahead and light up her fire hands. Okay. Oh, thank God. Um, that gives a, a bigger radius, just a comparable torch light. To Keyleth and uh, now Carrick oh. and Percival, you guys can both have a much better view of the room. Um, you can see now this this iron bowl on top of this pillar in the center. You can just make out the large iron kind of wall or door on the opposite side, and a little bit of that uh, the, the brazier and the tome. Do, do I recommend? I've 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 built a a, a firelock mechanism for a, for a door before. Would I recognize this as as being a set of fire set of fire lock. in a in a bowl and op- that might open the Make door? Make intelligence check. I built one for the for the right for the uh, Raven Queen Temple. Go Percy. Go Percy. Uh, go. So uh, Percy, intelligence check. Yes. Go. Uh, that's uh, with my new intelligence level. Uh, that's a nineteen. Nineteen. Uh, best you can glance here. I mean, it's possible, but this—it's magic. You don't know. It's it's, it's an, the room itself is ancient. The construction. There is nothing that appears to be mechanically attached. So if it did, it would be a magical. It would be a possibly. Magical yeah. If that was. Yeah. There, there's there's no chain, uh, pulley system visible at all. The doors and where, where the door hits the seam of the room, uh, it looks very smooth. Um, uh, can I go yeah. and look in the bowl, the bowl in the middle of the room, and just like look and see if there's a residue of anything in it? Sure. An investigation check. And. Yes. I will just say that when the lights came up, Carrot kind of, you know, he'd been leaning into Grog maybe more than was entirely appropriate for a well lit <laughs> So he kind, of, he kind of stood up a little better, like on his own. You know, <laughs> made a big deal out of it, but. Right. Um. Luckily, no one saw you because of that ring. Oh, yeah. Oh. 26. Uh. Uh. Okay. Uh, as you look down into the bowl, uh, you you can make out what looks to be a very very faint, long dried residue, just at the very very bottom of it. Some sort of a liquid that was once in there that has since just dried up entirely and left this very very faint, just a slight shift in texture, other than the no hammered color iron. No color change or anything on it. Huh? Big, no color change on it. Not that you can really tell. No, I mean you're just looking into this smell. dark bowl with a little bit of light source. Well, I don't know. Should I touch um, it? Uh, do you use a? Do you have something sharp to just scrape some off and let's I'm taste sure it? Right. Stick something. Well, while she's doing that, I'm just going to quietly extend yeah. my wings now. Okay, <laughs> your wings <laughs> activating my. Boots. Oh yeah, I get out like a lock pick and scrape it to oh, see if I can. Shit. <laughs> 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 They're pretty cool, aren't they? 
They take up a lot of room, though, so do they do? No, they don't. They go out and they can go slender yeah, onto my Ker- back. Yeah, Carrick, as they're having this conversation, you're looking and watching as as this small half-elf rogue that you've had a few encounters with suddenly uh, just mm-hmm. sends this pair of large, jet-black, raven-like wings that fire from his shoulder blades and slowly fold behind him. They don't work, he just does that to be an asshole. It's all a cosplay prop. It's just, yeah. It's all it is. <laughs> Possible to get an elevator. Strikes a bit of a figure, though, doesn't it? No, it's very attractive. <laughs> it's very obnoxious at Labyrinth. <laughs> <Labyrinth's laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I heard first of all say that. Scratch, yes. <laughs> um, scratch, scratch, scrape, scrape. You're scraping the. Yeah, just to see what the residue is. Okay, it scrapes up. It creates like a small, almost like a like a, a dried powder type substance. Uh huh. What color is it? Uh, it's like a dark burgundy. This is fucking blood. Can I taste it? Yeah, it tastes it. it has oh. like kind of an iron. Does it taste like blood? Oh, it's so blood. Oh, you're so right. Maybe we just bleed into this bowl and the door will open. Tempting. Is it necromancy? Ne- necromancy? Hmm? Uh, I think that's the word. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, do we recognize the architecture of the of the door? Or and also, I want to take a look at that book. What 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 is the book's language? What does it look like? I'm not picking it up yet. I'm just yeah, looking at it on the, the shelf. Yeah, don't touch the book, Percy. Okay. Uh, oh, no. The the the, the, perfectly the leather tome, which is kind of leaning up against it, it has no text on the cover and no text on the spine, but it is big. It's about that big. No. So it's like a tome. Is no. it made of skin? Uh, Brody, you want to go over and check it out? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, it appears to be a thick leather. Uh, it's hard to tell in this light uh, if it was made from tanned hide or tanned flesh, uh, but it is old. As we're watching Grog, I just lean over and say, "You know, you're you are criticizing the size of my wings. You are walking around with a Persian rug, a broom, and a longbow strapped to your back." You know, I've tried to give <laughs> this rug to someone else, but Grog didn't want to take it. Hmm. And then I come up and I say. Can I pet your wings? I've never pet them before. (laughs) (laughs) There's things going on in this room. You hear this this heavy sigh from Allura behind you. She's like, (sighs) (laughs) (laughs) I'm I'm, I'm just, this is my first time actually adventuring with you and yeah, I'm sorry. We're, we're, no, this is, this is the plan. This we're, is going, our we're going to see if, if we put the PDA, PDA in the bowl. We'll see if oh, that'll don't, open the door. Don't get me wrong. It just reminds me of my early days as an adventurer, and I forgot just how ridiculous uh, we were. So, uh, <laughs> is there still like tinder under the razor? Uh, well, yeah, the, 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 there's like the iron razor, and there's a lot of like dried like, in s- there. S- inside there. Yeah. Well, we do have samples of blood in theory in the bag of cool. We've got dragon blood. I'm gonna get out a vial of. Dragon blood. Oh, jeez. You've caused the feedback. Here she comes. Here she's, she's coming. coming. She's coming. <laughs> we are spoiled to <laughs> What is it? I'm sorry. I don't know. I put the dragon blood away. <laughs> are there any holes up in the ceiling that I can see like oh, there were no. in the last game? I have the spring in There we go. We got it. Yeah. Uh, there do not appear to be any holes in the ceiling. No. Okay. Um, what should I do? I've I also we got, to... Wait, I've also got other kinds of blood. Let me see what kinds of blood is, I got. Is the book trapped? Uh, have a look. No, it's. There's kindling? Uh, 24. 24? Yeah. Okay, uh, you looking at the book? Uh, are you like taking it off the shelf? or? You no, I'm seeing looking it. at it, man. Looking at it. It looks like it is just resting against the wall. Uh, mm. The shelf unit is not trapped. The book itself does not appear to have any sort of connection to the wall. Uh, you can see the pages themselves are uh, weathered, old, stained, um, but intact. Is anyone near me? Uh, currently, I mean, Percival's like a, uh, a step or two behind I'm you. I'm like holding onto the wing. But, but, <laughs> okay, uh, okay. I push back slowly with my wings. Just get like 15, That's 20 behind me. It's that. not right. that big. <laughs> I'm going to bring it to you. I'm going to try to take this fucking book off, okay? And if I'm, I'm going to go down, I don't want you to go down as well. Right? With his sister. Are you about to die right now? I don't want the back. Oh, back. 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 Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I know your name on my good days. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Uh, I take, uh, I get back about ten feet, and I take my wing, and I scooch it on the shelf. Oh wait, you know what? As you're saying this, Shit. the book, the book, perfect, and hits the ground and kind of scatters open. Oh, it's hey, open? Look, it's a fucking book. It opened? Personal it's to me. Right. Oh, no, and I light someone it up knocked it over. Just to What's look at the saying? pages that are there. Okay, so you take the uh, the dagger and you kind of place it over there. 
Uh, you don't recognize the text, mm. and you try and focus on it too, and you don't recognize it either. It's like the further, the more you look at the text, the text gets smaller and smaller and smaller yeah, until it's stuff. microscopic. Uh, like he's, it just looks like just a mess of, of symbols and details. It's it's weird. It's, it's almost like as you get closer, the perspective keeps shifting away from you to where you cannot actually make out or read the text in the How book. How does it feel? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to flip uh, gently, gently with the with a gloved hand, flip through a couple pages just to see if it's just text, 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 if there's any. Uh, as of right now, it looks like there is just text as you go through, and every page seems to have the same sort of reaction. Where the As your eyes try and focus in the low light, you know the text just gets smaller and smaller and just avoid comprehension. I'm going to flip to the, I'm going to flip to the front really quickly yeah. so it has a title. Uh, there is a title, and as you look at it, the title itself seems to be blurred and obscured and begins to shrink oh, as well. It's it's like trying to put on a pair of reading glasses that won't focus. I know that feeling. Uh, Laura, will you have a look at this? All right, she comes over and starts looking at Carrick, what are you doing? Um, I'll actually bring out my hammer. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, if, assuming that I can kind of get close to the book as well. Yeah, yeah, you guys kind of gather around it. It does the same thing for me. Uh, as you get close and look, yes, the same thing. Your your vision doesn't seem to focus in the text. The pages seem to and just I'll hide. I'll just say, from... are we okay with more light? Yeah. yeah. Kind of yeah. looking around at this point. Okay, and then I'll effectively, I'll I'll, I'll activate the hammer. Okay, you guys. Okay. As he holds his war hammer in front of him, you watch as the the head of it. Um, the uh, the spike in the it's back actually, and the front. There, there is there is no head. It's just kind of a bar of iron that he has. Yeah. Until he holds it up, and then the 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 head of it kind of comes into being as just like a uh, an artifact of radiant light. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. That's just it was like a, oh, so. so what, what what would have been the uh, yeah the back of the hammer and the oh, front hammer. of it uh, is. Like I said, missing entirely, and yeah. it just blazes forth with radiant energy, like a giant glowing uh, Damn. metallic end of a weapon. But I just also made like to think that it makes a noise like a lightsaber, but that's just <laughs> <laughs> no, <God. laughs> as it happens. Nice, nice. Uh, the the room is now much brighter, and you can see uh, kind of the details of the stonework around you. Um, the mustiness, you know, uh, seems to almost back away instinctually from the uh, the radiant light itself. It almost warms the air in its vicinity. Um, oh, it smells like strawberries. <laughs> That's me. Wow. Some very weird, <laughs> some very weird strawberries, probably. He's very yeah. special. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. And as the light hits the pages, the pages go almost blank. The text oh, no. just shrinks away to the point where it looks like there's just tiny. tiny I dots. think I've solved this. What? Let's extinguish. All the lights, and someone with low light vision has to read it. Okay, Grog. Yep. That's no. That's, <laughs> that's, that's just not funny. Sure, yeah. Extinguish yeah. all the lights. I want to go over yeah. and see if I can read it. Yeah, give it to Vex. Snip off the snip off the hammer. Okay. The uh, the head of the warhammer just <laughs> flickers outward, leaving just the handle behind. That wasn't very. Um, you go ahead and look at it, and the text is. More legible there on the page, but it's uh -huh. still blurred to your vision. Mm. I think I need glasses. <laughs> this is blurry. Do we have anybody with perfect night vision? Perfect night vision? Twenty mm. night vision. There. Well, uh, I, I can't see a I, thing. Uh, I look uh, nothing for you. No, it's blurry. Just still blurry. I look over. Vex's shoulder, maybe I don't know anything. I know primordial. It same circumstance. It's just it like, might be the they're, they're too nice. Yeah. Uh, Maybe if you, you know put I mean? something in the pot and set it on mm. fire by that light, you'll Scanlan be able to goes it. up and looks at it. What okay. Grudgingly. Grudgingly. <laughs> uh, Scanlan kind of glances over. Oh, it's fine to me. I don't know what your problem is. Oh, really? This is. This is no, I have no idea what's in the pages. I'm just messing. Oh, with oh you oh. sorry, guys. Hey, Dick. Oh. I thought we'd figure something out. That's actually a really good idea, Grog. Maybe we should light the brazier. We should uh, light the brazier. That or okay. we raid the cabinets we we passed. Uh, Alura, who's who's look? Oh, is it you're going to light the brazier with your hand? Oh, uh, I don't know. What? Who's I doing just, what? Who's I doing was what? lighting my hand. I can do it. Bring, uh, bring light back. What's what? We're bringing light back. Okay, Ooh, so the room fills with light once more. Um, Carrick, you can bring your hammer back if you'd like. Please. <clears throat> We're basically okay, so. all running around the room in circles. Yeah, yeah I guess just charging around. <laughs> Are we going to light this brazier? Yes. I, Keyleth goes up and just sticks her flaming hand right down into the middle of the brazier. Okay. Uh, your hand hits the, the top of the kindling, uh, at which point the wood catches, and there's a slight flash as the 
extremely explosive materials that were within the brazier detonate, oh. causing Percival, uh, <laughs> Allura, um, Vax and Vax, who are also reading the book nearby, to all have to make a dexterity saving throw. As of a sudden, it explodes with a force. Do I make a dexterity no, save as well? You don't make it. You just take the damage since you were at ground zero. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, God damn it. To be fair, I was I was right next to the book as well. That's right. So you go ahead and make a dexterity saving throw as well, Carrick. Fuck. That'll do. Never. <laughs> 22. Okay. 24. Okay. 16 and a luck blown. Okay. Oh. Carrick, what'd you Evasion, get? Evasion, though. Uh, you got a three. Oh! Oh! Oh, uh, oh we made it, okay. Everyone but Carrick made the saving throw. Uh, and, we'll, and So Carrick and Keyleth, you both take 32 points of fire damage. Oh! Um, That's fine. The rest fine. of you take 16. 32, you take so none, that blows my 15 hit points, which yeah, yeah. leaves me with I start break dancing over, and doing the worm to... underneath the box. <laughs> Um. Jeez. All right. Luck was, was the luck wasn't blown because the other roll was a one. Oh, so there you go. Yeah. Do I? Run! Did you see that? I did, but everything's like really oh. light right now. Yeah. The, the, <laughs> yeah. Your ears are ringing from the blast of the impact. The uh, the br the brazier is just like, all all the metal is just bent outward and ruined. Yeah. Uh, I've just got like the lit up shades of a bunch of people going. Yeah. Like that, when Skeel turns black. around, you can see just her hair's kind of blown back yeah, a bit. Shit. Short, this is like an old cartoon like character. Noise. This has happened to me dozens of times. That was awesome. <laughs> if Rashawn didn't hear us before, <gasps> she potentially yeah. heard us now. <laughs> Hello. Well, at least now we don't have to try and stealth anymore. Let's. Yeah. Uh, all right. Is like, the door open? I'm sorry if I'm speaking loudly. <laughs> 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 No. Uh, the door is not open. <laughs> the we door is not open. No. We need blood. God damn it. Uh, the book's fine, I assume. The book has burned entirely. Oh, okay, good to know. It is destroyed. That's awesome. Uh, is it? Who cares about books? And and and, 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 and you see Alora, who also who made the save but took some damage, uh, is off in the back, is kind of chuckling to herself and goes, well, uh, "I think now we know the purpose of the book." What? <sighs> that dick book. <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> That, is that it? That, it, was, uh, it was a trap? It was well played, and curse be on the one who thought that up. <laughs> Pour some you blood into this, into this bowl and see what happens. <laughs> do I do I recognize the smell of whatever of, of whatever they used to ignite that, or is it was it more mystical in nature? Uh, it it was a, 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 a sort of mixture of extremely flammable liquids. Um, it was oh. not. It was not a black powder based okay, explosion. It wasn't, it wasn't question. A, I was just curious. Yeah, no, it was not. All right. Uh, well, let's try and pour some of the dragon blood into the bowl and see if that does. Does what? Opens the door. Opens the door. Oh. <laughs> Splits blow a vial. See what happens. Dragon blood. It's so expensive. Can okay, uh, we just knock it down? No one else is. I have basilisk, basilisk blood. Black dragon blood and white dragon blood. Let's try basilisk and work our way up. No, we can also like, cut our own like hands. like 7,000 gold. Yeah, yeah, I know, that's why basilisk is yeah. better. Okay. One basilisk, but. Okay, so as you kind of uncork and let it flow, and it's a thick kind of syrupy, it hits and pools. A moment passes, two moments, nothing. Fuck. I pull out my opal dagger and just cut my hand and drip it in. Okay. Um, the the basilisk blood that's still in there, uh, you kind of bleed into the basilisk blood, and it kind of just kind of pulls in the center of it, and you watch as the blood that you just dropped gets pulled beneath the surface of the basilisk blood out of sight. Creepy. Is the door opening? From the few drops of blood that you put in there, it is not opened. <sighs> It's like I, a kill I, I, something I, I, sort of situation. Eric is, is is like kind of like reaching out and like like jump jump jump. There's a lot of things in the world that shouldn't have your blood. Oh, well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, Especially something clever enough to lay a trap like that <laughs> might be clever enough to trick a bunch of people into handing over blood. Well. How far is it to the door? Uh, from from the, uh, the pillar, about 15. Feet, I'll walk over to the door. Okay. 
I'm gonna go with Grog. Yeah. Punch it! Do we just, can I, yeah. would you mind? You Do guys it. work on your thing, I'm gonna work on another thing. I'm going to go over to those other shelves, I'm gonna see what the fuck is up there. I go with Percy. I do that. Okay. Start I'm inspecting gonna, the shelves. Quick jog to the other shelves. I'm going to take a look okay. at those books. I'm going to take a look the at that box. The door begins to shift. There's a slight shaking sensation um, as the bowl itself begins to glow uh, and the the basic split begins to sizzle and burn away, almost like it's being pushed to the outer edges of the bowl with just the singular drops from your blood kind of resting in the center. Weep. The room begins yeah. to shake a bit, and you watch as dust that had been you know, alongside the ceiling kind of begins to uh, slightly cascade from above you. Uh, the metallic door lifts up and reveals Completely? the opposite. Uh, it's open. It's, 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 it's open. It's about, never mind. You do you do take a point of damage from the blood that you lost. Okay. Um, no, not even kidding. So you guys are just like just start to push out of the room. At which point, you begin to hear. Laughter. Oh fuck. Does it sound cackling? Familiar? Multiple sources of laughter. <laughs> and you watch as down in the distance on each side of the hallway, from where you came and where you're going, these little sources of light suddenly spark up and begin uh, drifting Pike towards you. Immediately casts. Um, Beacon. Over. No, 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 not that. She casts the other thing. Shouldn't she? It's undead. Turn undead? Holy aura. Holy aura? All of us. Okay, what does that do? Remember? It. I wrote it all down. Hold on, hold on. It is within a 30 foot radius where everybody is. It sheds a five foot radius of light on everyone. Mm -hmm. Everybody gets advantage on saving throws. Enemies who are attacking have disadvantage on everyone. Fiends and undead who take, who do melee, Attacks have to make a Constitution save or be blinded. Okay. Wow. Holy shit. All right. So, um, see so yeah, that that's on yourself, and it creates a thirty foot radius around you. So we all as, hug the pike. Yeah. yeah. As you guys all the see, see these, these kind of sources of light hovering towards you, the cackling getting louder and louder mm -hmm. from the source just out of you. Um, pike grabs her holy symbol and slams her hand down onto the stonework in the center by where the pillar is. As it hits, there's a sound as the vibrations from her impact kind of shift through the ground. You feel the ground itself grow warm with radiant energy as a giant circle of uh, ancient uh, radiant runes begin to connect and intersect. And within that circle, you all kind of rush in. And as you do, you feel the warmth of that protection come over you. Um, as you all kind of gather with your weapons at the ready, you see now the sources of light as roughly four floating flame wreathed skulls come rocketing in from each two from each side of the hallway, cackling along the way. <laughs> and we're gonna take a break. No. Hey. Oh, flame, flame, flame flaming wreath, skulls. Flaming skulls. Flame wreathed. Skulls. Yes. Skulls. Just Ghost floating riders. towards Ghost you. Riders. Uh, you get the sense yeah. that one of these may have at one point been contained within a bag. Guys, it's fine. My ten-year-old son destroyed one of these recently. <laughs> We're gonna be fine. <laughs> yeah, right. firecracker outside. <laughs> All right, so we'll be back here in a few minutes. Excited. We're gonna go ahead and take a restroom break, Woo! Uh, and we'll see where this next chapter is. Oh, oh, my have fun God. in the Phantom Zone.
roll. Back from break, uh, the party just found themselves immediately surrounded by large, floating, flaming skulls in the center of this hallway, going towards the Necromancer's Sanctum. Um, I need you all to roll initiative, please. Get right after Get it on! Get right under the Come on, city. It's the Kiss Army! <laughs> <laughs> While they're rolling their initiatives, uh, we had a winner in the chat room you will for a, uh, a Wormwood Zebrawood complete dice tower system right here, as well as oh, the awesome leather thing from Wormwood here. They have a nice leather band as well. Stuff. The winner is Hartman underscore. By the way, congratulations, Hartman, Hartman underscore. Yeah. I think you have Zebrawood. Zebrawood is, is, I believe, is, is the one that I. I quite so pretty. It's so it's congratulations. It's we'll get this to you ASAP. That might be my. All righty. So. Getting initiative scores here from people. Disgusting. 25 to 20. Oh, wait, we're rolling initiative? Yes. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> fuck me. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's cocked. Oh, that's awful. Good job. Uh, natural 20. It is. That's All right, so. Why can't I have these Plus. when it really oh, well, fuck makes me. sense? 25 to 20. 22 total. So 22. 21. Uh, 21. 20, uh, 22 for Scanlan. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa! Scanlan's always in the He rolled a natural 20. Yeah. Me and Scanlan, that 20 brothers! For Scanlan, who's That's not here! That's awesome. Yeah. Your brother and sister. So back to Scanlan at the top. Crying gaming me? It's gonna you don't know. know. <laughs> All right. Because I don't know. All right, uh, 20 to 15. 16. For 17. Vex. Percy. Huh. Vex. Uh, 15 to 10. Me. 14. Alrighty. Oh, natural one. Just out of curiosity, do you allow people to delay their action uh, to act later in the turn? Uh, you can hold an action, meaning you still take your turn, you still move, but you can hold your action for a trigger. Okay. So like, I will hold my action to attack if something comes in range, or I can hold my action to cast a spell when a certain creature does something. But you okay. still you still take your turn. You don't move the the turn order. What pike roll? Um, pike rolled a nine. What a pike at the end? Carrick, what'd you get? Oh, a one. Oh no! Oh, Carrick. Wow. Number one. Number one. Pike? Nine. nine. Who rolled one? Care. It's okay. Oh. You, you, and, you and keep we her down there. We still like you. All right, so. <laughs> the term is anchor man. That is, that is what I am. Nice. I like it. Alrighty. So, at the top of the round, as these skulls are beginning to find their way in towards the cavern towards you, as you've all circled around Pike in the center of this chamber here, um, I would like Scanlan and Vax to go first. All right. Dun, 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 dun. After you, Scanman. Uh, I'm going to turn in. Uh, is I can turn myself invisible. It's a level three spell. You can. I'm going to turn invisible and back up against the the uh, northern wall in the corner and see if the skulls notice. Okay. So Scanlan is going to go invisible and then back up here. It's the second level spell. Alrighty, second level. And I'm going to hold my action to see if, until I find out whether or not. Oh, invisible is my action. Invisible casting spell is your action. Is my action. All right, I'm going to back up and yeah. Okay, so you back up against the, the wall there. Yeah. Okay. So that's your turn. Uh, Vax. That was. Can you point to where I am in that scrum? You were right there. Tell. Uh, I'm going to move so uh, to the opposite wall uh, that Scanlan just went to. So over here? Uh, yeah, and I'll fly 10 feet in the air. I'm winged, so I'll be yeah. 10 feet in the air as well. Okay, I'll put you up on here. And I'm going to huck a pair of daggers at, uh, I hope this is the right way, the one on this side that's closest to you. Right here? Yeah. Okay, go for it. Okay. Uh, whoop, that's shit. Whoop. And then the second one. Well, that was a 14. Um, don't don't okay. write it off. It was 15, that first That's one. That's true. It was a 15 and a 23. Uh, both hit. Hey! I flung shit. Wow. All right, so uh, first one is with Whisper. That is 4 plus 8 is 12 plus psychic damage, which is uh, 19 for the first hit. Nice. And from the uh, Venom Dagger that I'm throwing next, that is four plus six is 10. <laughs> 10 total. So, oh, 19 points of damage total. Awesome. Yes. All right, that end your turn? That's the end of my turn. All right, that brings us to Keyleth. Oh, dear God, and you guys have, hang on, hang on, I'm looking up the parameters of the spell. Let me see, L-M-M-O-M. What happens when you hit him with those daggers? 
Uh, as both these daggers slam into the skull, you watch as the flames themselves that are kind of wreathing around them, the skull just ducks out of the way, but the blade still catches and scrapes across the side of the, the bone, and it kind of has to right itself, but then it gets right back into the place it was. It's taking damage, and you can see portions of the bone are starting to crack and break, but it's still, you know, still holding itself aloft. Did it little job of the Not yet, not, it's not his turn yet. It doesn't sound like Skeldor. It's an action to chatter. <laughs> I'll get you, He-Man! <laughs> no, no, you no. boob! <laughs> you boob! You can be praised! <laughs> oh my god, do I pray? Okay, anyway. um... Sorry. <laughs> oh my god, do I pray? Oh, internet. Never change. <laughs> oh lord. For a revolution! So are you doing um, for your action, Keyleth? Huh? She's, She's inspired. No. She's just say, I got inspired? No. no. It's just yours. What are you doing in your turn? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you stick cotton in your ears during the break? <laughs> Sorry, I got. It's okay. You're right here currently, Keyleth. You're um, okay. <laughs> You're next to Allura, and you have Carrick to your other side. Which direction were we heading? You were heading this direction. The, the giant gate was here, and then it lifted up, and then all the skulls swarmed in from that side. There's only two right now? There's four. There's four. There's, There's two, two on, on this side. Four. Two on this side. Okay. I'm going to cast Moonbeam on. Um, hmm. Let me do this one. Uh, that guy. Does that make sense? So it's 120 foot. It's a concentration spell up to a minute, and it's a five foot radius. 40 foot high cylinder. Um, it causes searing pain and it takes 2d10 radiant damage. Mm. Um, after a uh, constitution saving throw. Okay, so constitution saving throw on each of those, each of these guys here? It's a five foot radius. Okay, so you're going to hit one. Oh, if you hit there, here, you can hit them both. Can I? Yeah. You... Then I do that. Alrighty. Um, and they. That is a 16. Fail. And a 13. Fail. So, no, they fail on both of those. Nice. Ooh, that's a good. Um, this is a good above average. Six plus seven is 13. 13 damage. points of damage to both of them. Yeah. I hit you with some radiant damage. Two. You know, just All a right. little bit of radiant damage. So as the beam kind of blurs it from the sky, you see the, uh, the white uh, radiant nature energy kind of burst around them and the flames seem to subside for a moment as the one that's already been damaged by a vax almost stumbles to the floor and picks itself back up, its flame kind of flickering uh, more so than the allies around you. Then in your turn, Keyleth, you can stay where you are, you're gonna move. I'm on the, am I, are we on the carpet? Are we all on the carpet? No, we never no. quite had No one's been on the carpet. We never did that. Nope. Then you're I right, will right back still kind of away towards me and towards this southeast Corner. Over here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Thank you. South, yeah, southeast. Here. More south? No, 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 that's right, right that's right. Okay. That's good. That ends your turn? Mm hmm. Like All right. It is now the Flame Skull's turn. Yeah. Well, so sure it's on the other foot. So, all four of these skulls, you watch as the flames kind of swirl around the head, pour into the skull itself, and for a second, the flame almost goes dark as all of a sudden the eyes burst into angry fire, the mouth grows extremely bright, and a single red beam streaks forth from the jaw to the center of the room. Four of these beams um, in different directions here, followed by four simultaneous familiar explosions as four separate fireballs rock four the room's super center. fireballs. fireballs. Yes. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. We're gonna die Whoa. just from fireball. fucking two. Fireballs. Fireballs. Uh, wow. Look so that. everybody. That's yeah. You guys clustered right there. Well, we didn't well, get a chance to, the to man. Oh, no. I know. There's a, this What's is the, the room. Well, no. You guys all said you're all gonna back in around the Pike, we're and dead. you haven't had your turn yet. Yeah, so good. yeah. Yeah. It's also still the room. <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, this happens, guys. Sorry. 
Like, where else were we gonna go? go. It's a yeah. huge yeah. explosion. Not knowing or seeing where Sam went, they all focus here, which will affect. That's a good sign. It will affect everybody. So I need everybody to make four dexterity saving throws. Wow. Now, mind you, every, everyone except Scanlan, or still Scanlan? Everyone except for Scanlan. And everybody's got advantage on every single because one of, those of the spell rolls. that piped. Wait, dex Holy throws? Shit. Dex. All saving throws you have advantage on. Four Holy saving throws. That's with advantage. Amazing. With advantage. All right. You crazy motherfucker. Oh, that's better. God up? damn it, that's the same What are we trying to hit? Uh, you're trying to beat Dex. a 13. How many do we, oh, we have to roll it each time? Yeah, for each one. Okay. Shit. That's crazy, that's uh, that's Natural 20 crazy. on my second. Yeah, no, you're right. I'm right down. 17, uh, 20. 18. We're what? trying to beat a 13? Trying to beat a 13. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, and I cleared oh, all of them. Hike. Cleared all of them. Cleared all of them. Great. Evasion. Wait, I gotta do them for Pike. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> no rolls for Scanlan. Okay. No, I'm gonna be your turn. Holy shit. Four ah. fireballs. Bum, ba, dum, ba, dum, ba, dum, ba, dum, dum, dum. <sighs> do I have to roll for Trinket, too? You, you do. Oh, God. Everyone was there. Okay, Pike saves two and fails two. Vex saves all. Okay. Oh my god. These little disembodied bastards are. Uh, Trinket only <laughs> saves against one. I mean, you can. Okay. Yes. What are these called? Even, even with advantage? Even with advantage. It's her magic power. Trink. Tr Trinket just Please constantly. I didn't add anything. Oh, well, he had a plus right, two. So, Grog. Yeah, I failed the first two, succeeded on the second two. 10, 10, 21, 21. Okay. So you take 76 points of fire damage. Sweet. Ace. That's amazing. Save, 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 save. Okay. So you take. Jesus <laughs> Thank God for the heroes. So that's 78 in that one, right? Uh, Grog, I said 78, right? You said 72. Sorry, 72. Oh, no, that was not nice, working. Uh, that is. Fifty. I'm sorry, 48 points of fire damage to you, Percy. Did you save from all of them? Yeah. Same. Same. Uh, 17, natural 20, 14, 18 for my rolls. 42 points of damage? Six, seven, eight. Wait. Wow. How much? Sorry, I'm looking at this. Yeah, it's okay. Sorry, this is a lot of fireballs Math. and a lot yeah, of rolls yeah, yeah, right yeah. now. Yeah. Sorry, so first of all, yeah. all together, Maybe if you made all, made all the saves, it would be. Uh, these. Oh, shit. Okay. Plus, it's mild asbestos in the coat. <laughs> Made of polyester. 36 times 4. We'll say, we'll, we'll say for, the, for the sake of this and the ease of the, of the damage here. Uh. Take 56 points of fire damage, Percy. How much? Sorry. 56, 56 points 56? of fire. 56. 56. Yes. 56. If you saved against all of them, 56. Yes. Ooh. Okay. Jesus. Shouldn't I have taken more? You sh technically would have taken. Yeah. I no, you took 70 because you you I failed two. You, oh, you sorry, you failed two. So that would be. Okay. And that's with a nat 20? You're taking 88. 88. Oh yeah. my lord. With a nat 20, you still take half damage? Yeah, yeah. succeeding. That. So how many did you get, Keyleth? I saved all of them, so I'm at 50 hit and points. And he's like, fuck. Okay. <gasps> Carrick, how many did you save? Uh, I did, I made all of them. Okay. Thanks to the advantage. Thank so. God. Yes, Carrick. So you take 56 points of fire damage. Jesus. I saved all of them with evasion at zero, yeah? Yes, you take zero. Yeah, I flattened against the ground. Yes, you just ducked out of the way. Jeez. Uh, Vex. I saved against all of them. 56 points of fire damage. So I'm at 57 hit points now. Okay. Pike, Pike failed two. She failed, so she, two of them, yeah, so 88. So 88, but half that because she has fire resistance, so 44. Oh, thank God, okay. <laughs> Whoa. 
That's good, that's good. Um, and then Trinket only got one, so he's in my necklace. <laughs> <laughs> Already. <laughs> luckily, luckily. You yeah. can bring him out and heal him in a minute if you want to. <clears throat> um, that brings Allura through her, through her barrier and extra hit points. That brings her to, okay, there we go. And then Kima also failed to, so she took. Righty. If I'm still hugging Grog, can I use him as partial cover? <laughs> uh, going forward, you can. Yes, from the from the the curling flames of the arcane blasts. Unfortunately, uh, not that much uh, cover from that. However, they all then go ahead and scoot back towards the wall. Out the holy radius itself is certain to like affect them. Uh, so this one is starting to back up this direction, and these two are going to go ahead. And this one's going to curl around this, the. F- Fallen stonework and land there. Um, that is going to end man. their turn. Fucking kill box. Yeah, we are. Yeah, it's it's a box of kill. Uh, now it brings us to Percival's turn. Get up in their face. I am <laughs> irritated. So, which was the one that you were shooting at? <laughs> There's that's this one that's one. almost dead. What's the one yeah. that's yeah. almost dead? Yeah, the one this that Matt one. just touched. Uh, I'm gonna start with him, and I'm going to uh, yeah, he's just to just to be. Uh, uh, just to be a dick, I'm gonna pull some dead eye and and a sharpshooter on this one. Get out of the box. So I'm gonna start with him taking a shot with Animus. <coughs> Animus. Uh, with the Animus gun, Animus. which is uh, with the sharpshooter on, is a uh, 26 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Okay. So roll damage for that. Uh, that's. Uh, sorry, I'm a little out of it. What do I need? I need one of these. Uh, oh, I'll use this one, it's prettier. Um, actually, sorry, I'm just counting my dice. That's nice. Uh, that's um, uh, 17, 27. 27 points of damage plus two points of psychic damage. Okay. Uh, as you take your first shot, the one skull is just trying to duck around the partially crumbled wall. You catch it right before it goes behind cover, and as your bullet hits it from the side, the skull just explodes and shatters into a burst of flame and broken bone, expelled and extinguished yes. awesome. from the battlefield. Fucking yes. dick. Next shot. <laughs> uh, Gonna, Do you get a grip point? You get a grip point. Oh, I killed it. So grip yep. point back. Nice. Boom. Actually, and I'm going to spend another grip point for the same shot. Uh, so yes, that's. These aren't living creatures, are they? They are not. Um, I'm going to just switch to the one. Um, that one. Yeah, I'm just going to switch so that we're not flanked by the okay. some flaming jungle moth. Uh, <laughs> the same sharpshooter, same thing, same uh, attack. Twenty six. Hits. Uh, uh, it's not as good, but it's okay. Um, 22 points of damage plus six points of psychic damage. Okay. Nice. Alrighty. So this shot impacts and it sends it kind of slamming into the wall and it writes itself back in its position, but you can see noticeable cracks across the uh, the bone cranium of it. Um, and little bits of fire are kind of poking through areas where it's starting to come apart, but it's still keeping itself together at the moment. I'm going to take another shot at it. Okay. Uh, sharpshooter, but not with uh, with uh, the uh, the uh, dead eye. Pew pew. Pew pew. Uh, not as good as a shot. 16 attack? 16 still hits. That'll do. <laughs> Kill it. Get after it. Kill it. Uh, that's kill it. 20 points of damage with four points of psychic damage. Kill it. That does it. That ah! skull is another blast echoes through as the gunshot goes off. You watch as the secondary light source from that side of the hallway just is immediately extinguished. That hallway goes dark once more. The two glowing lights untouched on the area you came from still standing. I do a quick, quick reload and I run up the wall uh, to. Uh, yeah, that way, but to the to an angle. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna perch up there. Okay, we'll get say. Get point back. We'll uh, oh yeah, I get the. Chris. God, thank you. Fuck me. We have a. <laughs> so this is becoming your paperclip for this battle. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know? Microsoft. It looks you like you just like killed trying to write. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sorry, I meant to mention this before. Um, and, and it wouldn't be relevant if everyone hadn't just made like eight saving throws or rolled eight saving throw dice. 
everyone close to me because of my aura of divinity gets a plus three because of my charisma bonus. That's true. That's tr- I, 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 I would not bring it up after the fact if that was not just such an ungodly buttload of damage. Doesn't affect, <laughs> affect my rolls. Uh, that would affect your rolls. You'd have plus three to any of Yeah, I'd still make it. Yeah, so, so it didn't help Grog. Um, Pike is the only one that's near you that, that would have gotten, gotten the benefit. Pike up to one of, she would have okay. failed one of them. So take, uh, half take 20, 22 points of fire damage off of, and that's or, or no, no, it would 11. be maybe half that. Be 11 points. Half to get, it would be 11 points. Take 11 points that's off. That's for saves, back? not on attacks or anything, right? Correct, just saves. So add 11 points back. Yeah, I said okay. online. Yeah. You save all yours. But wasn't, didn't Grog roll 10s and he needs a 13? Is that what you rolled as your final rolls? 10, 10, 21, 21. Yeah, that would have made 13. So that would have made 13 roll. So yeah, that would have. You would have oh, saved yeah. on everything. Hey. Two saves, that would have made. So if you saved on all of them, what, how many points of damage did you take? All of them would have been 56. 56, 56. total. Got it, 56. Thank you. Rick. I think you took like 80 some on total. Still would have failed three. Just to put that out there, he even, rolled even so the, poorly. Even with the plus three? Mm-hmm. Even with the plus Trinket. three, Trinket would not have gotten up to 13 Thank on three you of them. Care. You know, I've, you I've, care. Been, I've been led to believe that, that bears had a more affinity with dealing with forest fires in general. And like, I, I feel that it's just, this is definitely a problem. Somewhere Sam is oh, laughing. Oh, poor Trinket. He's good at climbing trees. Is he bald He's good at, he bald He's good at cuddles. Yeah. Do you have a bald oh, bear? Well, He's good at cuddles. Little singed oh, hair. He looks like those little tiny microscopic creatures. All right, Percy, then in your turn. Is that oh, end your turn? Yeah, that's my turn. Oh, yeah, Vex, you're up. Tardigraves. Tardigraves. Oh, I'm up. Yes, it's you. Okay. You're right there. Um, I'm going to shoot them. I'm going to shoot. All right, which one you want to shoot? The one closer to you. Okay, there you go. Water bears. They call them water bears. <laughs> that definitely hits. No kidding. Like a shizu. Held over water. 16. 16 damage plus uh, three lightning damage. Okay, got it. And then, fuck me, I. Hunters mark him. <laughs> okay. Oh. He has been. That was the saddest hunter. That hunters was marked. <laughs> you don't I, have to. I, I attack him again. You. Okay. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Natural 20. Hey! Well, there you go. I was going to say, somehow a skull was giving you shade, and now he's yeah. not. <laughs> I might have brought a raise, and yet I can feel it. <laughs> 20 plus 8 lightning damage plus uh, 8 hunter's mark. If you don't get to kill anything. Because you double all your dice, right? It makes me feel uh, You double the dice. Yeah. Genuinely feel bad. So it's 20 plus 8. Plus another 8. Plus another 8. So 28 plus 8 lightning damage. Yeah. <laughs> that secondary arrow happens to just hit right on the suture at the side of the skull, and as it hits, the arrow cuts through and causes the skull to crack in half, and you hear this kind of <laughs> shriek, and the laughter fades as it pulls back, and the flame just <laughs> flickers out, and the two pieces of uh, bone just <laughs> clatter to the ground and kind of break across the stone. I nice. Nice. I move there were pieces of bone all away the from him. Into the oh, on the opposite side of Percy. Okay, so this way. Yeah. 10, 15, 20, 20, 30. You can get about there. Okay. All right. That ends your turn, Vex. Grog, you're up. Ah! I <laughs> run at the last remaining skull. Okay. Kill it. In a rage. 30, 30, 30, 40, 45, 50. Uh, you get right up to it. it. I'd like to play T-ball, please. Grog. Okay, go for it. With this new dwarven <laughs> thrower. <laughs> Should have tried throwing it, but Just swing too late it in for that shit now. Reckless, great weapon bastard, please. Go for it. Rage? 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 What? Uh, 33 minus 5 is uh, 28. That hits. Okay. You don't add the extra d8 because you only get that when you throw it. Right. Uh, shit, wait. Yeah, 31. Minus five is 27. 27 damage. 26. 26 damage. No, I'm sorry, the second hit was 26 to hit. Oh, I see, what was the damage for something? I didn't yeah, do, I didn't do it yet. yet. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Now I've done it. Uh, what in the fuck is that? 
Welcome to D8s, that's motherfucker. A, oh no, that's a six plus. Okay, well, I'm raging, so. It's barely a six. Uh, 20 points of damage. Okay. On the you slam across the side of the skull. It slams against the side of the wall where you hit it, and as it kind of writes itself, you go with your second attack, which does hit. Roll damage for that one. What the fuck is that? It's a, it's a number. <laughs> 19. <laughs> 19 hits. Oh, it's 19 damage, sorry. Yeah, 19 damage. That's, uh, you slam it again. Damage. This time it kind of falls to the ground and picks itself back up. The flames brightening once again, the anger as its jaw kind of clacks open. <laughs> oh, shit. Coming towards your face. It's still alive? Yeah. Shit. Kill it! You're not. Are you I, don't, not I, don't have, I don't have a third attack. Yeah, he's not frenzy. I'm not oh. frenzy. We're saving it. With a bonus action. Bonus. Can I attempt to use my boots of Pharaoh leaping and leap? <laughs> <laughs> To the wall ah. towards you. Yeah. He's like, ah! okay. suddenly senses that an all-powerful deity on the outside of this just leaps towards Matt. So he breaks through Damn the wall. Damn you, watcher of all things! Does it just grab your mini and slam it into the ground? <laughs> no saves. Stay puff my flat line. Not like this. <laughs> Um, not like I just want to leap, leap towards the wall that way, so I'm not okay. in the same line. Okay, so go make your athletics check. Okay. <laughs> Since you are raging, you have advantage on it. Oh, cool. I don't need it. It's 26. Okay, so you... Lord. There you go. Ah! Leap over. I expected you to die! <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is Allura's turn. Um, she sees, currently at the moment, that uh, the heavily damaged flame skull, and there's nothing else immediately in the vicinity. Shelly glances past, uh, steps over past Carrick, and kind of says, uh, Shall you or shall I? Be my guest. <laughs> you're, you're too kind. And with one hand on her shoulder and the staff the other, she kind of just thrusts it forward, and you watch as uh, four. What looks like small beads of arcane energy go rocketing out from the top of the staff, and arcing around each other as they swell with power and force. All slam multiple times into the side. Uh, the magic missiles dealing five, ten, fifteen. Four fours in a row. Yeah, that spell is dependable. Twenty. Four fours four four in a row. Wow. Yeah. And that. Not quite enough to finish it. Uh, he's really strong. He's kind of slamming into the sides How is of it. He's still so strong. It's what? taken 59 points of damage. Um, you watch he's it as, be barely as it. I forgot to add 10. To, to my, each roll? To your each roll? It, well. I mean, you could add 20. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll say, given that circumstance. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Given the fact that it literally have one hit years. point, they have one hit point left. <laughs> she got it. Yeah, they have one hit point left. So, so as as four goes, as the four uh, missiles slam into the side of the skull, the final one hits, and its jaw gets blown off as the rest of the skull just turns to ash against the stonework, and slowly rests across the side. The combat coming to an end in that moment. <sighs> Good times, guys. Yeah. Every week, every week for two years. We've been playing this game every week for two years. It's going to be amazing when we're level one again. We go, I hit it for three points. Yeah. <laughs> we're like, yay! <laughs> oh, can I run? We came from that way, right? Came from this way, yes. Can I run that way? Run? This way? Yep. Oh, this yeah. is a death trap. Wait. Grog, what are you doing? So Grog, wait, wait, we have to keep running backwards. Grog. I came from the other way. No, 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 you came from, way. you went this way. I'll run the other way! Okay, so Grog just goes bolting through, <laughs> past all of you guys, into the currently unexplored. No, wait, I start flying traps. with him. Grog, 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 we don't, we don't know that everything has been fucked up, for that, but we just wait a second. Oh. Check for traps, check for traps! <laughs> At the edge of the map? Wow. Uh, you are learning. Yeah, he, he just, you just caught him as he moved past the, uh, the, the partially collapsed part of the wall where the one skull was trying to hide. I'm Pike, do we have maybe like a group heal? Cause I'm half hit points after f flaming, um, flaming uh, night raiders. Yeah. I'm gonna Ghost check the traps past where that gate was. Okay. Do some 20 or 30 feet. Okay. Healing thing. How many of those did you fail? I passed all of 19. them. One with a nat 20. Oh. 
You're at half your hit points. Look, man, we can't all be Grog the Barbarian. Do we so want to? <sighs> do we want to? I mean, I okay. Slide. Here's the thing. If we all keep charging in, that spell that we just did lasts for a minute. Thought Rashawn was around. She was not. So we've got um, less than a minute left on that level eight there. Mm-hmm. Or that gives us tick, tick, advantage tick, 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 on all saving throws. Yeah. Which actually, now that I think about it, I need you to roll. Concentration four checks. constitution checks on that one for yeah. Mike. So for four, four constitution saving throws. You know what? They did, they did advantage. a good job of keeping us from all dying just then, though. Yes, they did. Yes, that was not wasted. Yeah. At advantage. Yeah. So here we go. Ooh, natural 20? 18? 19? 11. 11. Actually, that 11. Oh, plus three. Yeah. Okay, so she maintains concentration, but you have about roughly. 50 seconds, 50 45 seconds. seconds left. If we go right now. Like, we, we right won't now. be able to get to her in a minute, y'all. Okay, yeah. is there anything in front of me as I look uh, at my 19? Okay, so as they're having this conversation, you kind of mm-hmm. push past, you don't notice anything trapped, but about maybe 30 feet from where the iron door was, Yes. You, as you're scoping, the floor just turns to darkness, and as you peek over, you see now a set of stairs are descending. But no traps. No traps. Do we want to keep moving, or, or do we want to pause? If we take I, a rest, we can I rest up and heal. Have a short rest right now, so we can top off. Okay, let the spell go then. Yeah. Yeah. Hit dice. Okay. Yeah, we use our hit dice because we all got half of them works. back. How much? How long? Short rest. How short long? rest is twenty minutes. About and it's anywhere from thirty, 30 minutes. minutes to an hour. We could scry and see if Reshawn totally knows that we're here. Six seconds. You can Unless spread. there's some sort of like big healing mojo, but like I am, I am really good. Yeah, let's just use our hit dice. Save I the mean, big I can burn spell. a mass cure wounds and heal us. We haven't we even fought a... the dragon yet. Yeah, right. that's the thing. For yeah. all we know, we fucked ourselves with that skull earlier. So it wouldn't matter. So, so it wouldn't it matter. Forty minutes. I don't know. Yeah. I feel here. like. Yeah, the bell's been rung. going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Let's let's take a. Let's She's take a, a smart woman. The yeah. least we can assume is that she knows. We haven't outsmarted her yet. She's probably already baffed out, y'all. You can find out really easily. That would really. Oh, suck. yeah. While we're resting, I'm gonna detect dragons and see if she's still around. Okay. Um, you sense the same three dragon presences. Okay. In the vicinity. Same spot. Wow. All right. Okay. That. You rolled the twelve. That's something. Yeah, baby. Babies. Barbarians. Yeah. Up in those her secrets. So you add okay. Plus four. <laughs> Nine times a day, player. Before you guys using your hit dice, you get Scanlan's Song of Rest. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah. So what is Which that? Which is um. It's an additional D twelve on. Song of Rest gives one D twelve healing points. Oh, that's yeah. good. That's good. On so. top of, on top of whatever you healed, you then get an additional D twelve. Look at that 12 right there, that's fucking sweet. Uh, plus 12? Plus 1d8 plus, wait, plus, sorry, we're 1D12. not. 12? Plus 1d12, right? He adds a 1d12. Yep. You want to roll? And Come on, big money, no way, me. Nine! nine. That's, that's overall, yeah, not to each dice, no. Okay. Just, just overall. Nine. Three. Hit dice. Oh, that's eight. Eight. 16 plus, what's 16 plus nine? Do we uh, go back 25. up to Heroes Feast hit points or not anymore? Yeah. yeah. We do? The Heroes, Heroes Feast is addition of your, to your maximum hit points. 55 hit points with this D12 monster. Oh my god, I rolled so good. So I'm just one below where I was. Which is what? So hit point? 235. 235 for Grog. Percy, where are you at? Uh, I'm still rolling. Uh, okay. Where did my marker go? I don't know, you can use mine. I went all the way back up to my. To your maximum? Yeah, to my max. Okay. So 115 is what I'm at now. Okay, Vax, you didn't take any damage. Carrick, what are you at? Uh, I'm still rolling. Okay, no worries. 10. And then Pike. I'm rolling really shittily. Yeah, I'm not doing And Scanlan helped out with that? He did. Yeah. When the blight oh, has me. come. <laughs> And, and the, the land moon. is dark, <laughs> and your health is down to 23 HP. Oh, I can't, that's I can't good, do as much man. As that's you're doing great, that's though. That's, that's great. That was good. I mean, we're missing the high soprano tonal quality, but can't yeah. Can't do it. Can't do it. Wow, I'm down a lot. Uh, three, four, five, six. 
Uh, I'm gonna so burn my last few hit dice. Yeah, fuck it. Um, I'm at 140. Yeah. I'm not at the top of my peak. Okay. I'm at 95. I'm at 94, 95. Got it. Um, is it possible? God, do I want to? I have instructions on how to run Scanlan. I'm debating how to how to oh. best do that. Uh, oh no no no! I went up to 117 because I forgot I got the extra 15 for. How long does inspiration? Do a bump or anything? I'm to be, well, would he do a bump right now? You probably would. I was about to he? say, according to the instructions I was given. Probably. But like. Pikes <laughs> back at one fifteen. Well, that's the thing is I don't want to. I don't want to. I want to make sure I can do this in a way that's not going to take away anything from him later. Yeah. Is um, he? I, wait, hang on. Wait. I feel like he texted. Did he? I. I no, know. I know. No, he didn't. No. Feel like he'd do a bump right now. He really. Yeah. No. I'm gonna try and a number. Give, give, a, bump him of the, give him a number. Hang on. How many bumps of suit does he have left? One. One. Oh, save it. Mm. Would he do it for after Raishan or before? After. Before. <laughs> before, I think too. Yeah, no, I've like I I was given specific instructions. Okay. And uh, I think you would do it before too. Uh, I'm gonna. He's gonna push a little forward up to the to the stairs, get away from the rest of the group. And oh, well, that, that'll be going up to where Vax is. Oh, then he's going to push a little far back and just okay. sort of oh, man, so scan in the corner territory here. That's the way. Wait, Scanlan gave us an extra nine hit points. An extra d12. Yeah, which is nine points. Nine. 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 I'm higher than one seventeen. Then I'm one. There you go. Whatever. Uh, one twenty-six. One twenty-six. Yes. So, so he has one hit of suit left. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna get himself quietly away. I think he's had it packed already, so there's not gonna be a big a lot of. He's just gonna. Holy just gonna shit! Hit it this quick feels so weird. Wrong. Yeah, don't tell yeah, this is like proxy the worst do this. Day oh, right. It's right. Yeah, it's yeah, right. Proxy. Okay. Where he's at. It feels so dirty. Go ahead and roll a Constitution saving throw for. Uh, uh, is it a D20? Are you gonna do it? D20. I'm, I'm not gonna. To I'm not do gonna. It? I'm not gonna sully it with my good dice. I'm gonna use one of my crap dice. Gave us some specific directions. Um. Actually, do I have, this is, I guess, the most stoner die I have for this. Uh, so let's, uh, okay, Constitution saving throw? Yes. It's Come fun. on. Uh, Just straight Constitution? Uh, 19. Oh, saving throw, uh, 19. Save throw. 19, all right, great. Um, as Scanlan takes the, uh, the flute and uh, takes in the fumes of the charred burned sood, uh, the familiar burn and, and chemical Flavor kind of fills his lungs, and as he exhales, uh, this kind of fine brown smoke emits from his lungs, and his vision clarifies suddenly, and he feels this elevated sense of energy and power in his mind. Um, for the next hour, mm -hmm. Scanlan has one sorcery point that he can spend as if the sorcerer metamagic class, what? and has access to the extended spell metamagic ability. What? Do you know what that means? I, I okay, one extended no, spell med metamagic. So what? What is that bias? So he has one what point period that one, he can ever spend. He has one. For the next hour. One sorcery point. Correct. I'm at one Sorce forty right now. Oh, that's wait. wait. How do you spell sorcery? Oh, how do you spell sorcery? Yeah. Uh, S O C. It's so much to. How do you spell sorcery? Yeah. I know my brain is made of. And basically, he can so spend it to uh, to double a duration of a spell as he casts it. He can. Oh, that's he a, can that's double. That's the only thing within reach of one sorcery point, right? But well, that's that's. He can the double. The gives him access to a specific. Meta magic based on the color uh, of the suit, awesome. and he gets a point. Oh my the God. more you based use to get more points, the higher the DC gets, and the closer you get to overdosing. Right. Ah, I love it. So oh, this is the worst thing ever. He can theoretically ever. die oh, by doing theoretically this. Hey man, it's yeah. just another version of Craven Edge. I mean, here no, we go. it's great. I, yeah, this is yeah, this is I guess. weirdly weird. Yeah, except weird I had it all under control. Way. Sure. <laughs> so okay, wait. He can double the length of one spell. Yeah, a single spell that has a duration. Control, long he can use that sorcery control. point to double the the duration of that the spell. The duration cool. of one spell. Correct. And, I feel like and that's like, it could be, wait, okay, like, question. So if, it's, if it says one minute concentration, it can be two, two minutes, minutes concentration. What if it's one action, can it be two actions? He can do it back to back, boof, boof. No, 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 the duration, not the casting time. Those are different. The duration is once you've cast it, how long it lasts before it expires. Right. So like a so one something, something that, cool. that an effect for one so minute. So like a, a mansion we could have for two days. Yeah. Yes. A two day mansion. 
A two-day mansion. A two-day mansion. Actually, no, it says, we the scan it. it says specifically as part of the meta magic ability that oh, it cannot. No, it can at a maximum of twenty-four hours. Oh. So it already has a twenty-four hour duration. You cannot. Just kidding. That. So yeah. A okay. so only if it's like JK. below twenty-four hours. <sighs> the large print giveth, yeah. and the small print take it <laughs> away. <laughs> 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 I'm an inch. <laughs> That's a beautiful quote. It's not. It's Tom. Tom waits. Everybody. There you Tom go. Waits. Right. Bless. Bless. That's wonderful. Patron Let's saint of D and D. Building in there. <laughs> so, Patrick, how much did you heal, brother? Um, I'm up to 94. All righty. All right. So I dig. I dig this. Okay. We're, we got this. We so we have one sort of double. Okay. Yeah. All right. We're good. All right. All right. Okay. Well. Holy shit. All right. Let's. Uh, so I found yeah. nothing in He's the back. The, the further area. No. No traps. You came to the edge stairs of the stairs. Down. The stairs that lead down for about 20 or so feet, and then progress uh, at an even. Uh, Path and then disappear below what your visual is able to see from above. Uh, Keyleth is going to just before this short rest ends, going to give one cure wounds to herself. Okay, go for it. Uh, just top me off. Cure, is your uh, hammer still a glow? Uh, if you want light, I can do light. I, I want to know if it's a glow right now. Did you have a chance uh, to pop it out? It probably is, um, unless somebody told me to turn it off. Okay. It, so it, I, I figured it was probably still on. Yeah, it's still currently being how, kind of the central source of light in this room. How far down the stairs do I see from where I am? Uh, from where you are, you can see, you can see all the way to the bottom of the of the the, the twenty feet of stairs. Yeah. But then the 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 roof of the tunnel cuts off the rest of the path. So you you have to go down further to look out where it goes. Okay. Keyleth is at one hundred and sixteen hit points. Cool. Got nice. it. Put that out, please, Care. Okay. That's nothing. I'm gonna go stealth. And I'm going to go down to the bottom of the steps, looking. Okay. And I've already checked for traps. Oh no, I didn't up to this point. So I'm going to check Correct. for traps. Okay. As I go down the steps. Stealth first. So stealth first. Which is 25. Thir am I still under path nope, of trace? Nope. Because she she cast 25. 25. Okay. And then, and then traps. make an investigation check. It's natural 20 for the. Nice. Okay. You make your way like down the stairs yeah. into the next bit of the hallway. No traps. Okay. Um, Zero traps. The stonework here now is getting a little more refined the further you go. Um, I'm waiting for like goonies. And uh, as you look out the hallway, you have another 25, 30 feet of this you know, 20 foot wide, 20 foot tall hallway before it seems to just end and drop off. And you can see what looks to be a gap and another wall about 25 feet across from that. Okay, so hallway goes a ways, then there's nothing, and, and then, then nothing, 20 feet and then, past a, that. and then just a wall a on wall. the other side. So, go so down. gap and then a wall? Yeah, Got it looks it. like it goes down or up. Got it. You okay. have to get closer to get more detail. I keep meaning to build something for something like this, and I just haven't had the time. Oh, you know what, darling, don't worry. Uh, on the just earring. Like you can use the carpet. Team, there's. This is so refreshing. There's a, there's a passage down ahead of me. There's no traps, I don't think. So let's walk up there. Yeah, catch up with me and then pause, and then either I or my sister and I will move ahead. And then just let us know which direction you think we should head, Vex. Um, of course. Did you mean Vax or did you mean Vex? You I just Vax. want to be really you sure. Vax. Because people make mistakes a lot. They do, they really we, do. I do, I know I do. I'm, I apologize. That wasn't a mistake, though. We look very similar. <laughs> Love you, Matt. All right. And we won't. I know you're talking yeah. to Vax. That was for Vax. Vax. Yeah. Which one? Well, oh, well. Trina can use his own hit dice to heal if you want to do that. Okay, then he healed himself while we were rested, but he's in the necklace so that we can fly if we have to. That's right? fine. Okay. So but yeah, so you can, go, you can go heal him up. Um, so Max, you move ahead. Yeah, I'm gonna. Okay, as they start the catching edge. up, and you hear them stepping down the stairs mm -hmm. behind you, you come up to the edge, and now what you see is a 25 foot circular, almost cylinder. There is a ceiling, maybe about five feet above you, mm -hmm. and nothing there. But what you do see is a about a three foot wide spiral staircase that just leads down oh, shit. and down, staircase and down, and you cannot see where it ends at the bottom. Is it a staircase where I'm forced to walk, or is it stairs on the walls and empty space down the center of it? Empty space down the center of it, and it's Wait. just it's just a, a two and a half, three foot wide staircase that goes along the edge, and that's all you have to like walk down. Uh, I'm going to float out above it and look down and look for traps down the cylinder. <laughs> okay. Why don't you tie tie, tie the, the endless rope to yourself so we can pull you up if you go on. He has wings. But they. 
Uh, they're only out for an hour, dear. 18. 18, okay. 18. okay. Yeah, As you, you kind of slowly drift down, keeping your wings, you kind of just hover further down, maybe incrementally 10 feet at a time, looking around, looking on the stairs. Don't notice anything trapped. It all seems pretty standard. Um, the stones are old, they're, they're you know, a little smooth at the edges, but were once kind of uh, you know, very, very rigid and, and square protrusions from the stone. Some of them are a little rubbed off by the beaches from what they're... At or near the bottom doorway, passage? Uh, as you get closer to the bottom, and yeah. you get about uh, roughly 100 feet down before, the, before you actually reach the bottom, but you begin to see below you, there are, right in the center of the, of the, the spiral downward, a cluster of four foot long uh, kind of deep brown or maroon colored iron spikes that are all just jutting upward in kind of slightly off kilter directions. Uh, and there is a very, very heavy uh, pile of splintered bones and long mummified dead corpses that are currently just kind of piled up at the base of these spikes. Some still impaled, uh, many of which have just slowly kind of rotted and fallen apart yeah. from o around them. Over the earring. Um, I didn't see any traps going down, but there is uh, some bloody spikes down here and some dead things, so uh, uh, Vex, dear, yes. uh, could you load everyone onto the carpet and get on your broom and go down and just float down to the center and leave the stairs alone? Of course. Does, does the the carpet can fit everybody? The carpet can carry six hundred pounds. How heavy? That's are you roughly both? four people or a grog, or oh, or eight hundred pounds. So it's, yeah, but that's like it's like it's like grog a, in one person. I'm north of four fifty, so yeah, like I'm a grog big. and maybe two people. And okay, oh, I'm gonna come so up I can get Scanlan. You currently have ten people traveling with you. <clears throat> so here's an interesting thing: we don't have an immovable bar anymore. We left those both outside. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's fine. Uh, let's... What's at the bottom of the stairs? I mean, can we drop people off and go back again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can come up for Pike, bring her down. We can just take a minute to... Or shuttle. Two. We can shuttle yeah, we can or, shuttle bus. or use, shuttle bus. use a rope. Or use a rope. Shut, shuttle, shuttle bus. bus. Shuttle it will do. Yeah. And there's, is it what, what around the spikes, or is there a safe portion of the floor? A safe landing point? Uh, there is a very, very, like, they kind of where the outer trim is of the stairway. Um, the stonework itself just travels around it, and then underneath the stairway, yeah. there is a small opening that leads into a further passageway. Uh, and it's, is it safe to walk into the passageway? Give me a sec. Pretty sure we should just take the stairs. Um, <laughs> Pretty sure we should just use that brazier and light it. I will avoid cardio at all costs. Investigating for traps for that passage down under the spikes. Yeah. Okay, I mean, just glancing it. around the, the archway. Yeah. It's not a closed doorway, it's just an archway. Right. And then a dark uh, tunnel beyond that uh, does not appear to be trapped. No. All right, best I can tell, it's okay. I'm not 100% sure, but there's dead people down here, so I just want you guys to float down the middle. Let's get this Let's done. Let's first. Okay. <laughs> I'll fly. I'm, game. I'm gonna grab Scanlan on the broom. You grab Pike. I'm shooting up, yeah. Okay, okay. and then we'll scoop take up Pike. the gnomes and frog down and then come back up. I kinda wanna move as fast as we can. Yeah? Yes. We got it? Okay. Did so we get everybody down? Wait, so you guys, so who's, who's doing what? Okay, you guys just okay. threw a bunch of stuff at me. Right I now. flew back up. <laughs> All right, you flew back we up. take the gnomes down. Yeah, I've got, I've got, I want Pike. I want Pike on okay. my broom. Okay. Uh, I take my little drug addled buddy, not that I know that, and I float him down and I plant the, the gnomes down together. Okay, so you have Scanlan, you have Pike. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. You guys enter the center area and begin coasting downward. You notice a faint blue glow above you in the ceiling. A little. As you glance up, you watch as a. Glyph begins to slow. Dispel magic. From Dispel magic. <laughs> From Scanlan. Scanlan. From Scanlan right now. Yeah. Okay. Have Scanlan go ahead and roll a, an like, ability check. I don't like the a what? Ability. An ability check. An ability check. Okay. I will admit I have no idea what I'm doing because. And I'm... for this, I would say because it's because you can't cast as a reaction, and this would technically be a reaction as it's already being triggered. I want to have you go ahead and roll an initiative check. Just. Is this roll. a spell attack a bonus? Huh? What? 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 Yeah, what ability check? What ability yeah. check? This would be a charisma, so it would be plus six, then plus two. So it's because it's Daryl. So it's plus eight to whatever you roll, but first I need you to go ahead and roll an initiative. Initiative check? Because on, his technically, what? technically you would not be able to do this. Yeah, this is not a reaction. Okay, you're waiting. All right. His charisma plus his proficiency oh, bonus. Uh, where's his. Not, not for the ability 19. check on spell magic. 19. 
That's uh, 17. So yes, go ahead and roll a d20 and add 8. D20 and add 8. Oh, that went four. That went four. Big money, no whammies! Uh, eight. 21. 21, okay. As he <laughs> shrieks upward and releases the spell, you watch as the glyph that was glowing Rock glyph! Fades. You don't have to turn on the blue light! Yes. <laughs> Rock glyph! Oh, 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 shit. Yes. I mean, come You on. don't have to give our bodies to the spikes! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Love you, Sam. Love you. That was good. That was good. That was good. That was good. Oh, it felt good. Some police up in here? Yeah. Yeah. I'm in the Rock glyph! <laughs> no. <laughs> Brought it all the way back for you. Okay. So, you guys manage to continue downward, <laughs> flying. Uh, you place both of the gnomes at the base, safely by the spikes. Oh man, I plant him down, I give him a big fat kiss right between the eyes. Oh, you fucking beautiful what monster. What was that? What was that? Sam? Scanlon? I have no idea. <laughs> it just looked dangerous, and I figured that's better safe than sorry. Do you think it's broken now? Can we get other people from. Sure, they'll be fine. <laughs> I fly <laughs> right away. Okay. Well done, Keep this train moving. Get on the carpet. Yeah. I grab Kima and okay. I bring Kima down. Okay. Grog and Allura can fit on the carpet, right? <clears throat> like just me. I, I think, think. she no, is whack our theme. If it's 800, 800 pounds. <laughs> what do you think? Me and Sonya? Or just you, me? You and one other person could probably go. Okay. Okay, then, oh God. Maybe, can you take when you fly back up? I'll go with you, because I'm, yeah. I'm fine. Oh, God. So, I have options. Is Kima down? Uh, you go ahead and begin to carry yeah. Kima down without an issue yet. Okay, I go back up and get Percy. Yeah. We have Grab Care, Kima. and yeah. Allura, and You, you said Kima. Uh, sorry, Allura. Okay, so you grab Allura, Allura down. bring her down below. I hope this is all right. Okay. I grab Percy on the broom. All right. And come down. Okay. Who else is left up? Top? I feel like it's gonna so wait. Down. There's like a, a they, I pause before we go down the stairs because I'm like, there was this blue light that happened before, and Scanlan made it stop. No, no, we saw. Okay, how do we not let that happen this time? If, if nothing happened, did we make it down and nothing happened? Uh, most of you made it down. I don't. Carrick has not yet come down. Who hasn't made it down? Um, have I made it down? Keyleth hasn't made it down nope. yet. I thought you already went down on the carpet. No. Nope. Grog hasn't made it down. So you've carried everybody planted? but Grog, Carrick, and Keyleth. Okay. I mean, whatever the time is needed. Yeah. Poof up, grab Keyleth, bring it down. D up. What's going on with the blue light? Uh, it doesn't seem to be it's done. having an effect right now. Just done right now. I just grabbed up oh, Carrick. Okay. Burned a dispel, didn't I? I marked it. Oh, Can you that. carry Carrick? Okay. Carrick's pretty heavy. I need you to make a strength check. Sure. <laughs> Best one ever, 21. <laughs> <laughs> You're so strong. Yeah. It's, a, You've been it's, a, it's a it's a it's a bit of a strain with the weight of his armor and you know getting getting up in his ears. Um, yes. Uh, versus your tiny, you know, half elf frame, but you do manage to yes uh, bring down without issue. The Raven Queen sends a regards. <sighs> oh, Greg. all the boys in this adventure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, this is Carrick's best day ever. <laughs> Somebody's got a coupon for a back massage. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Vox Machina. Welcome to Vox Machina. You seem tense. That's what we pay you in. Drink it. I owe you. <laughs> all right. Cats make biscuits. Sure we just killed ten make. minutes doing all that shit. Mm. Making pizza. Can you you have to say? Is it just me and Keyleth? Like a... Yeah, it's just no, the two of you up there right now. Do you want to ride the car? Uh, he, you... he brought Keyleth down, so it's just you. Oh, okay. I just uh, first I stand on the carpet. You get on the carpet. I say, lift. <laughs> the carpet takes you off the ground. You get a little, you have to take it and kind of get your. No, I lay down flat. Vex yeah. is like, sending not, me babies. Not like a pro. Just blew up. And I go and grab the edge of the carpet and I go, okay. And I try to go down. Okay. You go into a pseudo nose dive. It's thrilling and scary at the same moment. And you, as you're going up, Grog just goes past you. Um, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> and it just barely coasts past the spikes and lets you find on the side. Yay! It's, nice. It, it's about the speed of like of like the children's rides at like at Fantasyland at Disneyland, right? It's just like that. Mm. Nice yeah, it's okay. not super yeah. fast. Mr. Well, it's, yeah. The magic carpet can go about as fast as a person, especially this size. Like right. it, it, the smaller they are, the faster they are. This is a very big one, but not fast. that fast. All right, back does a barrel roll, heads back down, lands, and let's stop. 
moving yeah. forward. Yeah. Again. Do a barrel roll! Do a barrel roll! Do a barrel roll! All right, stealth, traps, still vigilant. Yeah. Indeed, vigilance. Uh, for stealth, it's a 28, and for uh, investigating for traps. Oh. Ooh! Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> That's a one, and I'm not going to use my luck on it. I love you. Alrighty. I'm not. Yeah. Seems clear. We're good. Okay. I am badass. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you guys uh, Wings. We have reached the bottom of the cylindrical chamber, you follow suit uh, one by one. Uh, which, by the way, just so I know going forward, what's the marching order right now? Uh, uh, backs. Uh, front. the front. I'm by Grog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. Grog, where are you at? Uh, I'll be behind the twins. All right, so. Uh, I'll also be. Um, I'll be behind Grog. Yeah, you Karen are. With Grog. Okay, Grog there's Karen, Karen Grog there. there. Percy, where are you at? Like um, another hen. I think I think probably uh, maybe if Scanlan and uh, oh. Scanlan and, and Pike are in front of me, and then I'm probably hanging back with Kima and Laura, just sort of ready to because I want to be at the just distance of anything. Right? Anyway. And trinkets. I can't see shit anyway. You can't see shit. The trinket is out now. Trinket's still in my necklace. Okay, there you go. <laughs> He's right. healing in the necklace. Okay. So Jeebus, so Jeebus, so Jeebus. So, uh, moving forward, following uh, Vax's lead. Um, Get out. That was pretty good. I'm just going to stay on the broom and just kind of very close to the ground, but not touching the ground. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm behind you. The, the hall is probably 20 feet wide, not 15 feet tall, as you push forward. Um, the walls are chiseled rather roughly, uh, and about 30 feet forward ahead of you, you can see it ends at a cross section of what looks like a very deep ravine, both above and below. There is a chasm, an underground chasm here that stretches both to the right and left, though you'd have to get to the very edge to kind of really see how far it goes. Um, it's a, about 60 feet across to the other side, and you can see what looks to be another entranceway to another hallway, and uh, there is a taut rope bridge bolted to each side uh, leading across. We should just use that. Totally. <laughs> you first. That was safe. <laughs> Jeez, we just blew so much time on that fucking stairwell. Guys, Shank. in Latin, Jehovah starts with an I. <laughs> <laughs> it's a leap of faith, a leap of faith. <laughs> um, you should have sent it to the Marx Brothers. Well, <laughs> He said chiseled rather rough immediately yeah. thought of Brad Pitt. Should we, how know. how long until your wings stop working? I don't working? know, 10 or 15, I guess. Zoinks. Zoinks. Okay, your wings went out before the battle and you took a long rest. Your wings are pretty much done now. Oh, I thought you said 30 minutes for the 30 wings? minutes to an hour, but then Yeah, I thought we were cutting it close, like it could be five or 10 minutes at this point. Between riding everyone up and down, no, I'm good. letting you know right now, <laughs> Mr. Already Flying Everywhere, your wings are about expended. All right. Should I stand on the ground? <laughs> it's up to you. Do you want to you keep flying until they're um, gone, or do you want to sit there? I'm going to fly to the other side of the bridge right now. <gasps> okay. Yeah. I'm going to go with him on my broom. Okay. Um, oh, dear. Hmm. Uh, so you get about five feet out before the wings oh. go. Yeah. <laughs> over, the, over nothing? Yeah. Looking down, you see darkness, and there's a few stalactites see, that come I throw out. a dagger at the other cast. side. I throw a dagger at the other side of the chasm. Oh. 60 feet sharpshooter into the side near the top. Whisper. Okay. This Go ahead and roll. This is on the broom. I was going to catch you. Make sure uh, if you're on the broom that you're actually over the bridge. As an attack? Oh, shit. You're attacking the, uh, well, just the like the wall above, above the wall or that's five the feet away. edge, like there's a cliff facing me, <laughs> yes. right? Yeah, right. Right. just at the rock wall. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get Twenty. Twenty, okay. The dagger hits the edge, and you appear right at the edge of the cliff. Okay. Yeah. You try and reach and grab, make a dexterity right. uh, saving throw. Come on. Twenty-two. Okay, yeah, so you grab and get up on the other side. Jesus! <laughs> Uh, Small like house the minute the wings disappear, you do that. You didn't okay. even really fall for a moment. Yeah. You just kind of um, Vex, you're floating across, and just it's just it feels strange uh, going across. There's some, there's no wind, but the broom is acting extremely wobbly, mm -hmm. and the way you normally control it and kind of maneuver around, it's it just you feel almost drunk, but you're not. Uh, you're like this is this is just not acting this is not right. properly. I'm gonna turn around and go back to the. Okay, so you yeah. head back. Oh good. All okay. right. Um, that was weird. It doesn't feel right. 
Okay, I'm going to grab onto the bridge. I'm going to test it. I'm going to step to see if it's real and checking it. Okay. You take your hands there, holding it, and you kind of put your foot out uh, onto the wood, and it's sturdy. Sturdy. It's seems strong. like it's, it's, it's going. Yep. <laughs> you bastard. Can I, uh, I go up to the edge of the, the rope bridge that Percy is now standing on. Yeah. I lean down and on the dirt, I cast Druidcraft. Can I craft some vines to kind of help reinforce the bridge? Uh, with Ooh. Druidcraft, you can create some small vines that wrap around it, and uh, it might help. help in some regard, but not a lot. Druidcraft is a very limited cantrip. Um, yeah. So I'm going to grab the one end of the infinite rope, and I'm going to hand the other hand of the infinite rope to someone who's staying. I'm going to. I think that I pose a, a good chance of getting across this safely. I'm going to make a run for it. Well, Are you not a like run. Literally, going to run. No, I'm going to walk oh. gingerly. So you're, not, you're going to make a walk for it. I'm tying the rope. <laughs> that may be one of the smartest things you've ever said. I don't actually have a retort for it on any level. <laughs> I, I don't know why. What is retort? Okay. It means if if I die, you win. That's a gun, I think. I'm going to tie uh, the infinite rope to myself and hand it off to Grog. Oh God, I'm handing it to Grog. Um, and I'm going to start gingerly stepping out into the in, onto the onto the bridge, being very careful and checking with each step that it's real and looking for weird glyphs or signs or anything out of the ordinary. Okay. Uh, yes. Make a dexterity yes. check. Um, as this happened, Scanlan sings, "Hey Percy, you're so fun. You're so fun. You blow my mind. Hey Percy. Hey Percy." Percy. <laughs> Hey, Percy, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind with your gun. With your gun. That would be, you'd be dead. <laughs> and then he gets a point of inspiration. Right. You get an inspiration. So you get, your, you get your D12 inspiration. D12 inspiration. Mercy, that was really nice. That was, Thank that was, you. Well, I, I feel like I, feel I have uncomfortable. the same Woody repartee as Sam Regal. Yes. I, I would stop there. <laughs> Woody, Woody repartee. Okay, okay. Okay. Now just smile and make the smile. Dexterity. Speak yes. Manhattan. Save. There's 30 saving throw. Okay. <laughs> That's a six. Uh, that's a. <laughs> I cannot I can't care about that one. <laughs> Twenty-two. It's really good. Um, all right. So you, as you start stepping out, you feel this kind of shift in the space, and you just grab onto the edges of the of the. I'm also uh, using my boots, and I'm yeah. gluing them to whatever that like like. Right. Yeah. And as you glue the boots there, that's really what solidifies you in place, and you're still there on the bridge without a problem. Is, are things just getting weird out here? Can, it just feels weird. You can't quite understand what's transpiring, but it just feels weird. Alara, it felt like almost I was drunk as I was flying across that. I Do don't you know? think it's drunk per se. It's just you're not used to flying in that direction. And she kind of points out towards the ravine, and you watch as Percy is kind of holding onto the ravine, feet solid. His hair is just up. <gasps> Gravity is flipped. It's flipped. Well, this would be fine. Uh, okay, I is is gravity Ooh. flipped? Uh, as you hear this conversation, it seems that way. Yeah. Uh, mm. I'm going to I'm going to spider climb. I'm just going to use my spider climb boots. Yep. You just and I'm going to make my way with the rope. You do totally so. fine. Make it across the way. The and kind of shivers a little bit, uh, or you know, kind of shifts beneath your feet, kind of being pulled upward from your weight. You guys watch as the bridge that was once taut is now kind of arcing up and following Percy as he moves across. His weight kind of pulling it upward. So crazy. Mm. That's cool. So can I try flying out there knowing the gravity shifted? Does it feel okay to fly out like that? Uh, as you fly out and kind of, you know, spin yourself underneath to, to respect it, yes, you do actually manage to fly, kind of essentially barrel roll across. Yeah. And uh, managed to make it across to meet your uh, brother without an issue. Oh, I didn't want to go all the way across. I just okay. wanted to test it so I could help bring other people across. Okay. It might be hard to. I mean, like we've got now a, a third rope. We can literally just clip people to the rope it's now. Like yeah. Pole dancing, but in space. <laughs> we can. We can. Down. We can yeah. use. We can use the rope we just we just made to, as a as a like as a clipped rappel rope now, can't we? Like that. That's that's the thing that we can do. Potentially. So, we want to up. If sure. everybody wants to try and, and cross, we can actually like we now have an unencumbered unencumbered uh, piece that we can use to, to move get people across. Oh, across like that the... scene, like that scene in Inception. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. No. Don't no, shout. That's, that's a bad idea, Grog. Um, you are very hefty, 
and the gravity turns upside There's down. There's probably spikes up there. Grog, did you see how I barrel rolled on my broom? Yeah, do I twist in the air? Yeah, you should just do the same thing on the carpet. Wait, what if he, what if he took the carpet and hung off the bottom of it on the first side, and then as he made his way over, he'd be all right? You know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah, I don't think Walk that's out. a bad Vax, idea. Vax and Keyleth, as you guys are having this conversation, you, something catches the corner of your eye and you watch something and you just go, just whiz past. Oh shit. Like Live from the it. bottom of the ring to the top. Just, like we what? saw that. We saw that. You saw something quickly. Just go back. Can I? Can I get a better look? Can I look can and see if I see it again? Try to figure out what we see. Yeah, the three of you guys make a perception check as you kind of come up to the edge and look. Oh shit. Twenty-six. Fourteen. Is this related to dragons? <laughs> this is not related to dragons. <laughs> then that is a twenty. Uh, Twenty-one. Twenty-six. Okay. Best we got. All right. So you. You're kind of seeing little things, uh, just Fuck. right out of out of the middle of the light. You can see just something shifting uh, above and below you. You guys have a little bit of view. You still can't quite see. Like like the the the, the length of your dark vision is too far for you to see what is below you or necessarily what's above. But can you... I, as a quick reaction, grab out like grab the rope bridge? Yeah. Okay. So you're, you're still off to the side, just holding onto the bridge. Grasping. Okay. Yeah. You are beginning to watch what looks to be figures, humanoid bodies. Oh, I have a theory. Just kind of tumbling past. One of them kind of hits the edge of the bridge and keeps spinning off and just disappears in the darkness. I, I have, I have awesome. a weird theory. I'm going to grab. Um, what do I have that I can do this with? Yes, um, Percy. But they look like spirits falling upwards. Um, oh, no, you watch a few bodies. more. You watch a couple more go by, and they are nearly skeletal bodies falling up, I'm falling upward. But as they watch a couple more go by, they're limp, somewhat, but still moving oh, as they no. scoot past. Oh, uh, Jesus! Let's just get across here. I'm gonna Shall use we? divine sense now. Just okay. To Confirm. Okay. Uh, you have to wait about a minute or so before one comes close enough to hit the sense, but there is an undead energy that passes past. And both you and Care both kind of have this moment from across the uh, the ravine from each other seeing this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to try and. That's me to you, man. Try, try and clock them, see if it's the same bodies over and over again, if it's an infinite loop of falling. An oh, infinite loop of falling? Okay, so I, I want to get a good look at oh, one of them as they go by and see. Okay, it's a gift. Gif. <laughs> Six seconds. So, okay. so, okay. oh, oh. Three or four more stumble past. <laughs> and they're getting more and more, more, and more uh, rapid, times. and we they're, probably they're different sizes. Uh, they don't, do not appear go. to be the go, same go, bodies. Go, 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 yeah. go, go, go. I, I pick up Pike and try to barrel roll across. Okay, you got you barrel roll across. Um, as you're making it across, three more come tumbling up. Two of them too far away, but one of them does kind of reach out with his arms as it tumbles past you and kind of swaths up to try and grab what? you. Um, I need Fuck you to make that? make an acrobatics check. <clears throat> you got this. Oh, you got such a bonus. Come on, I know, I know, I know. girl. Such a bonus, huh? Such a bonus. Oh, Look at Matt's face. No. Look at his face. <laughs> Oh fuck no! Who no, but come wait. on. Such a bonus. Um, no, come Does on. She, Such a bonus. Did they both make that roll? She's the one driving the broom. She's having to try She's and maneuver. Running, yeah. I, I was, I was about to interject, and I know that I didn't make that fast enough. But at no. some point, I would already like to be moving to interject in this. Right. You, as you're watching them start going across, you get a step out onto the bridge. I'm not going onto the. I'm, I'm pulling out my gun and trying to, and like I see. Oh the, wait, doesn't wait? Pike has a thing that it like. She can help people with their, their. Um, War God's blessing. War God's blessing. That's, That's an attack roll. Yeah. Damn it! <laughs> Sorry, War Gods don't help you survive. They help you kill shit. They do, do what you're gonna do. I was, I, was, so, I was gonna start skeet shooting at some point. So okay. well, I understood. I yeah. But before we there. get to that, yeah. Finish. Um. So the creature grabs you, and essentially grapples you in the moment. Yeah. And as that happens, the momentum of pulling you up causes the broom to kind of shift out of whack, and you begin to careen in a slight circle. Um, I need you and Pike to both make strength saving throws. Oh. 
How far away is this from? The new one? They're they're about thirty feet from you. What about from okay, Keyless? Yeah. About the same. Cause you guys are about. You guys are on the other side of the ravine. Do hers. He's got a plus four on strength. Plus four. Correct. On Nine for me. Nine for you. Thirteen for Pike. Thirteen for Pike. Yeah. Um. So. Okay. So Pike's on the broom with you. Yeah. You get grabbed and yanked off the broom. Oh. Um. Pike manages to hold the broom, but. Currently, Pike was not the current driver of it, and so she's clutching a broom that is just floating to gravity. You watch as both Vex, sorry, uh, yeah, both Pike and Vex go from careening off to tumbling upward into yeah. the darkness above. Are they both attached to the broom? Uh, no, Vex is pulled off the broom. But she's, but she's still tethered. Uh, she's still tethered, tethered. yeah. So, 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 both, so both of them are just kind of like, <laughs> kind of spinning yeah, like in this to get emotion out. Action? Bolo. Uh, right right now, action? the two of you can make an action. All right, my first action, I'm. Trying, I was just pulling to try and skeep shoot and do a, a sharp shoot with bad news to hit the the the, the undead. undead that had grappled her. Go for it and try and and I assume I have to spend a spend a grit to to get him to let go, to shove him off. Uh, to shove him off, okay. Um, you are because of the nature of the rapid movement, you have disadvantage on this attack. Okay. You still have, have that that inspiration. Right? I still have that D twelve inspiration. Hey, may uh, I have like Bigby's hand go whoop. Matt. Yes. Watching this, uh, I'm gonna pull Whisper out and wait and watch for to see my sister falling through the air. And if I see her falling, I'm gonna throw the dagger at her. Okay, she's falling. Just but well, this, I mean, this down this or up? Up. I'm I'm watching him and I'm watching her. And if she goes, okay. How far away is she from me? Uh, right now she's about. She was about 30 feet out from the ravine and now something upward. She's about 50 feet from you. 50 feet from me? 50 feet from you, yeah. Because he's on the other oh, side, you correct? Bamf out. Yes. Oh, for fuck's do sake. Do really? Nothing? Worse than nothing. Be able to do anything. Misfire? Misfire. 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 All right. That's not true. Keyleth's going to go. Fuck. Seeing Percy and Misfire, Keyleth is going to grab a grasping vine. <clears throat> fucking clear it right now. Just, um, okay. On the side of the wall, and she's going to go for that broom. Okay. Because both Pike and her are still grabbing onto the broom, yeah? I'm throwing, yeah. and I'm throwing Whisper at Vex. I'm okay. doing it. The uh, the vine, unfortunately, only has a range of 30 feet. She's not, you said she was 30 feet She's away. 30 feet out of, like, in the center of the ravine, yeah. and is now 15, 20 feet up in Can the air. Can she not hit the wall? Get a vine off the side of the wall? On the opposite bring her side? Down? Maybe. I am I've got like a 60 foot range to the spell the plus a 30 feet from the grass holding, vine, oh, right? Are they, are or is it 30 and 30? No, we're not tethered. They, they just I, fucking went for it. I thought you were still grabbing, grabbing onto the side of the broom. I'm tethered to the broom. To the broom. To the broom. Oh, you're Pike tethered to the broom? Grabbing onto yeah, that's the what I mean. Yeah. Don't whisper because the broom won't be able to support me, you, and Pike. I'm going for the you're broom. You're broke to the broom. All right, never mind. Duh, come on, All right. man. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to work all the, the uh -huh. letting you guys do a lot of things That's really insane. fast. Yeah. I have six I'm, more moves I'm I want to make trying, right I'm now. working with you, so please bear with me on this. What? Yes, yes, what? yes. Grasping yes. yes. mine, what? I know. what? You're like a loan officer. I wouldn't recommend doing that. I won't give you a chance to even do it. <laughs> no, no, don't taunt the DM. I want to um, sell you this house, but there's some things we need to go over. So. Side the wall. Side the wall. Uh, I'm gonna ask you, Keyleth, yeah? to go ahead and make a, make just a general dexterity check. Oh shit! Just general dex? Yes. What? This is how fast you're able to chant a spell, which requires an incantation and the release of the spell's effect, thus summoning the vine and causing it to lash out. This is just a general, a base DC. I need you to go ahead and just roll and add your dexterity modifier. You got it. You got it. I love this. you. I love you. Ooh, that was a natural 19. So that is plus my dex, which is plus two. So 21. Okay, with that, don't a hunt, vine. Don't hunt, don't what hunt. What are you doing? Stop. Stop. I mean, I mean, for God's sake. I mean, oh. <laughs> so as as More bad news misfires, you watch as the front of it just poof, this burst of black smoke uh, uh, bursts outward, and this look of, of utter horror on Percy's face. Keyleth oh. rushes out and grabbing the edge of the. Um, of the rope bridge oh. to get enough of a reach out there. You watch as her hair lifts up and part of her body begins to just drift oh upward, but she God. holds on and reaches out with the staff and using the strength of her force of will, at the edge of the stone above the ravine, cracks open 
and suddenly you watch where there is no life. A piercing flash of dark green shoots outward. A vine, freshly grown from the edge of this of the stonework, reaches out and grabs, wrapping around the broom itself and holding it taut. You watch as the vine and the entire group kind of shifts upward. Um, you're suddenly pulled, you're still grappled by this, this undead zombie-like corpse, and Pike is currently clutching onto the broom as hard as she can as you both impact at the end. Um, with your weight and the creature's weight, I now get to see if the vine holds. Well, not the vine. The vine magically holds. It's the 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 chain that attaches you to the broom. Holy shit! Oh, Jesus! Holy shit! Uh, yeah. Okay. So that holds. Oh, <laughs> it goes taut. You're held there. The creature is still clutching you right now. And are my I, arms restrained? Uh, your arms are held to. Yeah. You're like. <clears throat> Uh, actually, actually, because um, you're still held there, I want you to go ahead and make another acrobatics check. Sturges and doingans. Sturges and doingans. <laughs> Holy fuck! Acrobatics. That's Pike. Your acrobatics. Acrobatics. acrobatics uh, Twenty-five. Twenty-five. So it does not make. It does not progress into restraint. Okay. You're just still grappled, still holding on to you. Okay. But you manage to swiggle out of its grasp, its grasp as it's trying to kind of pull you in, and it's starting to try and like bite into you. Oh and God! As you glance upward, now that you're drifting, kind of dangling, roughly 60 feet up, you look up and you can see what is the top of the ravine, and it is a writhing mess of hundreds and hundreds oh, of undead corpses my Lord. that are all reaching out for you. They're different boned claws, all extended, like. <sighs> Trying to just pull you towards them into empty air as you dangle, looking up into that. This is fine. My God. Everything's okay. Everything's fine, you guys. At which point, uh, the vine uh, pulls the broom, oh uh, pi uh, Pike, you, and the creature up towards the edge of the wall. So you're still 30 feet up, but you're all slamming to the side of the wall now, and the vine is just holding the broom taut against the edge of the rock. Can I Sorry. take out? No, I love you. You're amazing. <laughs> um, can I just take out? I just have a dagger. Can I like pull out my dagger and like try to jam it up into the zombies like under his chin? Go for it. Uh, it's going to attempt to, to bite attack you, by the way. Okay. Uh, which it does not do with the two. What do I add? Just getting your armor. It's like gnawing <laughs> on the leather. Uh, oh, it's all zombie drooly. <laughs> no more, no more, no more. I am really bad at regular attacks. What do I add to this? <laughs> you add your dexterity. Okay, okay. Oh, that's and good. And your proficiency modifier. Okay, so that's. So it'd be plus 10, I think. So 20. Okay, yeah, so you jam it with the dagger. Go ahead and roll damage. So it's, pl it's 1d4 plus your dexterity modifier. Oh, plus my dick. Oh, I didn't roll 20. I rolled a. a it's, a it's a d4 plus 5, is what you're rolling okay. for damage. Um, 3 plus eight, 5 is 8. 8. Okay, damage. so 8 damage. You jam the dagger up into its kind of jaw and throat and it kind of. <laughs> and slaps it out of the way. You can see it's, it's damaged, but it's still holding on. Um, the creature is now like. Grabbing onto you and slamming what you is, into the what wall. What is Pike Best doing? Can. Can, is she just holding Pike is just the holding broom onto the broom right now for dear life. Um, yeah. She is going to attempt to uh, actually. What she would do in this moment would be turn undead. Because that's what clerics do. That's what clerics do. I didn't even and see that spell. That's not a spell. It's, it's a channel divinity ability. Oh shit! Yeah. Yeah, it's channel divinity, but yeah. I think it's it's. I couldn't do it from the edge of the pit. No, it's thirty feet. Yeah, you have to be closer from there. Keep fighting, keep smiling. Okay, so it has to make it saving throw versus your DC, which it does not make. So you look as you look over, sure. and the zombie's biting at you, and you're currently <gasps> trying to jam jam at it. Pike is holding onto the broom, grabs the symbol of Saren Ray from around her neck, and looks up. And just closes her eyes for a second, and as they flash open again, there's no pupils, just this white, bright, vibrant, radiant eyes. This kind of small shockwave bursts off her, and you watch as the zombie goes and just turns into ash and disintegrates, its body just tumbling in chunks and pieces up into the ravine above you. Oh, wait, so I would look down at Pike. Yes, and then up at where the zombie went, and Pike is below you, still holding onto the broom. You're amazing! That was amazing! High level turn on this. Was <laughs> How do we get down? Up? How do I don't know. Can you lift? Oh, I am holding on, man. What do we? Can you? Can, Where's the carpet? It? Where's the carpet? Where's the carpet? The carpet's carpet. not what we need. I'm going to. I'm, is there? It's a bonus action. A few right more for, corpses start the, uh, tumbling geez. up. The rope. Uh, the 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 rope 
that is currently tied at the other end of the ravine where they're currently, like, they're currently above us, right? Uh, yes. They're about 30 feet above you guys on the opposite side. I'm going to try and reverse repel with the rope okay. at the other end of the endless rope up also, to Also, as a okay. bonus action, I can um, switch the direction of the vine to lash out, lash out at the same creature um, as a bonus action. So can I, like, like grasp a vine and kind of hand them off and stair step them down? No, the, the, the vine the is vines? attached, like at a base. Mm -hmm. It's almost like it grew out of the ground. Uh huh. So what what grasping the vine allows you to do is you can wherever it's based down, it pulls it to it. Right. I'm, it just says until the spell ends, you can direct the vine to lash out at the same creature on my bonus turn. So it's right. Like it, it, so, but what, it doesn't do damage. What it does is it just grasps and pulls towards it. So what you can do place. is each turn you can change the target. If you change the target, it's going to release the broom and they're both going to tumble. I don't want to do that. I'm, but I can't change the no. the origin of the vine. Not without casting I'm a taking, spell again. I'm taking. I'm, I'm okay. going to try and reverse. I'm going to reverse Batman. Okay. So you start reverse repelling up the side. What's everyone else doing? Where's Grog in the flying carpet? Uh, Grog, Carrick, and Keyleth are all still on the other side with Kima and Allura. They're all on the other side of the ravine. Get still. off the rug! I mean, get off the rug! Get I'm, off the rug now, please! The rug's I'm not on the rug! Uh, aren't, isn't anyone on the rug? No. no. Where no. is? That's why I asked. No, the, the rug is still with them. It's on the other side. The rug has Back come where across. Back where it was. Yes. It is not Nobody's taking the rug across. It's just, to, it's just, just you guys. The rug's, the rug's a helpless. terrible idea right now. Anyway. Look, I can't get on the rug. So one of you lighter people, will you go get those two, please? The rug, the reverse. Oh, I'm just. I'm heading. My, I'm going there super fucking fast. Okay, so you repel up the side. Um, while they're holding on there, one more corpse kind of tumbles up past. Uh, it's going to attempt. I'm gonna. To, can I? With. No, I can't do that. I'm like, hey, Grog, I'm like you're, you're floating, throw basically. It you after you throw it. So if, if you hit basically, I'm like, grab it. I'm like falling uh, and just being held onto a broom that's being house. held onto Hold on, the uh, Right now, you could try and if you were to try and take a shot, <laughs> yeah. uh, you could try. It would be a disadvantage for all your attacks. I'm gonna try to any any zombies or undead that come near us. I'm gonna try oh, to God. shoot them and like at least ricochet and get okay. them like well, one, flipping. One comes tumbling past. What are you doing, Carrot? If nobody else on this side is getting on this carpet, then I will. Okay, so Carrot hops on the carpet Can and it begins I to get lift on up it off as the ground. Well and still maintain the concentration yeah. on that grasping vine. Now, yeah. Why would you do that? Because you got to put two people on that carpet. What? We're trying to put them on the carpet, right? No, 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 that's separate from me. If the weight is, you're a thousand pounds or whatever the fuck. They can hold is. four or five people. A lot of okay. people can get on it. It's light people. It's 600, Good 600. Deal. I'm trying to hold the concentration on their grasping vine so they don't get fucked. Right, right. Yeah, I'm just making sure we have enough room. And try and get, get a cat. So I'm gonna get on the carpet. So I'll, I'll you know if you get hit by something that falls. That's true. All right, so it's Carrick and Keyleth both but on there, heading up this way. Um, Allura. Oh my God. Oh, hang on, I'm not coming. Fly. Yeah, no. That's the <laughs> thing. Percy's on his way to save us, so you guys just try to hold on or, to that and carpet. And get across because we need people to pull yeah. us back. Also, grasping vines on a concentration spell. It's a bonus action, and no, no, nope, it's no, a concentration spell. Uh, Allura, watching this happen, uh, grabs Kima and dimension doors across <laughs> to the other side, sets Kima aside, and just stays there, kind of waiting carefully. Nice. Does she does have could, dimension door. He does. He could He's, do it for he can himself. Go one way. So, and one other person of equal size. Yeah. Which is only Pike. And Kima, technically, but Kima's already made it across. That sucks, because. Scanlan could have taken Kima. Scanlan also has a plan. If you guys are about to really fucking die, he's going to make these right. All right, so you're just waiting. Carrick and, and Keyleth are going across. Are you guys going just directly across? Or are you going towards Vex and? I'm going. I'm aiming. Well, if they were to fall, I'm heading wherever below that is. Okay. Toward them to offer support if they lose it. Um, I'm okay. also ready to turn undead if a big cluster of these things come towards us. Nice. Okay. I'm maintaining concentration while floating next to Kara on the carpet. All right, so you guys, as the carpet heads out, you, uh, hearing the conversation before Carrick, you barrel roll the carpet and begin heading upward to float underneath yes. where uh, Pike and Vex will be. As you begin heading upward, it's funny you mention that, um, what were singular bodies tumbling upward are now Groupings, oh, four or five, almost chained together, like these small balls of just limbs and bones and gnashing zombified teeth, begin just <laughs> upward. 
Um, one of them slams into the uh, the bridge and poosh, kind of scatters out, sending a number of bodies kind of just spinning outward, broken arms and limbs from the impact. But the bridge itself kind of cracks a bit, and you watch as the center of it is still being held by a rope, but it is currently not really walkable without holding the rope to get across. You can use the rope just to steady yourself on the on yeah. the on the carpet. Um, one of these clusters starts making its way upwards towards where the carpet is. Um, oh, fuck. How far are they from can me? I, can I use, can I, if I'm steering the carpet, can I dodge away from this? Because even if I turn it, they will have velocity. Correct. You have not driven a magic carpet before. Um, I would ask you to go ahead and, uh, let's see, for this, Make an intelligence Jesus check. This is my co-pilot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Go ahead and make an intelligence check. Just a straight d20 plus your intelligence modifier. The first fucking character I make where I lowball intelligence. <laughs> oh, um. I know that's that. That, that is in not just a good straight. Well, plus your modifier, whatever that is. Like my proficiency modifier? Oh, your, your, your intelligence modifier. Oh, yeah, no, that's an eight. <laughs> no, that okay, works. so moving this across, um, you're basically watching this thing ca- just come careening upwards and you're trying to shift out of the way to maintain momentum and have this not impact you, but both of the nerves of what's happening, uh, the Unfamiliarity with the change in you know with gravity and not running a, a carpet before, you move out of the way just as it slams into the upper corner, causing the carpet to uh, shift and quake. Oh man! Um, can can I push Caleb hard enough to get her to the other side? Uh, you guys were heading upward, so if you were to kick her off, she, she would, would probably still arc upward at this point. You guys are essentially, okay. in, theoretic, in, theory, in theory, you're below the ravine if this is normal gravity. How, how close are we to... You guys are about, and, you guys are about 30 feet sorry, across, because the, the movement speed of the carpet is, is, if I recall from what I told you, right, it was 30 feet? Yeah. So we're not close to Pike and Vex. Not yet, you're halfway I, there. The second my my feet hit, just so you know, the second my feet hit the stone of the upper, of the upper wall, yeah. I'm gonna hold on. I'm, I no longer have to repose. I've got the spider. I'm gonna double dash towards them with the rope. I'm like not even. Yeah. It's like it's. So at, at, as they get hit, Percy has just made it up the wall to you and Pike, and it's if just got to the. Side. I'm just tying them to the rope. I'm if just Care, right, double dash got you there. Yeah, got me there. If Care's kicking me off, I'm reaching for Pike in the broom and still trying to maintain concentration while trying to reach for those guys. Okay. Well, first and foremost, uh, first and foremost. <laughs> Uh, oh man, this got really complicated. Doesn't it? Okay, I love it. I love it. It's great. Um, I okay. I would like both Care and Keyleth to uh, roll strength saving throws to maintain hold on the carpet. How far are they from me? They're about right now 35, 40 feet. Uh, you get a plus three, by the way. Yes, you both. You, I do. Yes, you do. Yep. Yep. From being just near him. That's awesome. He's just so, the strength saving. He's throw. so awesome that when you're near him, so you awesome. get him a paladins, man. And I'm on the very edge. Hey. Yeah. As close as I can get, right? Fourteen. Yes. Fourteen. Okay. Care. Uh, twenty-three. Woo! You both maintain your grip oh, on yeah. the carpet. <laughs> uh. uh, uh. I will say for the sake of this, Keyleth, make a concentration check. Yeah, sure. Because yep. it's just, it's... Also, I have my advantage because of Warcaster, yeah? Yes, you do. Oh. Um, that's a, uh, that one's Cox. You just need to beat a 10. Okay, yeah, yeah. I beat that 10 with a Yeah, so you maintain six. concentration, maintain hold of the carpet. The carpet writes itself, the corpses go spinning upward into the abyss above. Um, so the carpet is now, has now spent the rest of its turn getting into position to guard you and Pike just in case it's necessary. Oh my god. Um, so... You guys are in place. Percy, you've tied the rope I've to tied them. Vex. I'm holding on to everybody, and I just have been yelling, pull! What? I've got them on the rope! Pull the rope down! That's you. That's you, and who else is on that side of the... Uh, right now it's Kima and Allura as well. Yeah, I'll just as many people who can just start running out that way. You guys all grab oh. the rope that's currently affixed to, to, to mm-hmm. Percy. You've been, hopefully you've been holding this whole time. 
I'm, I'm, I'm using I'm the other one as a rope. There's okay. so much going on. <laughs> I'm, I'm using enough. my my, uh, my spider walk ability to actually like just maintain everything and just keep everything as and like keep an eye out and just try and safety spot everything. Okay. Um, so you go ahead and start pulling the rope. Uh, Kima and Allura help out. Uh, with Allura's not being much aid, unfortunately, but Kima is. Um, and if we're technically yeah. below them, I'll just fly the carpet up Maybe towards we're really them no and notice. elevator them up if I can get below. Okay, cool. Um, so now we have Carrick and Keyleth. Uh, Keyleth, are you releasing the vine? Because it's currently what's holding them against the stone wall. Are they? Are you grabbing onto the carpet? Uh, they, yeah. bo they both have ropes uh, they're grabbing onto from Percy, and they're being pulled below. And I, I let go. Check. I let go, and can I switch to a gust cantrip to try and push us down? Gust cantrip is not going to be strong enough to push any one of your weight. Down. Okay. Can cantrips are very simple. Mm -hmm. I rolled a 19, so 21. 21, good. So between you and and uh, uh, Kima, you both begin just hand over hand pulling the rope as it's kind of you know taut up against the edge and upward. Uh, Vex, Pike, you uh, both begin <laughs> being pulled upwards and uh, care. You're kind of lifting with Kila, keeping that source. You guys get right to the very edge. Uh, you look down as you see this one cluster of what looks to be maybe 20 or so bodies comes up, not as a ball, but what looks to be almost like a giant skeletal hand made of smaller corpses is tumbling upward and reaching its outstretched large, maybe 15 foot wide grasp towards this carpet. Oh my I, god. I, I turn, I, I, I do channel divinity on that ship. Okay. Uh, so what is your, what is your uh, save DC for your spell DC? Um, that is, what is it? here. Grog's still on the other side. And yeah. Scanlan. Oh, no, this is perfect. 14. 14, okay. No, I'm pretty sure that's right. Uh, can, can, uh... Hold on, just a second, real fast. Uh, so for your channel divinity here, uh, it's eight plus your proficiency bonus, plus your charisma modifier. So, so eight plus, that'd be seven plus, yeah, that's right. 15? One, uh, it was the one. 14. Columbus. What's your proficiency no, about? Yeah, you're right, you're right, 15. 15, yeah. All right, cool. So with that... Come on. This is a really cool setup, Matt, though. <laughs> it's, it's really awesome. It's really fucking badass. It's a pain in our ass, but it's really awesome. It's really cool. It's really no, you're dope. you're painting a the picture. The visual of it is amazing. Yeah, I'm enjoying like this quite Dead a bit. bodies falling to Skeletal the ceiling. Skeletal hands. You know, reaching up, yeah. No, this is cool. Okay, so. Uh, this is definitely a Brendan Fraser movie. Oh <gasps> yes, yeah, for sure. <laughs> There's like a, it's like a, it's got a hoo ha. It's got a, it's got okay, a, so sure, the the as this giant skeletal hand reaches upwards to basically <laughs> scoop up the entirety of the cluster, everyone gathered right at the edge of this ravine, the carpet, kind of pushing them inward. It's almost going to sandwich the party into the palm of this. <gasps> um, you watch as uh, Kara clutching the edge. Of the uh, of, of the carpet, reaches up from beneath his armor and grabs his own holy symbol, clutches it firm in his grasp, and looks upward, shouting uh, a whispered word that doesn't reach anybody's ears, but the ones that it's intended for. And as it does, you watch as a piercing bit of light jettisons in an upward uh, or a downward direction from your perspective. Um, towards this hand, and as it reaches out, its outstretched zombie fingers. It bursts, and as it does, the hand is scattered outward in a small shock wave. All the bodies, once linked, are now sent into separate, disparate spinning corpses that all kind of reach out helplessly as they all go scattering past, upward, and disappearing into the ravine above. Holy crap. Yeah. With that final push, you all get down onto the opposite side of the ravine, safe and sound. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah! I'm Sans. so sorry. I'm so sorry. I grab you and give you a big kiss. <laughs> A big, sexy, still tied up make out kiss. Say, hey! Well done not passing out this time! Hey, baby. Good for you! Thanks for saving me, though. Uh, you know. You. Grog and Scanlan go waving from the other side of the ravine. <laughs> I untie the. I untie the. 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 the, the broom and the. Broom don't, and the don't, yeah. don't untie it all. I, I, no, I we're like going being slow. Yeah, no. yeah. And I go over to Percy and I say, smitten. 
smitten. I slowly start shoving Keyleth back towards the ravine. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's okay, okay. Thank you. So Scanlan's arms uh, crossed, and he's still kind of his eyes are very wide, and he's kind of looking around. No, Scanlan's with Grog. Yeah, I know. Yeah. This is the Grog. Yeah, we're just kind of watching the fucking show. So, uh, what do you think? I think we just leave him. Yeah, you're right. Let's go. Yeah. You watch as Scanlan and Grog turn around and start walking back from where you guys came. Uh, no. ha hand no. around Carrick's neck, blame them. pulling him in. Thank, thank you, thank you, fucking thank that, you. Uh, that uh, wow. <laughs> so this is just pretty much a Tuesday for you guys, right? No. It's more no, of a this Thursday. Is pretty... <laughs> <laughs> this is a Thursday, man. This is a Thursday. I give Kara a big hug. Tuesdays Thank are pretty you. Chill. Saved the day. A giant impact is behind you. Another sphere of these corpses slams into the bridge, causing it to snap and oh, go limp, me, now buddy. hanging against the upper portion of the ravine. Well, okay, how are we going to get the last of these kids? This, there's still a rope. Well, I had a question. So like, I take one of my five empty jugs out of the bag of holding, and yeah. I go to the edge, and like while they were up there doing all that shit, I look down and I just like throw it straight down as hard as I can. Does it immediately go whoop? Yep. Upwards. That's a bit of an arc. Oh, 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 wait, wait, You want to pee, don't you? What? I, I, I see I see him yeah. do that, and I grab just whatever, some, some a rock or something. I try to throw it straight across. Okay, go ahead and make a strength check. Because it should fall at first, but That's if this is 50-50, it'll fall go, and then fall the other way, and it'll yeah. go right across. But I would, right. If you did a jump, you would go boom. Right. So um, I've got a great as idea. You do it, it like goes down. Angry Birds. And arc so stuff get the uh, arc right. Well, this is this is. I've got a great idea. You grab the end of the rope that's still tied of our endless rope. Uh huh. On the count of three. I've just been holding it. Scanlan's gonna Scanlan's gonna jump on your back. On the count of three, they're gonna make a running jump, and we're gonna run all of us holding like a giant game of tug of war, and just see if we can pull them across like a kite. I will pull you all into the chasm. I thought everyone was over. No, we saw no, two. Scanlan and Grog. Son of a bitch. All right. Well, if you tie yourself to the rope, too, no matter what, we'll be able to pull him in. Yeah, so you'll at least be tethered. Okay. Can't somebody fly the carpet back over and then, like, can't Pike fly it back over and then she and Scanlan can bamp over and then I can just try and make it across well, the carpet? Well, I could, I could go over on the fucking broom again, no. dear lord. No. Uh, uh, how about the bodies? Are they still flying? They're still going past. There's like little singular ones here and then every now and then like a cluster. Grog, the thing can is, you, like can you put Grog in the necklace and bring him over. Grog, can you backpack Scanlan? Yeah. I'm a backpack. Yeah, and, okay. and then what? Um, and jump really hard. No. Chain of return? And we pull? Chain of returning is the, uh, what was the range on that? 40 feet, or is it 60 feet? It is somewhere. I got a crazy idea. Doesn't have a range. What? Uh, I want to say we have it set at a 30 foot range, but. Sure. Big weapon. I'm, I'm down with that, 30 feet. Are you attaching it to your hammer? No, I'm I'm not attuned to that. I've got the I've got the little hammer. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, oh, sorry, the hammer. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, that has a that has a, a furthest range of sixty feet. How far across the cavern is this thing? Like? Sixty, 60 feet. feet. Can you attach the chain of returning to the hammer? You mean I can essentially attach it to anything? I think. I feel yeah. like I could go back over. <laughs> Sorry. I know I rolled a one though, you guys. I mean, it was real shit. How, but many, how, how much time? How much time has it been? How has passed? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'd say you've probably had a good minute, a little over a minute since the very beginning of this endeavor. Probably a little longer. Um, Given like time to like look over it since it happened and uh, you know converse about what to do. It's my grasp. So if we have a rope tied to her, yeah, we could bring her back if something bad happens. Totally. I'm totally. okay with that. All right. Cool. Attach a rope to me. I bamf trink it out, so my necklace mm -hmm. is empty. Oh wait. And then I go. I take off across the chest. Well, we have we have two of. Them. Are we just gonna do it twice? Scanlan can get on the broom. Oh, and Angron can get in the and necklace. Angron can get the necklace. That's very so clever. I want to fly back over. All right, so. Heart pounding. Yep. This was Trink terrifying. It. I'm sorry, buddy. <sighs> you can jump onto the broom, steal yourself. I'm also gonna. I'm gonna anchor. I'm gonna anchor this rope also to trinket. So so there's like yeah. extra weight. Yeah. yeah. Trinket happily allows that anchoring to happen. All right. You guys feed it. I'm gonna be ready. You barrel roll across. Yeah. Um, 
across the way. I want to try to time <laughs> it so I like avoid that as many yeah. as I can. Um, there are there's a small cluster that comes by and a couple of minor, uh, individual bodies on this side can make two dexterity saving throws. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Tie it, tie it, tie it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Tie it, tie it. Natural 20! Hey! Hey, what's hey. up? And that one's totally fine too. That's a 29. <laughs> You just whip past out of the grasp. You hear the clacking of bones. And I think with a natural twenty, you like you steal upwards. jewelry from one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, that's a nice you. necklace. Like, you give like a Top Gun high five. Exactly. Or, like, yeah. a very, like, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Lick your so, hand and spank some. Make it across yeah. the other yeah. side. Yeah. There button. you see yeah. Yeah. Scanlan waiting, arms crossed, foot tapping at an accelerator rate. Um, Grog waiting, like finding another vase to throw, and all of a sudden you watch as Vex comes just screening across and eventually writes herself back up to your position, her hair kind of falling normally flat to her side. Oh, hey guys, and I give her a big high five! You you're don't, because yeah, you're, 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 you're on the other side. What? No, she, I'm she, still trying made to one. get She made it one way, she's got to come Man, back to the other Keyleth, way. Man, Keyleth, you are. Uh... Keyleth, high fives from across the ravine. High there you go. Wait a you minute. Are you saying this story only exists in our imagination? <laughs> hey, Grog. Uh, Do you trust me? No. <laughs> Do you want to get in this necklace? Sure. He knows. Uh, modify memory. <laughs> Who are Back to the Matrix. Um, and then Scanlan. So, Grog, you, a familiar sensation once you're back in that chamber I described to you once before. Yeah. It's like a nice um, cocktail. And Scanlan, like, <laughs> I want him to, like, like affix himself to this broom, like really tie him on you. here. Uh, you go to, to get to the broom, and he just latches onto the side of your leg, and he's like, "I'm fine here." I still You're tie good. some rope around. Okay. I've got the rope of entanglement. I can, I can okay, yeah, at least wrap us up. And <laughs> you actually <laughs> magically restrain him with the rope of entanglement. Uh, like, hey! And so he's good. kind of bound in a spiral fashion to the actual broom as you're on top of it. Bring it across the other side. Okay. Uh, at this point, you watch as. Uh, another corpse kind of tumbles past and kind of looking downward. Uh, not a hand, but what looks like a giant face emerging, built of various pieces of zombified corpses and bones. Oh, kind of the mouth kind of opening, almost to try and swallow you as you zoom over that way. Make two dexterity saving throws. The first is against the singular zombie, lower DC. Go is she within it. 30 feet of me at this point? Uh, she will be in just a moment. So her and Pike. First one she's not, second one she will be. It's her and Pike? No, it's no, her and Scanlan. The her first Scanlan. one is, I add my dexterity? Correct. Or you, whatever your dexterity saving throw is, which I think. Okay, that's a 26. First one, is it past that an issue? And that's when you look down and notice the giant face coming up. <gasps> second deck. Wait, 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 she's at 30 feet of me now? She's now getting into 30 I'm feet. I'm blessing her. Okay. Scanlan is also inspiring her. Okay, that's yeah. good, that's good, though. This is a 27. 27, the mouth comes up to try and slam shut around you, and as it comes up, you just arc out of the way, you guys watch as the jaw begins to close, and just as these uh, jutting pieces of broken bones, skulls, and shoulder blades that kind of make this weird makeshift mouth of this entity begin to close and slam shut, you watch as the broom just barely catches out of the top of it, arcs downward, and makes it across the way without impact. Uh, just as Vax finishes his blessing spell on her, oh. um, You've all now made it across safely to the other side of the ravine. Okay. Now I give her a high five. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I untie Scanlan and boop, crawl out. Okay, so, poof, crawl, you're released from the <gasps> slow clap. Uh, Trigger immediately a, runs up to you and like, mm, starts looking at the side of your face. <laughs> if you do inspiration, no anything in 60 seconds. I really seem very <laughs> easy. I don't <laughs> see what the big deal was. <laughs> you want to try again? I know that you're considering it reasonably. No, Don't no, put I, these I, ideas I, in his head. Right, so, what are you guys doing? We're all on the other side. Move forward. forward. We're all right. on the other uh, side. All right. Okay. These goonies. You push forward. Check for traps. <laughs> Check for traps, okay. Thank, thank, keep, thank keep you. Keep an eye out. Keep an eye out there. Thank you for all catching right. my sister. Thank you. It's, thank you. I mean, it's, it's not a big deal. Yes, it is. Thank it's you. Not. Checking for traps. Good. Okay, I hope you rolled well. Uh, I always roll well on this. 18. Because I rolled a one again. <laughs> oh, wow. You're welcome. 18. Better now than a moment ago. I know, ago. right? Yeah. Um, all right, so as you guys push forward into this, this dark chamber now, um, uh, the humans, uh, I imagine you still have your Warhammer out for light, Carrick? 
Yes. Yeah. So you have enough of a radius, we can kind of make out the, the, the scenery and such, but for you, uh, as you progress forward about uh, 45, 50 feet further down this path, you see uh, looks to be like a small structure built into the ground, like a almost like a multi-tiered uh, statue of some kind. And you hear what sounds like the uh, a very faint bit of trickling, rushing water. Statue of a what, please? Uh, you're not quite sure yet. Okay. As you approach, you look at it, it appears to be um, a fountain, like a, a, a small structure that contains what would be a bowl for water, and then a central smaller tier that opens up into a smaller bowl, and kind of a jagged edge to it. It, it looks a little uh, sinister. And at the very top, it looks to be a humanoid face that stretched into this ghastly, horrified expression of terror and gasp. Um, uh, from its mouth is pouring a small trickle of water, but it is upward. And it's just spilling onto the ceiling where it's just kind of pulling and then separating into the cracks. Oh, God. What uh, is this shit? Uh, the path continues past it. It's just in the center of the hallway. It's going up, but we're not. Correct. Uh, we're just not light enough. We're not close or, enough. Or we're not, we're not in the same, we're not in the area of effect yet. Um, I reach down and I kind of grab a little pebble. Okay. And toss it towards the fountain. Okay. You uh, toss it to the fountain pebble and kind of clinks, and the fountain is empty. It is just dry on the inside right now on each of the lower tiers because the water that is being poured from this face is just trickling upward and hitting the ceiling. Like what? this, this steady, constant stream. Huh. Pebble. What? Throw just the pebble into the fountain. It just still kind of comes to rest inside. What's on the ceiling? Just a flat. Uh, what looks to be? It's just a, a stone ceiling, and the water is just hitting in one particular spot. <sighs> From a roll perception check. Sixteen. Okay, you glance up, and what little bit you can see with your dark vision, uh, the water appears to be impacting something that has a different. Surface than the ceiling stonework. Um, it's smoother, shinier. It reflects reflects a little bit of light. Uh, how high roughly is the ceiling? Can we? Uh, talk? It's about fifteen feet up at this point. Also, is only fifteen. Is it a dead end? Or? No, the, the path continues to go. Um, I'm just straight. Going. Oh God! Well, well, mm. I mean, we could pour a bunch of water in the fountain. I don't know if we should touch the water that's coming out of the fountain. It's, it's, I think it's coming out of a petrified human that's been turned into a mystical source of water, is the vibe I'm getting. Oh, I just meant pour I, water out of the alchemy jug. I'd like, like to move into the fountain? Yeah. along the outer edge of the room, checking for traps ahead of me. Okay, so Vax continues forward. Uh, 19. Okay, so you kind of coast ahead, keeping an eye out. Mm -hmm. Uh, there are no traps, mm -hmm. but you do sense that there is some mechanism involved with this fountain. I'm going to stop where I am then. Okay. I'm going to walk up the wall okay. towards, very gingerly, doing my best to check for traps or anything unusual, towards whatever it is that the water's hitting on the ceiling. Okay, make an investigation check. Ah, oh, that's a natural 20. Okay. As you walk up the edge. Right in the O. Uh, what, 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 what's, yeah. your, what's your actual perception bonus on that? Uh, my perception? Uh, with my perception, that's 28. Okay. You make up at the top, and as you kind of glance in, you can oh, see there, there is some sort of a, uh, a green emerald like gem that is embedded into the ceiling oh, no. that the water is just trickling onto. Do I recognize the green emerald gem as a, as a. It's a green gem, or is it a green. Is it, is it, is, is it residuum? Residuum. No, no, no. It's, it, 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 it is not residuum. It is not processed uh, white stone. It is, it, a, it is an emerald-like emerald gem. gem, though it is it is imperfect. It is not, mm -hmm. you know, a jeweler hasn't, you know, cut over it to make it a beautiful gem. It is a little rough. Um. And the and the, the water is hitting like that. It's gem. hitting the gem and it's kind of just pulling around it and then sifting into cracks and you know being Interesting. drawn. Interesting. Um. 
I'm feeling the urge to fuck with this. Huh. I'm really hoping someone tells me not to. But, well, probably just maybe wait. leave it. Wait <laughs> half a minute, half a minute. Okay, I'm, I'm going to edge towards it gently, and I'm actually, this is going to sound weird, I'm going to spit at it to see at what range my spit decides to move towards it. Well, that sounds it. all right to me. Okay. So, so you, you spit at it, and your spit still kind of arcs like downward normal gravity, and then it hits the water and just gets caught up in the okay, water. Okay, so it's just the, it's the water itself that's it's being... something in the fountain? Something maybe in the fountain? Maybe. Can I do an investigation, like, can I do a closer look on the fountain? Yeah, make an investigation check. <sighs> yeah, I hate investigating. Oh, what's the light like? Uh, there is no light oh, other, yeah, than, yeah, other than the source of Kara's hammer. 20 total on the fountain. 20. Uh, 20 on the fountain, okay. Um, there is, best you can tell, some 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 magical source. There, this is connected to something. Um, you're not entirely sure what. No gems. I don't see any gems. I mean, you, there's no gems based inside in the, the actual fountain, fountain itself. The but only gem that's been magical about the fountain. Yes, it is. It is. A, there's a magical essence to it. We can try. And would, would anyone mind if uh, I, I'll do it? If if no one else wants to, can you catch some of the water in a in a jar or container? You're, yeah, you can, if you want to, you can pull out a, a, a glass. I, I kind of look around, I'm like, I don't want to screw up anything, but I'll, I'll just catch a little in a bottle. Once it's in the bottle, does it still pull upward? Uh, once you pull it in the bottle, it rests back into regular gravity. And does it just smell like regular water? Uh, it smells... It smells very stagnant, uh, hard water-ish, like Pirates of the Caribbean, or it's a small world. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's 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 not the clearest of Arrowhead. Okay. It's cold. We can have Scanlan do it a spell magic on it. Uh, yeah. Let's Just spell the fountain or the gym. Or I could carve the gem out of the ceiling. I'm standing next to the gem. I can, we have I can, options. I can pry it out of the ceiling if we have to. But that means you have to touch it. I, I might have, have a sword. To touch I can it. Like, what can I see down the way I'm looking? Uh, you I looking see. ahead, the tunnel continues, uh, and you're starting to see more and more of the essence of reclaimed stonework. You can see, like, whereas previously this kind of ravine, natural, uh, semi-natural tunnel that's kind of pushed forward, the walls begin to get more brick Latin. More, uh, it's looking more and more like an, a really, really oh, old, for lack of a better term, temple or a structure where you can see there was care put into uh, its design. Okay, so the statue's in a semi-natural chamber. Yeah, and, and the further it in, it becomes more like more that. Correct. Carved out, civilized. Correct. I, I might run down to jug uh, to, to grog really quickly. Do you have a spare just a spare jar or a jug that I can borrow really quickly? I do. What you want for it? Uh, I just want to borrow it for like five minutes, and what, I'll give it back. What you got for trade? <laughs> uh, I have I have nothing. At the is moment. that a NASCAR you're wearing? Yes, it is. I'll take that. <laughs> It won't even fit around your neck. I don't you, care, I want it. You don't have to tie an ass. I want to be dignified. <laughs> I can teach you later, Grog. Oh, that alone, that's adorable. <laughs> it's Europe, World War II. I Europe's tie, I tie, a, I tie a bow yeah, around his. I tie a, I tie a, a, a little, little Dickie's first day of school mm. Christmas <laughs> bow. And I take my little my little pin and I pin it on him. Here's your jug. Ooh, thank you. Magic boy. <laughs> <laughs> and no I shit. go walking back up and, I, and I'm. I have a theory that maybe if we cover the green gem, that might do with things. So if we start to cross and everything goes weird, I'm going to cover the green gem. Hey, for uh, science. For science. For science. But let's try and leave this room without doing anything. Maybe. All right. Besides what you're well, doing. Well, yeah. I'm not going to do anything unless something happens. How high is the ceiling? 15 feet. 15 feet. Okay. Hey, Grog. Yep. Well, if it comes to that. Okay. Don't worry anyway. about it. So I'm what's the plan? Scooch We're forward to the other side, forward. looking for traps, looking for traps. Okay. You continue to scooch I forward. I stay yeah. with Grog and Percy. I'm stay in the in between. Okay, so you guys stay back there? Yeah. Okay. Kim and Allura stay back, waiting for you guys to scout as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
You guys uh, make stealth checks again. Good. I'm scared of all my dice right now. Just all should of them. be there. Evil. Thirty. Seventeen. Okay. You guys begin to very, very slowly make up ahead, and you watch as the um, uh, the path ahead of you uh, begins to. Well, the ceiling begins to get grow higher and higher, and the hall begins to to widen open a little bit, and it begins to split in two directions. Like all of a sudden, the tunnel breaks into two different paths, with the ceiling rising and it growing wider on each of those paths as it presses forward. Uh, you're starting to see portions of it are still the the cavern type feel, but you once again you're seeing more and more sections. It looks like all these walls at one point were. Uh, Carved stone and had a specific purpose, and then over time, once again, they've portions of it have kind of fallen to disuse or ruin. So nothing. The fountain did nothing. Mm, currently not yet. No. Bucket duck. We've got a fork in the road. What do you want to do? Let's let's bring everyone towards you now. Is it time? Well, there's nothing sure. immediately I, uh, dangerous try to appearing. Do the Go Focus Percy. on dragons again and see if I can I'm figure out which direction last, they are. I'm going to go last, because I'm up here, and I'm just going to like, spell circle the green gem. We don't want to pour anything into the fountain. I don't... We did nothing to this thing that's right here, magically pouring water up. It, 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 might, it might just be the equivalent of a big red button. I love buttons. Yeah, I, the world loves buttons. It's up to you, Grog. You have a jar of, of unending water if you wanted to... Next. Uh, the I sources are still yeah. ahead of you. They're still present and still kind of in the direction you guys are facing. Do I've, I know which fork they're down? That direction. That direction, okay. Uh, I'd also use, like to use my last instance of divine sense here at this fork on the road. Okay. Um, 60 foot radius on there. Uh, no, you would. There is no sense of anything undead, fiendish, anything okay. celestial. Nothing. No sway. Not, not where they currently are now. What are you guys doing? I'm waiting for everyone else to. I'm, I'm circling to the other side of the green. Yeah. Okay. okay. Are we all gathering up at this fork in the road? Yeah. If everyone's going to cross the room. Okay. So you just move on. Okay. You guys continue and gather at the edge of this fork. You can see a very, very faint bit of light coming from both sides of the fork, just like kind of just glancing off a distant opposite cave wall. Both, um, both have light? Both have a very, very faint bit of a light source. Um, two of you guys make, since you're up front first, make perception checks if you could. Bob kiss for me. Uh, uh, 24. 24. Um, glancing both ways for you, it splits off, and they both seem to curve around in a, a almost like a rejoining direction, or at least they get close to it. Like like the the split is less of a split, and more that there is just a large column of earth that splits what would be a, a wide path. Oh. It looks really. At least they, they have two paths eventually seem to join again yes. on the other side. And there's a little bit of light coming a from the A little bit of light of source apparently on the other side of whatever this pillar would be, or at the other side of which each of these different paths that is just barely reflecting off of the cave walls enough for to give you the essence that there's light further. Okay. Oh. Well. Should we all Trot along, Do or should we it? send us down? Trap? You want to look for traps? Yes. I, I, there's the dragons are still in there. Yeah. Just, just, ahead. just ahead. Just ahead. This could be it, although we thought it could be it uh, twice Do at wanna, least. you you know, split the party, have no. one way, have the other? No, that's not still No, no, no. If, if the water were running, which, which direction would the water, water be running down? Uh. Like, if the fountain filled, I, this is just. I'm trying to conjecture. I feel like the fountain. I feel like the fountain. The fountain's going to irritate me for the rest of the goddamn night. We can just spell magic the fountain. We've got. It a could just be like this. Yagering. Could be a water canal that we're looking at right now. I could also get rid of that gym. We have options Go for dealing with it. that fountain. Do, do it. it. Well, but I mean, fountain. if it's itching. It is. I, I will say a lot of the things that we've touched have been put there to the hurt us if we touch them. Touche. But but also, the the skull that we left behind, you know, ambushed us. So it seems to be a horse apiece in terms of that. 
a pattern here. A horse of peace. I figure. I figure they think if you made it this far that you've that you've not touched several things at this point. So. Right. This is so obviously a well. I know. I mean, if it's just a trap, then it's just a trap, and we avoided it and we moved on. All right. Look, we've got two identical passages. Do you want to flip a coin? Or can you see any benefit to either side? It looks like they come back together. Yeah. This is just a giant separation thing. I'm going to flip a coin. Oh, but I have an actual coin. Do you? Yeah. Pull it out. Where are those coins? Come on, treasurer. Bring us in. We're hang picking on, a pa- we're picking a passage. Well, they're going to figure out if they're going to do something oh, else. Oh, I see, I see. Are you catching up with them? Um, I'm s- yeah, I'll start walking towards them. I, I hang back with Grog. Grog. Okay. Grog. Yeah. Grog. Mm. Holy shit. <laughs> I just feel like. Oh, holy shit. I don't know. Nothing more sad than an empty fountain. You have a problem. What do you want to do? You want to fill it with water? Hey, you can. Well, yeah, I feel like that's what a fountain does. You look. Know, okay. I mean, like, if you came across an empty point. fountain, mm-hmm. that kind of a worthless thing. One on the do you left. think a full fountain would help our case in this instance? Pretty right. All right. Are we going there? I don't know. We can try it. I'll look for traps to the feet. Do you want to fill it with water? Yeah, kind of. All right, I'm, I'm, I, I support this endeavor. If you want to do it, I'm gonna. I hear this over the ears, and I'm gonna slowly crawl, not (laughs) too close back. Laura and Kira, um, are you certain you want to do this? Oh. Do what now? Do what now? Well, Laura, like, it's just an empty fountain, right? Like, it's got to have a purpose. Right. Uh, Do you know if the purpose is a good or a bad one? Uh, I, I never really get that far. <laughs> I only survived this far on that mindset, that's surprising, but do what you will, just... Oh shit, I have a theory now. Never mind, I don't want to fuck with it anymore. Well, Alora, you're all smart with magic and stuff. Why is this horribly terrified face spewing water upwards on an emerald in the ceiling? Hmm. Uh-huh. She rolled good. She takes a moment and kind of steps forward and looks at it. You see one of your jugs. Yeah, okay. What do you want for it? I hand her my jug. <laughs> <laughs> she takes it and kind of sets the jug right in the stream and releases it, and the jug kind of sucks up and essentially covers Locks the it? gem, and the yeah. water kind of just spills across the sides. And then what? All right, maybe my theory was wrong. What? Oh, I'm not there. What's your, what, what, okay, hang on, what was your theory? Maybe we can do a process well, of elimination. I was trying to, and you hear in the distance behind where you guys came from. I'm moving right now. It sounds like. Collapsing tunnels? Many, 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 many things falling, cracking, impacting. Hey, go. Laura, good theory. Let's run. Gotta go. Let's run. We are running towards uh, Vax and Vax. It just reversed. It just reversed the gravity in the in the ravine. Oh. Which, as Carrick says this, and you all look back, you watch as hundreds and hundreds <gasps> and hundreds and hundreds of bodies fall? of bodies are now tumbling back Shut down up. into the ravine below from where they came. Oh shit! Turned out the water. <laughs> 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 That was so white right now. That was amazing. <laughs> we, can, we can make it whiter. Uh, so white. Uh, I can, don't make this any whiter, please. Uh, okay. Guilty. Uh, <laughs> we get enough shit for our show okay. as it is. I say we take the left way. <laughs> Piano riff. Okay, now. For, I may pl- I may play Dungeons and Dragons on the internet, but now I'm embarrassed. There's Let's the water. Moving in. The water also now you found up. you found my shame button. Uh, so the, the water is still going up, and it's still kind of Welcome careening and falling through the cracks. And it's it's not like a very strong stream. It's just this this you know, like a like a small faucet turned on, and it's all just trickling <laughs> upward and disappearing. But that gem being currently blocked seems to have had an effect on the. Okay, all right, good to go. Good to go. go. <laughs> All right. Get an go. Of I'm going to go yeah. join you guys. And, and going, to the right or the left? going to the right. We're going to the right, but hold on. <laughs> Same marching orders before. Yep. Uh, yep. I'm going to go a little bit ahead, 20 feet ahead. Look for traps. He wants to be. I don't, but I want to check for traps. Check traps. Stealth and traps. Stealth and traps. 
Oh, you're still in the same stealth role you had. Okay, before. great. So traps, uh, investigation is uh, 18. Okay. Uh, floor doesn't appear to be trapped <gasps> as you kind of coast forward around the outside. Check the ceiling. I look at the ceiling. Ceiling. It looks like a ceiling. Okay. Uh, it's about 25, 30 feet in height throughout this chamber. Okay. And as we move through this passage, what do we see as we get closer to the As you curve end? around, you notice that the the rocky walls become just stone. Um, you see these gray brick walls that begin to turn, as you turn around, you see a um, faint light source from a, a series of candelabras that mark the edges of this square-like chamber. Um, there are two distant cages in the far corners that seem to bear some sort of slumped, unmoving bodies inside them. Uh, there are two pillars that fill the center of the room that appear to be just strewn with carvings and glyphs from top to bottom surrounding them entirely. Um, two large scaled crimson eggs lie placed against one side of the wall, uh, seemingly untouched. And on the right-hand side of the chamber, at the, the base of one of these cages, you see a withered and long dead corpse of Thordak the Cinder King, folded and sagging. You see a tome propped up against a book stand on the far end, uh, marked by a singular page, where a uh, series of bookshelves and chains line the walls of this apparent laboratory. You see at the current open tome across the way, arms crossed and reading quietly, a tall female with dark green hair and silver shimmery-like skin facing away from you. And we're gonna pick up for that next week. Yeah, because it is late. Uh -huh. yeah. It is late. Patrick, think you can join us for Skype next yeah. week? <laughs> or in LA? Oh, yeah. Is Actually, um, I am coming out to uh, to LA. Um, it's an issue of how quickly I'll be able to get to PAX afterwards. Oh, um, shit. Because I'm, I'm doing PAX South after my LA trip. <laughs> right. I'm really hoping that uh, I will be in your neck of the woods Thursday night. Tight, um, tight. But if not, uh, if you want me around for the finish, I would happily Skype in from um, San Antonio or wherever that is. Um, you know. Dude. Ash might be able to Skype in yeah. too. We'd love so to have we'll you. We could dual Skype it maybe. It. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, well let us know, please do. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I would be delighted. And I would be delighted. Th thank you for handling Skype so well. It is not easy no, to be on the other so side of that camera. Now. It's so frustrating. It's it's certainly not as nice as being like up close and personal with y'all, but uh, I'm just glad that I have not experienced like vast technical er eras, eras, yes, eras. <laughs> vast <laughs> technical <laughs> eras. <laughs> yeah, we're glad the, to have you. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, thanks so much. All right, well, we'll Thanks be Thanks for saving us, Care. Yeah. <laughs> it was Thanks a delightful for... amount of mutual saving. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as always, don't forget to tune in for Tox Machina on Tuesday night oh, man. with yep. Ryan Foster. Yep. I'm sure he's going to have at least two of us. <laughs> there. That will, not, as, oh, as we will, <laughs> that, yeah. that will be announced as as the week progresses. Yes. Yeah. Um, Throughout oh, the week, I'm sure. Indeed. He will announce two of us. Yes. yes. Uh, also, as a heads up, guys. Um, once again, big thank you to Loot Crate for being our fantastic sponsor Yay! starting in the new year. Um, they were awesome enough to let us tonight be the first to announce their February theme. As what? the previous theme ended, the theme is build. For this one, and the brands that are included in it include Power Rangers, Batman, Lego, Tetris, <gasps> things that involve 
uh, building concert, that kind of a feel. So more information will be coming out with that, but build is the next go. theme. Yeah. Check out lootcrate.com for the full reveal of everything they're going to have in there. And don't forget to use the promo code Critical Role, one word, for the discount when you sign up. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you, Lootcrate. Tetris Crate. stickers again, like they did like a year ago. Right Those now. Tetris stickers were dope. Let's see what they got. Oh, we did do Okay, good. All right, thank you guys so much. Uh, rest well. You guys as well. We'll see you uh, next week. And uh, is it Thursday yet? Have a good night. Oh man. Nice one. <laughs>